The Bob and Tom Show. They're all circled round a butterball turkey. Well, I bow my head over stale beef jerky. A bunch of stone sweets, love Boston baked beans. Find out milk duds will stick to your jeans. I'm all alone, but I don't hold a grudge. Cause I'm first in line for maple nut fudge. Pancakes being poured on the griddle. Charlie Daniels in my head, heating up the fiddle. <laughs> Trucks stop Thanksgiving. Only comes but once a year. <laughs> Stop Thanksgiving. Better stock up on your beer. Chuck, Stop Thanksgiving. Wipe the gravy off your face. Chuck, Stop Thanksgiving. Pump seven, please say grace. <laughs> <laughs> Traffic is heavy and my heart is too. Them rubbers in the glove box will soon be used. I'm paying for a loving and I know it's wrong. A one legged whore cat wear a thong. Her name is Tina and she's pregnant again. But with just one leg, she still looks thin. Next morning, she claimed to find religion too. I said, I'm glad you found Jesus, but I've lost your shoe. <laughs> Truck stop Thanksgiving. Wrap the gravy off your face. Bring it home, boy. Trucks stop Thanksgiving. Pop seven, please say grace. Hey, good morning. It's the holidays. Aren't we glad all the holidays are here? I got my Christmas lights up. Thank you. Shut your pie hole. Someone's not, someone's not going to get a pie, apparently. No, I already ordered it. I, I go around here. You know, they have a pie now at that bakery. It's called the Chick. No, I... That's right. Oh, Is that, that true? That's what I ordered. Yes. yes. I ordered she one. created what's a in new it, one. Yeah. What's in it? Oh, yeah. Bitter what? <laughs> uh, are you being funny over there, are you? <laughs> so you already talked to Amy about your pie? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Orders were due today. She sent out an email yeah. already yeah, yeah. told us. We all us. got the email. You're right. kidding me. Uh -uh. I don't read my email. Uh, good morning, Jess. <laughs> good morning. Jess Hooker at the uh, news desk. There's Pat Godwin. Good morning, Chick. He's Is over he there looking all like Pat's, Pat Smear. There's uh, Josh Arnold. <laughs> Pat, I'm excited. Uh, uh, and also Chick, I'm excited. Yes. <laughs> Yes. I meant to say chick first. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, to try the chick pie. Oh, pie. it's uh, peanut butter and chocolate and... Uh, yeah, it's a chocolate cookie crust, oh, uh, peanut amazing. butter, mm -hmm. and, you know, just all of the rich... Well, that's got you written all over yeah, it. What it you is. do on Thanksgiving Day, is at the uh, halftime of the second game, you get your pie out of the refrigerator, you go to your chair, you get a spoon, <laughs> you sit there, and oh. you eat your pie right out of the box. Did you have to cut it first? And sob. Yeah. What? No, there's no cutting it. No, cut you're, you're eating the whole thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, 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 what is that, Jess? Oh, yeah. About 25,000 calories? Oh, I oh know. probably. Oh, probably. I don't know. I'm going to say 800 a slice. So eight. <laughs> oh, easy. Eight slices of 1,200 a slice. So. Oh, here I found it. I found the, the chick. Okay. Made for Chick McGee because he didn't like the strawberry rhubarb <laughs> pie I made last year. <laughs> A chocolate cookie crust, peanut butter mousse, whipped cream served with salted whiskey caramel. Yes, oh, my God. I know I'm going to have to get one of those. I yeah. did not like the rhubarb pie. <laughs> it's weeds, Josh. You know this. Who eats rhubarb? It's really good. It's, it's an acquired taste, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, our pie lady, I, every year, I get you guys a nice pie for Thanksgiving. And, uh, and yet lord it over, our, hold it over our heads for the rest of the year, yes. Now you brought it up. Uh, <laughs> Tom, can I have two pies? I have two Thanksgiving. <laughs> of course you can. Yes! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, How did whoa, whoa, that whoa. happen? He Back. better give Ace now, another pie. <laughs> Happy You're going to have Ralph Abernathy in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be interesting. Are they going to dig him up? Hello, Jesse. Jesse. Jesse! Jesse. <laughs> How old is Jesse Jackson? Uh, oh, damn near 80, right? Yeah, oh, he's got to be. I bet he's closer to 90. All right. Um, I want to explain a few things. Um, uh, in, in the jumble of words, the, the, the cascade that was coming out of various mouths simultaneously, it may have been hard to uh, delineate, uh, if that's oh, a word. God. Uh, 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 Pat... Godwin 
is uh, with his new haircut, which we all like very much, looks kind of like Pat Smear, yeah, yeah. the uh, guitarist. Let's play with Nirvana a little bit. Uh, Formerly yeah. of the Germs, he's now yeah. a proud member of the Foo Fighters. Yeah, he's a great guitar player. But mm -hmm. now you look much like him, Pat. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and uh, that's I didn't want people to think that you were just randomly throwing out the word Pap Smear. However, oh. however. Well, now we have said Pap Smear. Well, because in the news, I don't want to give uh -oh. away the story, Jess. In the news, we have... Um, in the, uh, I, I got to be very. I don't want to give it away. Uh, we have Pap Smear news. <laughs> oh, okay. <All> right. <laughs> yes, involving we do. involving oh. a involving a, a marginal porn hey. star. No. Oh, oh, walk yes. a mile in my broadcasting shoes, young hooker. Oh. <laughs> By the way, that's yeah. her real name. I don't want Chick to imply that we have prostitutes in the building. <laughs> and that's what he paused and went. Anymore. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Certain salespeople have been asked to leave. Well, they're good uh, employees. One they're of the bad guys in the Naked Gun is named Pap Smear. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Whatever you say, Pap Smear. <laughs> yeah. We had an old guy from the Old West, Pappy Smear. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, I had a butt. Uh, oh, uh, then you're doing it wrong, Pappy. <laughs> uh, coming up, you know how we... Well, I know, weird, I know, weird results. I no wonder. I, <laughs> we got, we got to, had, to, had the wrong result there, honey. Uh, Do you know uh, how we come up with our porn names and what did we do elsewhere? Uh, private invest... What was it? Stripper names. Stripper names, porn names, mm -hmm. your street, your pet, and whatever. We, there's a new one out there called Dirty Elves. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh. That's the, the recipe to give yourself a dirty elf name. Oh, I like that. okay. We'll go, what is it? Well, no, we're not doing it now. It's coming up. You live in the future. Let me live there for a second. <laughs> no. It's all coming no, up. No. Nope. nope. I'm here. I'm in charge. <laughs> yeah. I'm in charge of the future. Yes. Uh, it's uh, the, the, uh, the initial of your last name oh, and uh, the month of... <laughs> Yeah, that's, gee, got it. And uh, the month of your birth. And uh, there are corresponding words that go along with there. Okay, so I'm not going to be G April. No, you, there's so a... So what's his name? There's a... Yeah, you know what? There's no... Yeah, there's yeah. no, there's Is there no a chart? On this. Just, yeah. No, no, I'm making this up. It's a chart. <laughs> <laughs> so your list, initially your last name is G. G. So that corresponds with holy. I'm sorry. Holly. <laughs> oh, okay. Go, a good elf name, and Holly. And then you're... Uh, and you're born in April? Yeah. You would be Holly Candlestick. <laughs> oh. I'm A. May. Chick? Uh, Sniffo. Yes. <laughs> uh, you are Sniffo Pube Beard. Hi, I'm Sniffo Pube Beard. <laughs> There's your elf name. Spell the last name. P-U-B-E-B-E-A-R-D. I do kind of have a few beard. You do a little bit. <laughs> yeah. That's a little salty for an elf names. Well, I thought this would be a little more kid friendly. Naughty, uh, naughty, naughty elves. Uh, naughty elves. Ho ho hooker. Yeah. H. Mary Dink. <laughs> All right. And uh, June is <laughs> small toy. Mary Dink small toy. That's her elf name. I like that sounds, it. Like, I like that sounds that. like someone who's on the itty bitty titty committee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I didn't know what you're actually Hey, <laughs> ask me what Aces is. <laughs> Uh, stinky. What's your birth month? Nine. Not nine. nine. What month September. is it? September. <laughs> September. God. Weirdo. Oh, it's unbelievable. Uh, uh -huh. Why is Ace an uncooperative witness? I don't know. Nine. I don't nine. know. Nine. What are those? What are those TV shows? They've got the camera up in the corner and the guy at the table. And then Ace Aquarius. is there denying everything. Aquarius. Ace, your elf name is Stinky Shortstack. <laughs> That's good. How about Godwin? Uh, once again, Holly. What, what month? Yeah, G December. 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 See, didn't twelve. Say, you didn't say twelve. <laughs> I could have to get the laugh right. Uh, Holly foreskin. Oh no! Yeah, these are not appropriate. They are. Yeah. They're dirty elf it's names. What part didn't you hear? Mm, well, that's a fun game. Naughty elves. Yes. Do you suppose there are men that go to a? Oh, let me rephrase this. Are there houses of prostitution that yes. um, have um, you know, little ladies that <laughs> cater to? I mean, like, Probably, yeah. Sure. It, I know that there are traveling, um, <laughs> pro, like uh, escorts, if you will, who uh, who. Uh, but and the, and there are men of uh, what one might call standard size that. That enjoy yes, want to be yeah uh huh yeah. Does it have like a cool name, like Yellow Brick Hookers or something? <laughs> I don't, I don't know that there's. Haven't any... we just now gotten out of 
trouble from earlier <laughs> in the week, Josh. Josh. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Talking Josh. about shorter people. Hey, yes, yes, I made a mistake this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> what up? We are, I'll make it next week. I understand. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. That uh, We opened the show with... Um, the famous uh, song "Truck Stop Thanksgiving," <laughs> um, and that was uh, a special request for um, Mr. Milford. Thank you, Mr. Milford. Be careful at the trucks in the trucks today. Now, uh, I'm Milton Milford. <laughs> coming up, we uh, never got to the story yesterday. I'm sorry. Uh, we have a really exciting Led Zeppelin story, and I promise we'll come back with it in just a second. <laughs> exciting? I, I don't think it's what? exciting. That's why I, I didn't read it yesterday. Uh, excuse me. Uncooperative witnesses. Uh, I'm excited about it. I don't know what it is. I love Led Zeppelin, Tom. I, um, I, th I can't be more excited. I mean, uh, Led Can you tell me now? I can't wait. There's a lot of ink about Led Zeppelin, but it, rarely is there anything new. So this is something new about Led Zeppelin. Well, they couldn't let the Beatles take all the new news, could they? <laughs> um, Are they going to do a John Marie created John Bonham thing? Tec on technically, it's not drums, new. Or is John Paul Jones dead, too? Uh, no, no, he's no. okay. And he's, by the way, the secret sauce of Led Zeppelin. Well, John Paul that's Jones, a not brilliant true musician. At all. Yeah, Absolutely, I could have played bass with those drums. Uh, he played every me? instrument on those albums. Well, he's, man is a pure genius. Uh, of course. Uh, he is. Now, um, I don't want to make him mad because if he wheels no, in no, no, here, no, he might be on the show. <laughs> please, right? no, no, no. Do your little dance on your dance floor of ignorance. Um, uh, we have that coming up, and anything in sports. <laughs> I'm dancing on my dance floor. <laughs> yeah, get down. We had a Thursday night football game, and uh, I didn't win my pick, but I didn't lose it neither. How about that? Okay. Bears beat the, uh, as you can see, Jess, a big Chicago Bear fan. Uh, they beat the Panthers last night. 16-13. Do you remember the spread, Tom? Three. Bears minus three. That's right. So you have your push. <sighs> if only I'd have had the hook. Push it. That, that's, push the, it. that's the push half point. It. Real good. Push People know what the hook means. No, they don't. They're savvy. I don't. I don't. It's the hook. It's a half point. The hook. Wasn't there a porno the star named The Hook? Mark the Hook I don't Anthony. Know. Mark the Hook Anthony. Yeah, that was, he was, was in here. that was a bowler, wasn't it? No, that's Earl Anthony. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 I, I understand he had a massive uh, Earl Anthony following. Yeah, and Roy oh. Munson was the bowler with the hook. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, Earl Anthony. Uh, the, well, he awful had a, comb over. He was. Oh, he always had a twelfth frame. If you know what I mean. Don't think any oh. less of me. That was the rumor. Oh, but really? I have. I have not seen that Fairly Brothers movie. It's funny. Which it's, one? It's one of my favorite comedies. What of is all it? Time. Pinbusters. What? Kingpin. Kingpin. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, now um, uh, we have a song coming up for Mr. Godwin. Lots of requests and a uh, special thing today. Let's uh, take some uh, veterans' requests. If you're a veteran. Uh, Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. If you've got something you'd like to hear, uh, we'd love to play it for you. And send me your birthday, and uh, we'll do your dirty elf name. Uh, happy to do that, too. Um, <laughs> what else what was I forgetting? Uh, oh, I know. A uh, special surprise guest coming in this morning. Is that right? Yeah. And um, I certainly enjoyed our visit yesterday with Mark Skippy Price. Mm -hmm. and, oh, it's uh, Haywood, right? Yeah, he's doing and, it. Uh, and Haywood today? Yeah. Greg Warren yesterday. Right now, I want to talk about, uh, I'll talk to you, Ms. Hooker. Mm -hmm. uh, you're the food person. Yeah. A little uh, busy this season, are you? Yeah. Being a mom and everything, you know, we're all uh, kind of stressed out and busy. And how about taking a little bit of stress out of your life? Maybe a couple nights a week, uh, just doing a little bit of Hello Fresh. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the number one meal kit in America. And there's a reason for that. First of all, the food is always fresh. That's great. But uh, a lot of the work, they're doing it for you. What am I talking about? They go to the grocery store. They get fresh ingredients. They measure them all out, package them up just right. You put them together, and you've got restaurant-quality food at your house. It's a lot cheaper than uh, paying someone to bring food over to your house for you. In this case, uh, uh, they're famous for their 15-minute meals. A uh, bunch of really cool stuff. Every week, more than 40 uh, things to choose from. And they've got something brand new going on uh, to help you save time. A uh, free breakfast for life as long as you uh, keep your subscription active from HelloFresh. You go to HelloFresh.com slash show free. That's the new code, BT Show Free, at HelloFresh.com. And uh, try all this uh, great stuff, seasonal stuff. And uh, every week, like I said, 40 things to choose from. Always fresh ingredients. And whatever your particular uh, food uh, style might be, whatever you want, they've got something in that realm for you. 
uh, be it uh, vegan or good old-fashioned comfort food. They've also got the HelloFresh market with all kinds of great uh, stuff, including those uh, perfect uh, for entertaining charcuterie boards and uh, tremendous desserts. Get all the details, HelloFresh.com slash BT Show free. There's free breakfast for life while you keep that uh, subscription active. Get the details, like I said, HelloFresh.com slash BT Show free. Coming up, we have a special surprise guest. Also, we have cool things in the news, and we'll be right back with the Led Zeppelin story, I promise. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. For your information, these are two of the worst kids I have ever encountered. I, I made this crazy movie called Freddy Got Finger, mm -hmm. and it was, uh, you know, I wrote it, I directed it, and it was a really, really crazy movie, and, uh, you know, it won the Raspberry Awards, and the people said it was the worst movie ever, ever made, made, and all this yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. the, that was sort of the point, was to make the, the craziest movie. The worst movie, movie yeah. yeah mm -hmm. kind of the point of it, right? So now what's happened is, and, and really what's been a really exciting thing about going and, and doing these shows is... You know, people are coming out to the shows. They're bringing their Freddy Got Finger DVDs, and and it's turned out, uh, it's sort of turned into a sort of a bit of a cult, sure. you know, mm -hmm. smash. I've gotten a call from the studio recently. They said the the DVDs have been selling through the roof. They've sold over a million units of the didn't, DVD. And didn't I hear that you you're going to do a director's cut? I want now. I want to do a director's cut of the movie <laughs> because you know <laughs> because there are scenes that just you know when you when you edit a you know when you do one of these commercial studio movies, especially a movie like that, they focus group it, and you had to change things and tighten it all up right. so there are some some crazy scenes that i'd like to get back into it but also it's sort of just the i think the irony of doing a director's cut for me sure. personally is pretty funny whenever there's a movie there's always a porno movie that someone makes based on the yeah. title yeah it was no. called freddie got fingered <laughs> okay back to you tom green uh -huh. people actually to be honest the things that people really like out of the movie are some of the sillier scenes not sort of not so much the gross scenes with mm -hmm. people people always come up to me and they say Daddy, would you like some sausage? Which is this line from the movie. Daddy, would you like yeah. some sausage? So I sing that on stage. Uh, you know, come, come, come see me on tour. We'll, we'll be singing some of the hits. Sing along. But, all uh, right. uh, <laughs> that's your stairway to heaven? Yeah, that's my stairway. I, the Bum Bum song would be my stairway to heaven. That, that went to number one on MTV, the Bum Bum song. When you Google Freddie Got Fingered, the first thing that comes up, the first line is Freddie Got Fingered quotes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. Yeah. And then you go to that page in the sausage. Yeah. The sausage organ comment is the very first line. Yeah, there's all sorts of very silly lines in the movie. Yeah, it's there's not, a whole pile of quotes yeah, here. Yeah, so. I was in a rap group when I was in Canada when I was a teenager. That was actually... What were they called? We were called Organized Rhyme. We were actually had a record deal when I was mm. 19 years old. No with, kidding. Went right out of ah. high school with A&M Records and we had a number one hit, you know, in, in many Canada? markets in Canada. We were the Much Music uh, Video Award of the Year for Best Rap Video. That was sort of the... Is that on your website? Uh, you can find it on there. Yeah, you can find it on there and you can find it on YouTube. And... Uh, you know the thing that was sort of my first sort of realization. Hey, I, I want to work in show business. You know, yeah. I was I was sort of like all of a sudden I had this record and we were touring and we were doing radio shows and I, I went and started my radio show and right after that mm -hmm. and um, you know it was initially a rap music show that I turned into a talk show which then turned into my TV show. But uh, but so uh, yeah, I, I, I've had a lot of great rappers on my on my website too. Like if you go on on, on TomGreen.com, you can see me rapping with uh, Too Short and Exhibit. There's this funny video of me rapping with Exhibit mm -hmm. where I surprise him with this rap that's ended up on YouTube. It's got two and a half million views now, and mm -hmm. you know it's sort of funny because you see these rappers who just aren't expecting me to start rapping, and then right. I start rapping in their face, which is fun. So. <laughs> Canadian rap, right Canadian rap. Yeah, you can see why you haven't heard of it. Hey. Canadian rap. Tom Green is our guest. <laughs> It's Josh, and of course... Hi, Chick McGee, everybody. Your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg for Bob and Tom at Big Green Egg. Each week, someone will win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. It's the Bob and Tom Show Pig Skin Pick, empowered by the Big Green Egg. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest on the computer. <laughs> oh, is that where you go? Are we eligible? extra boost to help support your wellness goals, why not try Protein Plus meals with 30 grams of protein or more per serving? This September, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door ready in just two minutes. No prep, 
No mess. Head to factormeals.com slash Bob and Tom 50 and use the code Bob and Tom 50 to get 50% off. The code Bob and Tom 50 at factormeals.com slash Bob and Tom 50 to get 50% off. Think you know your pro football and want to put your knowledge to the test? Then play Pigskin Pick'em every week at BobandTom.com. This is your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. Just pick the winners of this week's pro football games and you could win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. Head to BobandTom.com slash contest and play Pigskin Pick'em. And don't miss the Chick McGee shoe in of the week, Thursdays on the Bob and Tom Show. You don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Tom Radio. Uh, Norman, honey, what you doing? It's getting late. I'm downstairs, honey. Um, uh, just getting some cereal. Snow comes. <laughs> Thank God he found it. I was getting desperate. I hope this works. You know, Judy tried it with Ted, and she said he's become insatiable. Boy, will Snookums be in for a treat, because her hubby is chomping on the new cereal for men who are sexually dysfunctional. <laughs> it's nuttin' raisin, honey. Mmm. <laughs> this sure is tasty. Mmm. <laughs> honey? I'll be right up. <laughs> nuttin' raisin, honey. The cereal that gets you up in the morning, or any time, for that matter. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're here. Deal with it. <laughs> well, that's friendly. We're having a party. You're invited. Good morning, Tom. How you doing, buddy? Doing great. All uh, right. All right. Couple, Good to hear. Let's see. Got a bunch of stuff to get. Okay, I promised. Oh, the Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Exciting, fascinating news. Yes. Yeah. Yesterday, we teased that we had some actually new, genuinely new news about uh, Led Zeppelin. What would you call it? Would you call it fascinating? Would you call it exciting? Um, uh, it's kind of an oddity. I guess I would say something about a shark. No, um, it's in, <laughs> in the history of uh, in this in the era of albums, which would be what the <laughs> mid '60s to what '90s or whenever the vinyl and nice covers of albums, and the great artwork on albums. Only a handful of bands were big enough, so big they didn't even have to put their name on the album. So mm. big. You know what I'm talking about? There are certain yeah. records you just go and there's nothing there. The Beatles kind of started it, although they had the embossed the Beatles on what is referred to as the White Album. But Led Zeppelin, uh, famously, uh, Led Zeppelin IV, just had that picture of the old dude on it. Do you have the story? Oh, yeah, kind of a staff or something? And is that The one? image of the man featured on the cover of Led Zeppelin's 1971 album, Led Zeppelin IV, has been identified thanks to a lucky find at an auction. The wordless album cover shows the image of a bearded, older man with a large bundle of sticks on his back. Oh, uh, that's what it is, yes. Of and, course. Uh, it, but then not, there's no Led Zeppelin, nothing on the front. It's just but everybody is new. Okay. The New York Times reports that the image was from a Victorian-era photograph of a man who made thatched roofs uh, for cottages in Wiltshire, England. Hmm. Yes. Researcher Brian Edwards stumble, stumbled upon the picture in a photo album for sale from Duke's Auctions. Edwards determined that the man in the photo was named Lot Long, and he was 69 years old at the time. Wow. <laughs> Uh, I know, I know. Lot long sounds like a part of our 69. <laughs> I almost changed it to 68 just so you wouldn't say that, but so I'm interrupting it for you. So we we know the <laughs> name of the guy on the album cover. Yeah. As for how the photo ended up on the album cover, legend has it that Robert Plant and Jimmy Page were in an antique shop in Pangbourne where they spotted a colorized version of the photograph. Hmm. The photograph of Lot Long will be on view at the Wiltshire Museum along with other images included in the photo. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, amazing. Uncooperative witness over here. <laughs> Mystery solved. What's interesting to me is that if you've seen a picture of Robert Plant lately, he looks like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Until I saw that story, I always thought it was a painting. I, exactly. I thought so, too. I also, and you guys probably won't agree with this, but I personally, I think... Uh, I love Led Zeppelin. I love all their songs, but I don't know any of the names of the songs. Yeah, some are it too just, tough. It just and starts, and I go, oh, yeah, I like that one. And yeah. some of them are distracting. Aren't, aren't some of the name t titles of songs, don't they have, isn't the title a lyric in a different song? There's some, it's Something great. like that, yeah. Very confusing. Hmm. Brown, why you're our stomp. Yeah. What? Well, <laughs> Led, Led yeah. Zeppelin Four is uh, famous for this tune. 
You might have heard that one. Hey, man, no stairway. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, how about this one? Hey, hey, mama said the way you move gonna make you sweat, gonna okay. make you groove. That's Wait a, a voice. <laughs> yeah. How about trying that sometime? <laughs> There's a reason people like them. And John Paul Jones playing the guitar and the drums. That's there. false. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you know. Jesus. Well, uh, you told me. <laughs> you did it. No, no I, I said John Paul Jones is the secret sauce. Simultaneous. And then you said he played every he he instrument played on those yeah. albums. That's exactly <laughs> what you said. <laughs> on, the, on the later albums. I want to learn. When Jimmy Page was so stoned, John Paul Jones did most of the work. Ace will back <laughs> oh, me up on this. You leave Jimmy and, Page alone. those later alone. albums all stink. Uh, now, let's move forward here. Oh, There's some good stuff. Some yeah. good stuff. Physical graffiti? No. Turd. Um, oh wow! In you don't like trampled in, in underfoot. Kashmir? In uh, in Fast Times at Richmond High, remember the whole thing about Led Zeppelin? Yeah. No. He tells him to put on Led Zeppelin Four, oh, and then yeah, they're in the yeah. car and, and he's it's playing Cashmere. Yeah, yeah, it's not Cashmere's not on Led Zeppelin Four. <laughs> right? Very controversial. I thought it was kind of cool that they've identified who was on that cover after all these years. No. Yeah. I, I I'm surprised to find out, like Ace, that it wasn't a painting. Yeah. Hmm. It always looked like that to me, but pretty cool. So I'd like to know, know the story of Lot Long. Did yeah. they get permission to use it? Before, roofs. before yeah, I, he I'm, became yeah, 69 Pat. years old, what did he do yeah. up till then? And they know... Um, he was a that, Pat asked a fair question. Did they have permission to use it? Presumably it was in public domain when they saw the thing. It was probably fairly old. So. Oh. oh, good. Yeah, somebody might want money now. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, uh, the ruling's going to come out today, and I'm, I heard it. I, I hear it beforehand. Uh, oh. If you own a copy of that album, you owe a lot longs estate uh, $12. Uh, oh, is that right? Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. Now, you know the name <laughs> of the... Blame the court system. <laughs> yeah, you also... Uh, they're, they're, they also want the, the blimp on, on that first album. Yeah. <laughs> the, I think the, uh, the, uh, the uh, what is it, hydrogen people want to cut. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> you remember those T-shirts Tom had? Oh, yeah, yeah. You'll like this, Jess, since you're, uh, you like to ride motorcycles. Mm -hmm. You've seen those helmet law suck T-shirts? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Uh, I want to do a T-shirt because uh, I'm in favor of, uh, of hydrogen blimps. Oh, okay. <laughs> hydrogen laws suck, and you have a picture <laughs> of an exploding blimp on it. That's yeah, good. That's right. That's right. And there's a new blimp out there, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Seriously, I'm not kidding. Like new were... technology or just I a new blimp? That, I thought like they stopped inside. making blimps because there's no more helium. No, there's a there's a brand new. Uh, well, there I think the helium shortage is over. I believe they found a. It's over. That was like two years ago. They found a. Oh. No. They found I... a giant amount of it underneath somewhere. In Texas or something. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> underneath underneath the sofa. It was there all the time. <laughs> no, helium alone. helium can't be artificially created. Right? It, they've got they find oh, it. It's in the know. ground somewhere. Yeah. Well, the place where it is keeps rising and lifting off and going into space. Yeah, yeah. But the, that's the, why they can't find. They it. just tether no, it. I'm not kidding. There's a brand new, a brand new blimp. I want to say it's currently. I think it's in Palo Alto, California. We're, we so. weren't laughing because we think you're kidding. We're laughing because of how serious you <laughs> are about the helium. Of, uh, we're actually laughing at how how not kidding you are. Yeah, I was just, joking. You know, when it when you can I'm take, always joking when, when I'm when you can here. take a blimp yeah. from New York to California, then you'll yeah. stop laughing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'll so take it'll six take... months. Yeah. yeah, but, yeah. Th but look it's at like the... taking a, a station wagon <laughs> across God, the country. Yeah. Walking. <laughs> I believe they can go up to 75 miles an hour. Yes. And that's exactly, you and I were in a blimp one time, and you looked at me and said, this is like riding in a station wagon. <laughs> yeah. We were we were in the Goodyear blimp. Yes, we were. How yeah. many people can fit in there? Uh, it's surprisingly roomy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, but, yeah the, there's that. I'd say 20, 25 people. The blimp itself, people. you don't get, I mean, you just, you get into that little car hanging beneath it. Right. It's a scary. Okay, and I, I want to tell a true story. I'll do it Socratic method, so you'll believe me. <laughs> when you had, when they had several Goodyear blimps, this particular one, chick, how did you use the facility? The no, blimp? I was just going to say they did not have bathroom facilities per se. Mm -hmm. There was a hole in the back <gasps> of the blimp with, with a funnel, there, and there was a door, and you could urinate, but you. Uh, just right up the funnel. If, if you, there, if you, there was a funnel. So you, only boys were allowed to ride well, on the blimp? If you use I mean, that. If you have some coordination and balance, you could, you know, hover and. This was back in the 90s. We didn't care about women then. Do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> Not, Not like now. Then. But if you, you do anything but urination, you need a stick. Uh, it didn't say. There, was there a stick there? <laughs> no. Oh. They warned you before you got on it. Jab it. Oh. I, don't, I don't think that particular blimp is still in service. I'm not sure. But, um. Maybe they do have, a, I'm sure they have restrooms on uh, them. But I'll tell you what, walking out onto the tarmac yeah. and looking up and seeing a blimp is... Uh, it's bigger than you think. I know the word awesome is overused, but it's like, wow. And then you get in that little car and you're up and going. But yeah, there's a brand new blimp. It's a whole new technology kind of. Hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll get the story for it. I thought it was really exciting. I'm glad that you think it was, uh, <coughs> wow, when you saw the blimp. Really? The tarmac. Yeah. 
It's like that feeling when you get onto a big ship. I hate that. I don't like things that are too big. <laughs> Hello. Everybody shut up. Don't say anything. This bodes well for stop, all. Stop yeah. talking. Everyone here, stop talking. Ace, especially you. I told you. She's, I've said it before. I'll say it again. She's a sweet girl. No, wait, wait a minute. Isn't your number one crush Shaq? Yeah, no, not, not He's men. He's the definition of too big <laughs> in every way. Inanimate yeah. objects. Like, uh, yeah. We were on the comedy tour, and we were in San Francisco, and we went by the harbor, and they were these giant ocean liners and she got real nervous yeah i don't know why oh, you know yeah? When, yeah. there's the giant flags that are too big <laughs> I, like, like, I don't giant like a flag scare yeah. yeah wait a minute josh aren't you the one that can't swim near boats i have a problem with things underwater man-made <laughs> items underwater what's yeah. that called i just read there that. is a, i forget the yeah. name but there's an absolute name for it yeah. really yeah it's like mechanico i, I forget exactly <laughs> zeppelino mechanica, really uh, mechanica phobia anyway the point is uh the cover of the um Led Zeppelin four album. They've identified the guy in the photograph, and just I thought, it, you know, how much new Led Zeppelin stuff is there? I know Jimmy Page seems to be being interviewed every two weeks about some other aspect of it, but it was just a week or so ago that it was in the news that Robert Plant sang "Stay Where Stay Where to Heaven" for the first time in decades. That was new. No kidding. Well, Ace, uh, uh, maybe, yeah, maybe, <laughs> we'll lounge maybe instead of as a parenthetical f off, Tom, you should have done the story. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I think yesterday's observation on my part, uh, quite uh, interesting. Uh, what that, was uh, that? Well, it was that, um, Josh, uh, we were talking about popsicles. Yeah. And you don't care for popsicles. No, right? never have. And um, I don't care for the uh, double stick popsicle, mm. but they do remind me of the uh, guitar that Jimmy Page uses when he plays uh, Stairway to Heaven Live. It's got sure. the two necks on it. Right. Double every, time, every time I see it, I think of a double neck popsicle. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't approve of them. No. Because even if you cut them in half, then it's got that serrated edge. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you eat your popsicles from the middle, don't you? No, I'm not You're homophobic. You're so paranoid. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, post, really? post-surgery for about a week, the only thing I could eat, popsicles. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. And and, and I, 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 oh, I couldn't wait for my popsicle. I felt like I was three again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A nurse, is it time for my popsicle? <laughs> yes, Tommy. Here's your popsicle. Oh, thank you very much. Have you popsicle. have you had a poop today? <laughs> hey, look, oh, I'm an adult, for God's sake. <laughs> Not on these meds, right? Uh, no kidding. <laughs> you know that story. Uh, I do indeed. Oh, have you ever had a major surgery where you had to have a... Uh, major surgery. Come on. Uh, I have to... I pain can't, meds for I, like a week. I can't take pain meds, so no. no. I well, just I, gotta... I hadn't uh, had any major transaction for 11 days. Oh, my gosh. And my doctor buddy came over and he went and got me some medication and I gave birth to a sandpaper <laughs> softball. <laughs> Let me tell you. I'm actually more of a sandpaper volleyball. A sandpaper softball. Uh, so I know what childbirth is like. Right. Yes. Oh, yeah. I, uh, yeah. Very I didn't have to... I didn't have to... I didn't have to breast Feet and I just gave it a, a, a flush and then <laughs> tell as many women as you can. Yeah, yeah. You know exactly what <laughs> any, any woman you need, do you, do you open with that. Will you? Yeah. And and actually start with look, lady. Start with that and then go. I know. What, yeah. I've been around a few in that category. Uh, let's see now. So anyway, there's our Led Zeppelin update. Thanks, Ace. Um, Hello, radio friends. This email. Wait, hang on, hang on. One second. Okay. So Ace, what's the story? Where did uh, Robert Plant sing that? Uh, some charity event. I'll look in, it up. In a shower. <laughs> now, would you at least buy my uh, no- notion that he now looks like that guy? I mean, plant. I mean, he's. I think he's. I love the fact that he's letting himself age naturally. Well, what do you? Well, what would you have? have choice. Him, what would you have him do? Well, let's see. Dye his hair like an idiot. Oh, hey, Pat. a lot of a lot of rock stars won't give it up. Well, yeah, I know that they don't want to age, so they. Mm-hmm. I, I don't want to mention any names. There was a certain certain rock star that a friend of mine said backstage they were. They had this <laughs> this spray hair. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I always wanted to try that stuff. Hair stone. in a can. Yeah. I tried that. You know who I'm talking about? Topic yeah. with a K. Well, they all kind of use it. But yeah, they would they would take his bald spot in the back and spray it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a vibe spray the, a of, yeah. I mean, you know, Robert Plant gets out there. This is what I look like. Deal with it. Plus, he's doing great work. Yeah, he's also he really is. Great oh, singer, yeah. so. Allison Krauss stuff is amazing. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I, do you think he can still do this? Well, he never played the drums. That's Bonzo. <laughs> yeah, that's Bonzo. <laughs> Well, I was, uh, you, I'm not going to get to the vocal. Don't stop it, you bastard! <laughs> no, you, ru- you, you ruined it. I want to hear him sing now. Oh, then how about this? Hey, hey, mama said the way you move Gonna make you sweat, gonna make you groove Jimmy? Okay, thank you. Oh, John right. Paul Jones. 
<laughs> yeah, Jimmy was out of it. Will you then. play the first one again and until we get to the... You can listen to it in your car after the show. Not oh. a Led Zeppelin fan, Jess? No, I don't mind it. That's fine. <laughs> hey, you know what the cover of that... <laughs> <laughs> you know, they found out what that guy's name is. <laughs> Lots Tom, long. what's your Lots favorite long. album cover of all time? Oh, gee, many Christmas. That's a tough call. Mm. That is a tough call. Not Blind Faith. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, that's so Thanks. funny. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. Please. <laughs> can you imagine? You think it's not blind. Can you imagine what would happen today oh, oh if someone, their, the group, really? released an album cover? Do you know what we're uh, talking uh, about, Jess? No, blind, I'm looking it up right now. No, don't. don't. It, it, oh, you, you may not find You're it. on a list now. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Blind Faith, which was uh, Clapton and Winwood. Yeah. Stevie and how old Winwood was and Ginger Bay. How old was she? 13? Uh, they, they, they had a very problem. Uh, they, it was a, a really bad mm -hmm. idea. And they, they pulled it almost immediately, right? What were yeah. they doing? Uh, oh, all right. Yes. Is, they, is the original cover uh, online somewhere? Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm now, assuming. Well, as Josh said, you are now on a list. Yeah. You have to introduce, introduce yourself to all your neighbors. I don't know. I was on a list before. About the only damage control they could do if she is 18. But, I mean, it's... She looks crazy. Or, hey, no. it's art. Yeah. That, they could try that. No, but, no. Uh, I'm just saying. In they, the realm of rock and roll <laughs> no, music. Trust, trust me, I'm not I think that, that makes they, it worse. Yes, yes. I mean, yes. It, it, it wasn't a Jerry Lee Lewis cover. I'm just saying that maybe. Uh, here's, uh, here's my naked 14-year-old cousin. <laughs> Boy, you oh, gotta, geez. you just gotta lay it out there, don't you? <laughs> we were <laughs> dancing around it. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to. The truth hurts. Da, 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 da. No, no. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go with "Wish You Were Here." That's my favorite album. I just like it anyway. Probably the most popular. And then to know that they had to light the guy on fire to actually do it. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Is crazy. There are a couple of uh, Scorpions album covers in the late '70s. I Let's remember. get real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go go back and they are cool another. looking. I, I, don't make another look choice. Up animal magnetism. No, I know. I, I've seen it. Yeah. Uh, well, now um, let's move forward here. Uh, you want to give me the teaser in sports? Uh, we're talking about football last night. The Bears win, beating the Carolina Panthers. And boy, is Carolina happy they took Bryce Young first instead of C.J. Stroud. That <laughs> is sarcasm. Uh, the Iowa girls basketball team started off at Caitlin Clark as uh, she stood. Uh, Superstar. As, uh, as, she, uh, as she should, I mean. And uh, we'll talk about some world records. And uh, National Women's Soccer League signed a big TV contract. So, And isn't Caitlin the one that said she'll make more money by staying in college than if she were to go to the WNBA? Because of, uh, Right now, that's what she said. Pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, right now, uh, speaking of right, uh, Jess Hooker. Yeah. Are you still looking at that album? <laughs> I started to read the story about how it happened, and mm. it's not a good story either. No. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, yeah it's, Maybe. it's no good all around. No, don't no, show no. it to Ace. He'll tell us in two weeks. <laughs> well, the big news is that woman is uh, the, the mother of uh, no, uh, Nora she, Jones. She got what? <laughs> she got forty dollars. And well, she was part, and I think she was promised a pony too, but she's never got the pony. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. See, is, the, the, oh my the question geez. is, could it get worse? <laughs> <laughs> and now, and now, an ice cream cone and a pony. Yeah, there's, there's never been a book called The High Morals of Early yeah. Rock Stars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, honey, I know. We'll get you that horse. Yeah, take off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it off. Hey, no, here, yeah. you yes, grab you this shark. We'll get you a pony. Uh, the, <laughs> the, the new Blind Faith album called uh, We Love Human Trafficking. Uh, <laughs> can, we, can we take a quiz here? I'm so sorry. The younger, the Excuse better. Excuse me, have you seen my pony? <laughs> <laughs> when do I get the pony? It'll come to your house. <laughs> just grab the shark. Well, Next right week, now. Tuesday, 4 o'clock. Right now, I, oh boy. A palate cleanser coming up. We 100 have, is my sleep number, Tom. Oh, well, funny you should mention that. I was uh -huh. just going to ask you. The sleep number bed uh, has a, uh, a quantified uh, set of... Uh, of uh, stats to help you get a great night's sleep. How does it work? Well, uh, it's a firmness setting, the sleep number. So a setting of 100 means a very firm mattress. Touch the button at will and you could lower that. I know Christie's like a 35 now, which is a soft mattress. And the mattress either side of the bed has its own setting. They have perfected this aspect of the mattress at sleep number. The sleep number beds, they last longer than any other bed. I have had mine, I want to say 17... Uh, maybe 18 years, either 17 or 18 years. I love my sleep number bed. When I moved, we picked it up and moved it. 
and it works great. Um, my sleep number setting, thanks for asking, a crisp 85. Uh, but you can make adjustments, and the sleep number bed is so smart, it'll tell you what you need to do to get more and better sleep. There's also settings for things like temperature, depending on which bed you get. You can have the thing raise and lower your head if you have uh, maybe some esophageal issues, and what's that called? Where you uh, Reflux. Reflux, yeah. Uh, lots reflux. of cool stuff. Uh, get the details by going to the sleep number store. Uh, why choose a sleep number bed? Well, let's see. We're talking about ideal firmness. I mentioned that. Ideal comfort and ideal support. And this happens to be Sleep Number's Veterans Day sale, which will end Monday. Right now, you can save 40% on the famous Sleep Number Special Edition Smart Bed. Get the details at the Sleep Number store. Go to sleepnumber.com slash BT show for all the details. We are coming back. We're done with our Led Zeppelin hunk, I think. <laughs> And our blind faith hunk. <laughs> I sure hope so. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Become a Bob and Tom VIP and get your... I'm trying. The Pearson's Nut Roll. Which is kind of like a pity, but it looks like it's about twice it's as very big. very similar, but twice as big. You like it's it? good? Yeah. Okay, now, bad. I want to see if Chick can tell the difference. I'm We're doing a blind oh, taste okay. test. Tom's going to come over here and... Okay, Chick, you have a blindfold Got on it. your head. I do. Mm -hmm. It's not over my eyes yet, though. No, you, you're the karate uh, kid right now. Oh. oh. Christy, I, I, what? what I'm doing. Can you, uh, Chick, can you stand up and put your arms out and one leg up? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you talk into a mic? Because mm -hmm. I was showing the camera oh, crew. Oh, okay. okay. There we are. Is this on? That one's on. Yeah, it's on. <laughs> it, won't, it won't seem to want to stay in the upright position here. Um, because you're a boy. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have, your, these have been marked. The one is the nut roll and one is the payday. All right. And Chick has been blindfolded. Hi, how are you? Okay. Uh, here, Chris. See if we can tell the difference between... Um, uh, we have uh, the one. I'm going to get one of these. Can I hold it? Uh, Not yet. Can I hold it by the nut? At random. At random. Okay. Now, uh, open your mouth. No, because you're going to do something. No. I am not. I'm going to pull one. I want to hold it. No, oh. you're not putting anything in my mouth I can't hold. No, that is a, that's a payday chick. Trust me on that. It's this I mean, uh, it's one of the <laughs> no, nut it's, rolls is okay, what I should say. Well, okay, if, when I, I don't, that made a queer. I'm going to start over now. <laughs> So you're not going to know. I'm going to spin this around. Yeah. And, He's looking. Uh, All right. I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's going on? I can't see anything. Just, okay. Oh. No. Are you guys messing with me? <laughs> no. Is he putting his penis on my head again? <laughs> no. He's not. Nothing, Are you sure? Nothing of the sort. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Try that one. What's so funny? What did I do? <laughs> what happened? No, seriously. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah. I want to know if you can tell the difference between the payday and the Pearsons. Okay, which one is this? Just take it. Put in your. Put your hand out. Oh, Just here. put your hand out and take oh, it now. Ah, what is it? it what yeah, is it's, it? it's either it's either a Pearsons nut roll or a payday. Which one? It smells like a payday. Well, take a bite what? of it. You... <laughs> oh yeah, that might have a little cheese on it. <laughs> which one do you think that is? Did you rub this on your crotch? <laughs> no. Even more. He put it in his pants. <laughs> it tastes familiar. <laughs> Which one do you think that is? I don't know. I don't have anything to compare it to. Okay, okay well, well now, now take that one. Here's the second one. I didn't really care for it, though. You didn't like that one? Take the second one. I did take the second one. I'm still chewing the first one. <laughs> do you want to do, you, let let me me see do the first one? Let me see. Do you need one. a palate cleanser? Hold that one up, Chick. Okay. Do you need a palate cleanser? Did you, did you have this one on your butt? Did you put no, this on your butt? No, he did not. No. <clears throat> All right. This, do you want a palate cleanser or are no, you okay to go? Second. I'm okay to go. Okay. All this right. is the second one. Duh. Now, do you think that's a uh, payday or is that the... Uh, this one doesn't taste as salty. That's probably because Christy licked all the salt <laughs> off of it. <laughs> <laughs> Does she have that in her mouth before I put it in my mouth? Yeah. Yeah, I licked it. Ah! <laughs> she licked all the salt off that one. <laughs> uh, how is it? So which one do you think that is? Do you want to do it again? No. Oh, no, yeah, you do. Come on. We can do it. We, we can do it right. We really cheated the first time. I yeah, got to tell you. Why which, you can you tell which one? Okay. I think the second one. Was, okay, was, was, I'm, I'm, opening was, these, I'm opening these live on the air. Was the Peterson. The second one. Uh, mm-hmm. And the first was one was the payday. Tom? No. No. You, you got it wrong. I got it backwards? Backwards, yeah. Okay. Now, try it again. Right. Here we go. Which this one's that? Straight oh. from the box. Yeah, that was not That was box. not in my crotch, and not Christy lit. did not lick it. Yeah. 
Ooh. When you say straight from the box, what does that mean? I mean, I mean the the <laughs> wrapper, kind of the wrapper. Box. <laughs> A little sardine-like. Okay. I'll be done. No, I didn't touch it. Do you like that one? Uh-huh. All right. This is the payday. Okay, now try this one. Tell me what you think this is. This is straight from the wrapper. Is it the Pearson's or is it the payday? That's a Pearson. You got it right the second That's time. That's right. Hey. Well, it was probably the uh, crotch cheese and the <laughs> licking that ruined the first test. So yeah. it really wasn't scientific. When you lick all the salt off it, it just isn't any fun anymore. You know, I think I'm going to do the show from now on blindfolded. <laughs> <laughs> well, yep. well, unfortunately, we have to take Aww. off. Um, <clears throat> the uh, Hey, by the way, thanks for the paydays, Chick. You're yeah. welcome. Oh, you, you bought those? Oh, yeah. yeah. You did, huh? Well, 12 bucks worth of candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of cash I got thrown out. Uh, but Bob, you enjoyed the Pearson? Uh, I uh, did, but salted nut roll. I, not, good man. I like the payday. Okay, better. okay. Well, well we're we're going to take a break here. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. I do like porn, uh, but I'm going to ask you guys a favor. We get a lot of emails sent to the show. You can stop sending me porn clips, okay? I uh, thanks, but no thanks. I I appreciate it, but I'll be honest. I. I want to find my own porn, okay? <laughs> T-Rex doesn't want to be fed. T-Rex wants to hunt. That's... Huh. Well, then I should call her. Apparently, we have a lot in common. <laughs> yeah. Apparently. The National Museum of the Native American Indian is open in Washington, D.C. Unfortunately, they now have to move it to Oklahoma to make room for the Christopher Columbus Museum. <laughs> <laughs> a thought from Paul Gilmartin. Down the elevator shaft, they plunged, hurtling towards their death. Their faces drawn by Edvard Munch. They smelled the devil's breath. <laughs> Your tongue, she said at number three. Let me see its size. He grinned and licked his forehead. She buckled at the thighs. <laughs> the impact satisfied them both. Police were left some clues. A smiling woman all alone in a stranger's pair of shoes. <laughs> Jeff Rothman is our guest. Uh, Jeff is a fine, fine comedian. <laughs> I um, actually had to do that once. What? Be a pole bearer. And that, oh, my that's God. That's heavy. Yes, that's a heavy. heavy job. Yeah. I actually had to go to a funeral, and I was asked to be a pole bearer, and I, uh, <laughs> always a pole bearer. <laughs> <laughs> Never the corpse. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Uh, we've got uh, Wiener, a Wiener update. Oh. Uh, and we've got sports coming up and uh, news with Jess Hooker and uh, all sorts of other things, including a surprise special guest. That's right. Uh, let's see. Uh, our pigskin wiener, huh? Rocky oh. White from Charlotte, Michigan. He was uh, the winner rock. of week nine in our NFL competition. He won himself the beautiful big green and mini Big green egg Slow mini down. max. Well, no, you're forcing me to go quickly. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know why you're going. You don't want me to talk, and I take it personally. You should. Thank you. You're correct. I and, was uh, going to say yo rock. That's all. Why is that objectionable? Okay. I made some Instagram only picks by the way yesterday for the uh, shoe end of the week. Uh, so go check those okay. out. Okay, um, uh, your sports picks uh, could get you the beautiful big green egg mini max. We're going to talk with Rocky White with the shoe end of the week coming up. Oh, cool. Later on in the show. There we go. Good. Now. Um, We've uh, established uh, the cover of Led Zeppelin 4 is a oh, fascinating Lord. news story. And now we go to Chick McGee at the Bob and Tom Sports Desk. Uh, Dante Foreman, uh, one of the uh, Foremans not named George. <laughs> Ooh, uh, <laughs> Dante? That rings a bell. <laughs> oh, Dante. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Only one has ever D read, a, read a book in the room. Apostrophe O-N-T-A Foreman. Ran for touchdown in the Chicago Bears. Bear down, Chicago Bears. Boosted their shot at the top pick of the draft, beating the Panthers 16-13 on Thursday night. The Bears now 3-7, and seven, Carolina now 1-8. and eight. Not, uh, not uh, good things going on in Carolina and uh, Coach Frank Reich. And hello, radio friends. This email begins. This is Jeff 
the operator from Michigan. Jeffrey. I just wanted to share this picture of the Oscar Mayer Wiener, Wiener Mobile with you all. I know that Tom really loves this thing. I do. It was traveling west on I-90 between Chicago and Rockford. Oh, I lost Rockford in the divorce. At about 4 p.m. Uh, on November 9th, I took the picture from my Jeep as I passed it. There, There's a picture of the Wiener Mobile. I have driven the Wiener Mobile. And you cheated at a race, right? I may have. Uh, I was up, going up against Al Unser Jr. driving the other Wienermobile. Mm -hmm. Incidentally, he did win the race, mm -hmm. in spite of the fact that I may have shaved half a lap off. But, uh, <laughs> did you shave half a lap? Uh, quite. I forget exactly how we did that. But uh, the Wienermobiles. I love things like that. I know you do. And we were talking about I mean, no. It, it takes the. Doesn't it give you some joy? You're driving in the freeway, and it's. SUV, SUV, big truck, mm -hmm. little car, <laughs> one light out, of course. There's the Wiener Mobile. <laughs> there yeah. used to be a car around here that would that had a giant pig on top. Yes, it was, just, it was uh, like yeah. a like a car for hire, a limousine. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen the car that has a uh, uh, astroturf all over it? Yeah, the van. Yes, yeah. hilarious. It, it has the Pink Floyd album on it with black astroturf too. And uh, that the same company that had a pig on the top had a chicken on the top. Yes, they did. It was the chicken car. See, don't you love stuff like I that? I do. Fun? Yeah, you don't see stuff like that. And, and now we were talking about uh, album covers because we had a fascinating story about Led Zeppelin IV, and they found the, <laughs> they found the old dude in the cover of the album. Mm -hmm. uh, long right. dead. Finally. Yeah. And uh, Josh, you said your favorite album cover was? Wish you were here, Pink Floyd. Yeah, and they actually shaking hands with the They flame. really did set a guy on fire to. Yes, yes. <laughs> was it a stunt? Was it a did this person know it was it a stunt guy or to some you know, some <laughs> GQ model that <laughs> that was his last gig? <laughs> yeah. All right, shake hands now. Light him up, huh? Light him up. <laughs> I'm sorry. What did you say? <laughs> hey, you're getting you're getting six hundred bucks. Come on. Uh, we've got uh, let's see the three six nine uh, the top uh, num nine album covers when you Google uh, the most famous rock album covers ranked uh, number one you want uh, number nine Revolver the Beatles ah. Uh, Number two, Dark Side of the Moon. Number three, uh, I'm sorry, nine, eight, seven, Abbey Road. Six, Led Zeppelin. Four, five is Sticky Fingers. Uh, that I think should probably be number one. I would have thought Dark Side would have been number one. Number four, you'll like number Sticky one. Fingers. The original Sticky Fingers actually had a zipper. Yes, it did. Mm. And uh, I want to say I had the zippered. Me too. Album. Cool. Oh, yeah. I don't and know um, now, but. and there was. Did you ever see the cover of Sticky Fingers, Jess Hooker? I'm looking it up. Ooh. It just shows. Um, and what's the name of the guy? It's not Mick. It's Joe Delisandro. Joe right? Delisandro. Delisandro. And his unit. Yeah, it's there. Yeah. Did everybody think it was Mick when that came out? I think Mick wanted everyone to think it was Mick. Yeah. What? Because yeah. you can see the 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 man has a, a substantial bulge. I think he's stuffed. Uh, he, he's stuffing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mr. Delisandro appeared in many of those Andy Warhol. Uh, Hold that thought. He's got a cute butt. Sticky Fingers, number four. Never mind. Nirvana is number three. Oh, that is that huge. Is the baby, yeah, yeah. Uh, the baby. And, and didn't oh, yeah. that, That's a really good cover. And didn't that end up in a lawsuit yeah, also? Yeah, the kids sued. Mm -hmm. yeah. Didn't the kids sue somebody? And that is the baby of the girl on the Blind Faith cover. <laughs> that's a good one. That rumor is just as good as some of the other Why ones. Why not? People yeah, are starting absolutely. out there. Thank you for joining my club. Mm -hmm. Number three is Wish You Were Here. Number two, London Calling. The Clash. That's I, pretty famous. Yeah, uh, it is. Yeah, that's great. Well, you got a clash. You have a clash block. No, uh, love the lettering on it. Uh, no, that no way. And well, number one is Warhol's album for the Velvet Underground. Boy, the banana. I, I, the I banana. can see those two being in the top ten. It's yeah, just surprising no. that they're one and two. Especially, I could have ranked them the way they're presented here. I don't know. Okay, well, oh. um, and of course, uh, not to, I mean, obviously that, that art form has been lost for the most part, although it's making a little bit of a comeback with the uh, comeback of vinyl. I know I, for example, have uh, four brand new Taylor Swift albums, all the same album, four different covers. Mm. Well, you got to collect them all. I Could found that out no. the hard way. Oh, look, the, no. oh, look, the uh, UPS guy's here. Remember we were talking Again. with, uh, <laughs> we are talking with John Mellencamp one time, and he says, I don't know if it's still that way, but uh, especially with streaming now, because you don't even have CDs, but, uh, they still. He said they still send you an uh, the twelve by the the foot by foot album cover to approve it. Oh, and he he always said, yeah, I like it when it comes over like that. But then you see it as a CD, and it kind of, in some cases, it just doesn't. Uh, when well, as a not, stream, not it's not as cool. It's, it's smaller than the face of a dice uh, die. Yeah, I don't mind that. Teeny. One Tiny. of my favorite things is going through my music on my uh, various music services and uh, adding album art to the songs. Yeah, that's great. I find that very uh, uh, meditative. 
I like that. Well, that's very for nice. instance, if I'm sitting around crying, thinking about things you've said to me, Tom, I'll, <laughs> I'll go. It's, maybe I'll organize my music for so CDs. Tool, just... Tool kept the album art a lot, really alive when oh, it came yeah. to. Oh, that, yeah. Okay. Well, um, uh, much the way you find um, that meditative, I find listening to your sports meditative, or perhaps it's sleep-inducing. <laughs> when we come back, that's good meditation. That's what they <laughs> when say. When we come back, oh. we'll get back to it. We have interesting things coming up in the world of news today, including a really interesting new app that may be coming out and um um a uh, so-called influencer and her pap smear oh. going public uh this is the bob and tom show this is the bob and tom show This is Todd Berry. Okay. Uh, once again, Todd has just yeah. established that he's not into astrology, and but he's very proud. And now I'm going to read an off the you know, news. I can, I can, I can, right. I can, I, I can back that up. Uh, my numerologist told me that astrology is a bunch of crap. <laughs> <laughs> I can, How many times did she tell you? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Four. Go ahead. This is a uh, woman fried a woman fried eight goldfish amid fight with X. This is in Pasadena, Texas. Authorities say a Houston area woman who was burned up at her former common law husband fried their fret their pet goldfish and ate some of them. In front of what? Mm. <laughs> Pasadena, in front of them? Pasadena police say it's a civil matter and no charges will be filed. The seven <laughs> goldfish were purchased together by the couple during happier times. <laughs> <laughs> now, this sounds like it's from the onion. I know. <laughs> it does. I remember when we bought the goldfish, <laughs> how much we're in love we yes. were. So Police spokesman Vance Mitchell says the man reported on Saturday that the woman took the goldfish from his apartment. Mitchell says the two argued earlier about some jewelry the man had given her but took back. She wanted the jewelry turned. Oh. So natu the natural go-to response is to eat goldfish. Right. Of course. Right. Goldfish. Officers who were dispatched to the woman's home arrived to find four fried goldfish <laughs> on a plate. <laughs> the woman said she already ate the other three. <laughs> Show him. Oh, I mean, you do eat other kind of fish. So yeah, I, I guess, guess. But geez. Stay away from her. I wow. Guess. That's a, uh, yeah, that's yeah. a. Kind of yeah. uh, basic instinct. What was Seven that? Seven uh, goldfish. Oh, the bunny attraction. Yeah. attraction. Yeah. Bunny. Yeah. bunny. Glad they didn't buy a dog. Well, they bought the goldfish <laughs> during together. Happier during happier time. times. Oh, yes. Seven goldfish. <laughs> when did they buy the deep fryer? <laughs> 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 uh, next summer at the state fair. Hey, Josh Arnold here from the Bob and Tom Show. Do you know where squeaky, fresh cheese curds come from? Uh, yeah, it comes from a cow's teeth. Everybody knows that. No, they come from Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese. Well, well yeah, but before that, it was in a cow's teat. God, is that you bleeping me? This is why Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese is different. Their cheese curds are made fresh in the morning and delivered to your doorstep in about 48 hours nationwide. The freshest curds outside the walls of the creamery, I say. Wow. We've got fresh curds, but we couldn't get them to you for about a month by buggy. You gotta try their oven baked cheese. It arrives at your doorstep pre baked. You just heat it and eat it. Grill it, skill it, air fry it. Oh, uh, we're not allowed to have air fryers. We'd burn burning hell for that. But you cook the cheese, I guess. But... And their aged super sharp cheddars are amazing. From four to 17 years. My favorite is the eight-year-old super sharp cheddar. It's powerful, but still creamy and melts in your mouth. Just delicious. Hmm. Sounds like that gardener farmer is pretty smart on cheese. Right now, receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at gardenerswisconsincheese.com. I don't have an internet. Their pre-selected package deals make great gifts for coworkers, friends, or anyone hard to shop for. Remember, cheese is always a good idea. You can't argue with that. <laughs> That's GardenersWisconsinCheese.com. like every other comedian ever, I, too, have recently broken up with uh, my girlfriend. So you had to let her go from the van. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, I unchained her from the radiator. Well, I guess that's over. Well. I broke up, my last girlfriend, I broke up via voicemail. Is oh, that really? tacky? That is yes. kind of tacky. Uh, well, hear me out. All right. I didn't leave a message on her voicemail. Oh. I left it 
on the outgoing message on my voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Hi, this is Brendan. Uh, I yeah, 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 exactly. Leave a message it's unless you're... Less confrontational. Yeah, if this is Susan, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hit the brick, Suggamug. <laughs> That's well, I don't anybody else just leave your message? Yeah, anybody else leave a message. don't forget your number. <laughs> <laughs> Did you start your message? Your message is important to me. <laughs> unless it's Susan. Did you say hit the bricks, Uggamug? <laughs> yeah, I called her Uggamug. She's ugly. <laughs> I was dating an ugly girl. Oh, <laughs> well, somebody yeah. has to. She was really, she was hard on the eyes. Wow. Uggamug. Uggamug. Yeah. I think well, I'm going to start calling you that. That would be like my little pet name for you, Chrissy. Uggamug. Oh, well, well, that's not a I just think it's cute. Uh, no, no, no. Well, you could, you could be mean to ugly girls because they don't have feelings. <laughs> I, I saw that on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> That's what you were told, right? Well, there you go. I uh, discovered that. Uh, on hey, the by the way, I have something for the I, quotes I, page. I have Nicely a, done. <laughs> usually, usually you don't make the quotes page in the first 10 minutes, but you just did. Um, th- she bought rocks one time <laughs> from Pier 1 Imports. She bought a oh, basket yeah. of rocks. <laughs> no kidding. Sure. To decorate her coffee table with. Well, they had, like, words chiseled into them. Oh, like, okay. That's weird. They said, like, joy and happiness mm-hmm. and friendship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, like, one night I just took a handful of those rocks and I drove around my neighborhood chucking them through people's <laughs> windows. Uh-huh. Joy. Like, here comes happiness. <laughs> we were driving to the mall one time so she could buy some dumb stuff. And there was a car in front of us, and it had a bumper sticker that said, my boss is a Jewish carpenter on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she was all like, my boss is a Jewish carpenter. What's that mean? <laughs> and I was like, think about it. Who's the most famous Jewish carpenter you can think of? Right. And I swear to God, she she went. Is that a thing? <laughs> I'm not proud of it. There was, <laughs> why would, you, why would you bring that up on the air? That's I just... didn't. It was, Christy did. It was said in oh, confidence off sorry. the air. Yeah. Don't ever say eyebrow dandruff in front of a potential lover. Oh. oh. oh okay. Hey, look, ladies, if I'm on top, you might get sprinkled on. <laughs> well, let it snow. Well, you're on top. Well. Yeah, I'll just let everybody else finish that. Oh, I see. Oh. If you're on top, you got about eight, eight seconds to live. Is that it? I wouldn't say eight. If you're on top, Godspeed to your ribs, ladies. <laughs> Is that what we're getting at? My most recent marriage was a disaster. It made the wreck of the Edmonds Fitzgerald look like a fender bender. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sorry to hear that. Uh, hello. And you remember Lord's famous line about uh, gun control. More ah, uh, yes. yes. It, it, the relationship taught me a lot. It mm. taught me they won't sell you a handgun if you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> Bob and Tom. If you irradiate poop, it will be sterile, but it's still... Poop. You can pick your morning radio show. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Top Show. Jessica at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Chick. And his beautiful fall flannel shirt. Yes, thank you. Well done, I sir. like to wear red on Fridays. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. That May Day, right? <laughs> yeah, goose stepping around. Yeah, you know me. It's good for me. It's good for everyone. You know. Hey, you know what I just found out? It's well, hard to tell, Tom. Um, that uh, Pat Godwin is going to be in Delphus, Ohio, uh, uh, coming up on Saturday night. Tomorrow, yeah. With Jeff Oskey and, yes, uh, and your son Jimmy's doing a special appearance. The Knights of Columbus. The Knights of Columbus, Delphus, Ohio. Uh, that's going to be a great show. And... Uh, of course, uh, you know, remember Delphus uh, Presley, the famous uh, guy in a toga, <laughs> uh, the famous Greek, uh, <laughs> the, the very early rock singer. <laughs> Delphus. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't step on my brown leather cloth. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pat, can we, if a guy comes up uh, dresses Elvis, can you get him in? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, I think. <laughs> oh, no, that'll, Absolutely, be, that'll be a problem. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 Pat Goddard, if someone wants to come see your show, how do they do that exactly? They go to TommyBros.com to get Tommy tickets. Bros? Tommy Bros. Okay. All right. Uh, while I'm at it, a couple quick things. Uh, Willie G and Greg Warren, the Caravan, Louisville. Wilbur and Warren. For some uh, great shows coming up uh, tonight and tomorrow. Now. Uh, we have a couple of items of business to attend to, but first we have a Chick McGee at the sports desk. Well, yes, we do. Caitlin Clark had 44 points, eight rebounds, and six assists, and that was not me. And number three, Iowa pulled away <laughs> late from number eighth ranked Virginia Tech en route to an 80 76 victory in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. It was a big, uh, big damn deal. The Associated Press Player of the Year, Caitlin Clark, showed off her full arsenal, hurting the Hokies with step back three pointers. She's a great. 
basketball Just player. An she reminds me skill. of Ann Myers uh, when she came out and was about. And she, there were rumors she could have played for any NBA team. And mm -hmm. I think this is probably the same. Oh, look what we have, everyone! Stupid oh, world I thought you were going to talk about the NBA tournament. <laughs> I thought we agreed not okay. to talk about. I just think it's super cool. That's all. NBA tournament incentivizing. Continues tonight. <clears throat> Sorry, it's you smart. Know, it's a smart thing to do for the gambling sites. I mean, that's what it's really all about. The five hundred thousand yeah. dollars that they're giving each member of the winning team. Uh huh. You know what they're saying about the five hundred thousand dollars? What's you, that? So what? <laughs> I, that's a lot of money for anybody. What if you're? Yeah, if, if you're making three hundred million dollars, the twelfth well, man on the bench. Sure. Well, he's he's he could leave at any moment anyway. What is it? Two men from. Hang on a second. Not Verona. Mr. David Rush <laughs> and two of his fellow serial record breakers. You're not even talking about Holly, Hollywood Hannon anymore? Or did he, they he moved, up? didn't he? Did uh, I think up? Hollywood Hannon may have moved, but I, uh, David oh. Rush, we're working on a project with Mr. Rush. I'm very excited about this kind of secret, so don't tell anybody. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's fine. You know, <laughs> <laughs> this brings me to one of my favorite topics, and I, I, I keep asking you about this. Mm. In some cases... Please hear me. Not every case, but in some cases when you're doing something like this, mm -hmm. it's not necessary to keep it secret. It, as a matter of fact, it might go more, uh, might go better, might, if you would communicate a little bit. I just told people. you, we're doing a special thing with David Rush. Come on up. The, you, you, but you here's the problem. To, to be part of a world record. If Tom were to tell us everything, uh, you know, if he were to properly communicate with us, yes, then he could no longer get really mad at us when we inadvertently do something <laughs> or say something that even uh, remotely alludes to what's yeah. being worked on. So. That is also my favorite part, is when you get upset at something that I do, and uh, you say, I told you about that, and I say, no, no, you didn't, and then... You deny it. Okay. Well, what's the, so what did Mr. Rush do this time? <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, Guinness World Record for the most chopsticks lodged in a beard in one minute. Now, I read that and I thought, wait a second, David Rush doesn't have a beard. Okay. David and Garrett Smith placed a total of 104 chopsticks in Joel Strasser's beard. This is a three-man operation. I, I bet this guy doesn't use that beard lube. Huh? <laughs> Strasser no. holds over 15 world records related to... <laughs> <laughs> Strasser holds over 15 world records related to sticking things in his beard. Okay. Doesn't right. beard records sound like a store with vinyl records? Yeah. <laughs> like some super hipster. Hey, man, I'm going out to beard records. Oh, man. They, got, they got the King Crimson album with that cool cover. <laughs> yeah, I never listened to it. Just you know what else they have? The Blind Faith cover. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, do you guys have the Counting Crows greatest hits? Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Strasser holds over, hold, holds over uh, 15 world records related to sticking things in his beard, ranging from Q-tips to spaghetti. Spaghetti. You know, the one didn't work out. Oh, which one? Darts. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the Guinness people won't do a record if there's bleeding involved. Nice. This just in from a friend of the show. Here it comes. You had a photograph of the Wienermobile. I did. And I'm a big fan, and I told you I drove the Wienermobile around a racetrack. Mm -hmm. It was super cool. I did not know this. Um, the Wienermobile, of course, automatic transmission. Okay. Do you know that the uh, corn dog mobile is a stick? <laughs> That's good to know. That's cute. Good. Oh, Ace likes it. Hey! See, Tell you the quality of See, that. it's a corn dog. Oh. <laughs> it's a stick. Uh, can you drive a stick? You can drive a stick, right? Oh, yeah. My first car was a stick. All right. Very good. Yeah. Pat Godwin, can you drive a stick? Start off with a stick, yeah. No kidding. That's Vol kind of Volkswagen bug. All right. I learned to drive a stick on a Chevy Monza. Remember those? The no. Teeny, not... tiny little mm -hmm. Chevrolet Mazda with an aluminum block. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think Opal. I drove an Opal Cadet. Okay. Which sounds like a failed part of the space program. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't even know who made those cars. They, but that's what I do. How about you, Ace? Can you drive a stick? I cannot uh, have that experience. Christy was trying to show me one time. <laughs> Mm. Oh yeah, grinding it out. By the way, don't no, make wait, that how, don't, don't make that don't, no, make that don't make that motion on the air again. It's no, yeah, we'll get arrested. Make the noise again, though. That's, that's a good that noise. was good noise. Yeah, great the, noise. The gears were grinding, were they? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what did we find out? Seven percent of. Uh, I thought it was way higher than that. Cars sold in America. Oh, okay. I thought I bet it's I bet it's thirty-five percent can't drive a stick. Can't. 
can't. Or maybe it's high. Oh, I bet it's hard. I bet it's 80. I miss it. Is it 80? Yeah, it's I'm fun. guessing. It keeps you focused. Yeah. I had a Ford Ranger. I loved it. Yeah. They're tough to find. A manual. Yeah. In fact, Leno says he has to get them done. He, buys he has to pay extra to get a, a manual. Yeah, wow. Well, yeah, well, that's it. Have you, have you ever, seen this? Have you, did you ever have three on the tree? I had the uh, truck with <laughs> my the, grandfather. On the yeah, my grandparents column. had one of those. Three on the tree. Yeah, very cool. good. It was the, the very very fun. And we've we've had a couple stories about high, uh, would be car hijackers that. You know, pull over. Uh, there was one where they pulled over some old lady, and they got in the car and couldn't get away. And, yeah. Uh, the cops came and shot him. And you know, my grandfather oh, okay. also fine. They, they deserve it. They had the three on the tree. He also had pica. I, I think I've told He's you. He's going to eat everything time. in them. He had a... a, a, a um, um, it was an awful habit. He would go down to the, the basement had a dirt floor, and he would eat the dirt in the basement. That's really something. Yeah, he, uh, he was uh, a little... Uh, he needed professional help. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Sure. Man, but he never, he never got it. He also oh, painted a, a Ford uh, Comet with a brush. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, I had a friend that did that. And it did not look bad. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I know. I had a friend that brush painted. And first, he did primer yeah. and drove it around for a couple of weeks. <laughs> and now that's actually hip. Right. Yeah. That you, you, you will not believe me when I tell you this. I'm totally serious. I saw a Rolls Royce SUV, which A, I didn't know existed, and B, it was all flat blacked out. Yeah. Mur murdered out. Murdered out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. A Rolls Royce. That's. That's, that's hip. <laughs> That's kind of super rich yet hip. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, what's coming up in sports? Uh, the National Women's Soccer League announces their uh, TV contract. We'll talk about it. And we've got, uh, I don't know if this is a... As long uh, as I don't have to watch. It is another... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is another world record. Is the TV contract we... We promise not to be on TV. <laughs> would you pay? Would you pay ninety nine dollars a year to keep could it on TV? Did, could it have any reruns of Super Train? <laughs> That's right. It's a, a Fred Silverman joke. Thank you. We should have someone listen to the show and write down the most obscure reference every I, day. I, there's got to be somebody who's keeping track of them. And yeah. he's listening. He's using. He's not just listening. He's listening with his Raycon earbuds. You know yeah. he is. Only way to listen. Uh, it may be too early to start decorating for the holidays, but maybe it's not. And I know one thing. It's never too early to start your holiday shopping. Why not take care of it now before the crowds and the packed calendars and the shopping and the nightmare and the people? To get everyone in the holiday shopping spirit a bit early, Raycon's early Black Friday sale is going on right now at buyraycon.com slash Tom. 20% off everything on that site with select products up to 50% off. Beat the crowd, save now, and trust us and me. You don't want to miss out on Raycon's early Black Friday sale. Raycon first made a name for themselves in the audio space, products like the Everyday Earbuds, of course, but also they branched out into Raycon Home, Raycon PowerTech, the five-star reviewed Magic 180 cable that allows you to charge iOS and micro USB and Type-C devices eight times faster with 100 watts of power. And, of course, Raycon. Wow. <laughs> Raycon, tens of thousands of uh, reviews, five-star reviews. Hurry now to buyraycon.com slash Tom and get 20 to 50% off site-wide plus free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Score 50% off Raycon products. One more time, that's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Earbuds are a great gift because you, uh, you want to get someone a gift they're actually going to use Grab them those Raycon earbuds. I love them, especially when I'm taking the dogs out for a walk. You can listen to your favorite podcast, your favorite radio show, whatever you're into. Thank you, Raycon. Buyraycon.com slash Tom. Coming up, we have um, uh, fascinating things in the world of news today. I'm very excited about today's show, including a pasta news, always good. Uh, pap smear news, interestingly enough. Um, and actually, in the, and it's in the food realm, if you will, mm -hmm. of all things. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Yes. Hi, everybody. Chick McGee here from the Bob and Tom Show. I want to tell you about the NFL season coming up. We got together with the folks at Big Green Egg, and each and every week, you're going to have a chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg during the Pigskin Pick'em program on the Bob and Tom Show. From what we understand, the art of the vajazzling begins with a with a uh, with a waxing is that correct yes uh, how much preparation have we had so far has has the well she's gotten a brazilian oh okay. she's but done we that already right. here okay Prove good it. no we didn't do that <laughs> <laughs> Prove it. Mary Ann. Yeah. Mary Ann. Mary Ann. <laughs>
the epilation has already taken place. Yes. And when was that done? Yesterday. You can go as low as you want to go. Or as high as you for, want to, right? For today's purposes, we're going a little bit above the pain okay. line. And presumably there's some kind of glue used? Yeah, we're using eyelash glue today. Really? Okay. Do you mind? Should I go in there so Come I can on. see this? I think yes. you should. Yes. 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 Get right down. Eyeball that luck. thing, Tom. Do you mind? Uh, Hillary, no, would you, you mind if I... go in there. No, of course no, not. You don't mind if I come in? Okay. Yeah, All right. We, we need it's you. It's better than you expertise. pressing your face up against the window. <laughs> <laughs> Licking the window. Tom is heading in. Uh, the ladies from the Naked, naked Monkey, monkey. Uh, are about to... He's going to pet the monkey. Uh, I don't know. What, you, what design are we doing the, today? We're doing I'm, the Bob and Tom logo. I'm attempting to... Are you really? Is that right? Uh-huh. This is really nice. Uh, now I can let me try to describe this so you can see above the panty line, mm -hmm. um, a, a number of sort of uh, are these rhinestones? Yes. Yeah. Uh, rhinestones have are those already glued on? Yes, they okay. are. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're glued on in kind of an arc, and then she already has the uh, word Bob cool. um, above the panty line in little teeny rhinestones. Oh, That's really? And Tom, nice. all right. Mm -hmm. So um, she's pretty fast with this stuff. Yeah, wow. She's very no, are, good. Uh, so have you noticed an upsurge in popularity and having since this Since Jennifer Love Hewitt? Well, actually, just since you guys started since talking oh, about really? it. Ah, nice. Uh -huh. Okay. The uh. T in Tom is not cooperating. Well, of course. Uh, what a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's oh my gosh. Uh -huh. Guys, do you think it's a good idea? Well, I need to see I, the I, finished I, product. Yeah. But, I, uh, I, I think it is. Mm. It's literally just water. I... Uh, Mouth it? <laughs> has, has that been throwing you guys off? Like, I've been told that when I drink out of bottles that I really, like, wrap my whole mouth around them or whatever. And I'll be honest, I have no idea what people are talking about. How we doing, fellas? in football. You don't have to spend every waking moment with her, for God's sake. Get another TV, go to your room, shut the door. You guys will still sp spend time together. You can yeah. just yell from the other room, hey, news is over, you want to do it? My midget show's <laughs> over, or whatever. I, I probably should have used a different... Bob and Tom in the morning, and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern, on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, this is comedian Sean Mori, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. There are some things you don't want to say to a naked guy. <laughs> there are things you never say when a man is nude. I, I didn't mean to laugh. There are some <laughs> things you don't want to say to a naked guy. Can you help me find it? There are things you never say to a naked guy. Does that thing come with an air pump? <laughs> I thought you said you had small pox. <laughs> really? No, seriously. Really? <laughs> but your feet are so big. <laughs> Aw, that's cute. <laughs> Hang on, I'll get my tweezers. <laughs> Aw, it's like a little light switch. <laughs> For a second there, I thought you had a third nipple. <laughs> I didn't know they could be innies. <laughs> well, this explains your big car. <laughs> there are some things you don't want to say 
Wow, your boobs are bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bob and Tom 24-7. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're here in our places with bright, shining faces. Got a lot of email here. And I was, uh, what do you got? You got one? Um, go, man, go. You got some veteran stuff? I do, I do. Just veteran? give me a second. I got to, uh, I got to. I, I was just going to say, uh, we're celebrating Veterans Day. It's a wonderful thing. That's right. Taking some special requests. Have you seen the uh, Band of Brothers on HBO? Yeah. Very good. Have you seen The Pacific? That's a companion piece. I Very, not. very good. I have not. Tom Hanks and uh, Spielberg. And Steve, um, o, Steve O is what I call him. And I mentioned we were talking for some reason about um, <laughs> about manual transmissions mm -hmm. and uh, automobiles and trucks. Do we have a number of how many uh, no, percentage? I, how many? No, but I mentioned drive? that I learned on a uh, among other things a uh, I believe it was called an Opal Cadet. Huh. Boy, I wonder if there's any of those that aren't in a junkyard right now. <laughs> What's the most obscure car you ever drove, Chick? Uh, that you had owned? Um, Mazda for a brief period, came out with a, a GLC, the Mazda GLC. It was uh, stood for Great Little Car. <laughs> and that was a uh, that was a five speed. It was it, it was uh, it zipped around, man. It was a it was Mazda makes a great car, wonderful little car. Yeah. Mm. This is uh, this is a veteran story that involves automobiles. Um, this uh, comes to us from Brett. My grandfather was a turret gunner and flight engineer in the 8th Army Air Corps during World War II. Wow. He worked his way up the ladder when he got out. He was running a large Chrysler dealership. Opel wanted to sell their cars in his lot. He respectfully declined, saying he'd only seen Germany from the air. <laughs> <laughs> the times have changed now. We've, we're on the same page with everybody. Are um, you ready? You were right. I know. I want to tell you this because it, it, it illustrates how right you were. 72% of Americans cannot drive a manual transmission. Really? Only 18% of people. It's fun, though. If you've never driven one, learn how. It's a or is that 20, I like it. 28. As Josh said, it makes you focus more on your driving. Yeah. Is your baby car manual? No. Uh -uh. Oh. It's, uh, auto if, if you want one of those, you have to order it. Special. I tried to get a baby car with a man. You couldn't find it. Why would you want all that extra work? It doesn't become, it doesn't no. seem like work after a while. I mean, I've seen people who it's like second nature, but. Yeah, yeah I feel cool doing it, actually. Yeah, it's I fun. really like it. There's yeah. a, there's kind of a sexual component to it, Ace. It's that oh, thrust. Okay. When you, you know, <laughs> shove that, you just shove it in and then you just ease off the clutch. Okay, nope. I. Nope. Your back I, thrust I'm, back. No, I'm speaking sorry. for everyone. I don't like the way you said shove it in. <laughs> yeah, that was very Turn aggressive. off my headphones. Turn them off. <laughs> Turn them off. <laughs> shove it into gear, no? <laughs> You've heard people scream, blind me, right? Well, <laughs> stick something in my ears. And oh, it's really fun, Ace. It's a, and it, it makes you focus on your driving, and uh, you have to put your coffee down because your mm. your other hand is busy on the stick shift. It's fun. Uh, now we uh, we were talking about stick shifts. Why? Well, oh, because the Wiener Mobile is manual transition, uh, manual transmission. But the the, the corn dog mobile, of course, is a stick. <laughs> uh, now we get back to the sports the corn page. Corn dog mobile. It, it is not a stick. The there corn dog no mobile? Corn. There no. is no corn. That's a fake vehicle, Chick. I oh, made it up. Oh, I thought you made the wiener mobile. <laughs> no, oh, you're still the doing setup, a joke. The setup was, was I told, yeah. I'll explain how jokes work I was after the show. To... <laughs> I w would you? I want to learn. <laughs> Stupid world record. What do you think of these world records, Skip? Uh, all right, here we go. <laughs> Two men from Canada. Canadians? <laughs> have set the Guinness World Record for the farthest distance to... This is, a, this is a good one. Hit a marshmallow into the mouth with a golf club. Whoa, I wonder what the distance is. This can't be easy. Does anybody want to start guessing? It is in feet. Mm. Okay. Jess, your guess. Golf club, marshmallow. In it's not going to go into the In the mouth? Mm -hmm. So the one guy hits, mm. the, takes a golf club, puts a marshmallow on a tee, Boom. Okay. chips it, and the other guy has to catch it in his mouth. Not I'm necessarily gonna, gonna, chipping. Uh, well, maybe driving. I'm trying to give her a visual. I'm going to go 14 feet. No. 14 feet. Oh, I'm going 80. I'm going 27. What? 27. You know, when someone makes a guess, <laughs> you probably shouldn't respond with, ugh. <laughs> Uh, no, no, 14 feet. Uh, <laughs> okay. Sorry. That's a great guess, Jess. You want to guess, Ace? I've seen the video. It's very cool. How far? 98 feet. Oh, wow. Oh. Was I closest without going over? Yeah, you were. Golfer Matthew Godfrey 
who's also a stand-up. Godfrey's hilarious. Sent a marshmallow flying a total of 98 feet that was then caught by Darcy Bennett in his mouth. Oh, this guy just wants to hang out with Darcy. That's what's happening. You know what you do when you hit Have you ever hit a marshmallow off of? No, no. Yeah, it's you ever played golf? Yeah, no, yeah, I yeah, I you, you know, golf you, lessons. You yell four and all that. Yeah, yeah. When you hit when you hit a marshmallow, when you hit a marshmallow, you you go s'more. <laughs> it's not bad. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> no? It's like poison. So the guy, did the guy really catch it in his mouth? Yeah. Darcy did. Darcy did. The lady caught it. Oh, it was a lady. No, 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 no. It's a dude. It's a guy. Oh, it is? Darcy? Yeah. Have Darcy you never read your Austin? Mr. Darcy? I know that. <laughs> right, I don't know right. about Darcy, Darcy, Darcy. I don't... Well, can you read the first line again? <laughs> Two men from Kansas. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Boy, you totally son of a bitch. And, no. I don't, and I don't listen. I'm the one accused of not. Do you know who Marcy it. Darcy is? Oh yeah, that's <laughs> who I thought of. Yeah. Who's, who's Marcy Darcy? The uh, neighbor on Married with Children. <laughs> oh, I didn't know her last. I knew it was Marcy. Mm -hmm. I didn't know her last name was Darcy. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's that's yeah. interesting. Is that a nod to, to uh, Jane? Uh, whatever the hell her if name so, is. If so, yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> This would be cool with real golf balls. With oh, golf. Uh, the old record was uh, 82 feet, and now the new record's 98 feet. All I don't right. think I, I don't think I could hit a marshmallow 98 feet with a golf ball. No, it can't be No. Now a baseball bat. Maybe I'm gonna. Does he use? <laughs> what? Yes. That's How are funny. you going? To, I can't wait. You know, every morning when I wake up and come in here, what I think is I can't. I can't imagine how he's going to insult me today. <laughs> Go ahead. This is not about you. Okay. I'm just curious. It would be funny, a funny visual to have a caddy and a whole, <laughs> got all the clubs. And then the caddy get very seriously, you know, does all the stuff. He goes, I think we're going to use a two iron here and to hit the marshmallow. <laughs> uh, it doesn't say what club he used. I was kind of wondering. I think it would be easier to do it with a uh, tennis racket. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You don't think it would, the tennis racket would sort of. Oh yeah, that stick. might. That's it would true. might stick to the tennis yeah. racket. I don't know either. I think he'd like a he'd get a uh, who would uh, get like John Daly to do it. Yeah. Well, he. I, I bet you. If, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> if John Daly hit a marshmallow with a tennis racket as hard as he could, <laughs> <it'd> probably <laughs> the marshmallow would go through the tennis. Yeah, racket. I'm gonna have John Daly do it with a. Golf club, you know, oh. he's a golfer, you know. Uh, we were talking about to tennis rackets. Golf you know, no, we were talking about this record, which is done with a golf club. A yep. pickleball. That's How a about pickleball? Pickleball, right. Yeah, yeah you could use that. Okay, well. Cute new story, talking about golfing with marshmallows. Yep. Bit of a fluff piece. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Suck the air of the room, please. Uh, like. I don't think I've ever had. <laughs> that much silence? <laughs> I don't think I've ever Should had. I go with puff piece? A fluffer nutter. <laughs> You have it? Uh -uh. They're delicious. Isn't it marshmallow cream? I've never yeah. had that either. Butter. Yeah, I'm not uh, a fan. Ugh. It can't be good. No, I'm with when you. I was an obese child, <laughs> and I never had a fluff or nutter. Is it like uh, graham crackers and all that? Isn't or? it just on bread? No, it's sandwich. It's just white bread, yeah. A fluff or nutter is a sandwich. On bread? Yeah. yeah I don't know about Get that, that out of here. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, is that sports? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> Are you sure? I, I think so. No, yeah, that's okay. If you have more sports, go ahead. Oh, no, I don't. I, I don't. Uh, uh, coming up, the shoe one of the week. <laughs> oh, well, no, we were talking well, about, about the... Um, on TV. Yeah, we are talking about the National Women's Soccer League. We'll reach more than more viewers in 2024 with their new broadcast deal with ESPN, CBS Sports, Prime Video, and Script Sports. Really shoving it down our throats, huh? The league announced it yesterday. <laughs> the ten places I can go to not watch. A four-year deal. <laughs> <laughs> who will uh, at least 20 games apiece on their platforms next season. Fans will be able to stream regular season matches on Friday nights on Prime Video, watch two Prime matches on Saturdays on Scripps Ion Network. A package of regular season matches will air on CBS and stream on Paramount Plus, with CBS showing <laughs> oh, additional for God's matches. Sake, you, gotta, you, don't have to, you don't have to give us the dates of the I may games. actually check it. I prefer <laughs> women's soccer to men's soccer. Because of the boobs? Because Oh, you know, that doesn't hurt. <laughs> the head? Although they're really, they're really like... What about the oh, shorts the brought bras. down? Yeah, that's well, true. The, no, the shorts and the thighs and the things. That's, yeah, That's yeah. okay, too. But yeah. the uh, the lack of when the guys get injured and they fall and they just roll around. You know what? You, I, oh, the flopping? You, you yeah. do not yeah. see that in women's soccer. Right, right. I don't right. think. I'm I'm not as, not as much. Or, yeah. Because we're better. Considering the... You, 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 you say you're faking for the bedroom. <laughs> Uh, it's a sixty million dollar co combined uh, that's contract. Good for them. Um, do you have the story? Of, speaking of soccer, about the referee and the. Uh, did you give that to him? No, I don't know. I don't have it. I don't. I don't know what you're talking. The about. The headbutting. 
Mm-mm. Oh, no, I do have that. Okay. Oh, you do? Do you want it? This yeah. is kind of a sports story. Okay. Why don't, why don't you do it? It's special a good sports okay. correspondent. Special sports... Wait a minute. <laughs> um, Let's see. Okay, here we go. You know, Chris always has these stories to the rather ready. La- Sorry, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's our special sports correspondent. With sports headlines and news from the world of sports, it's Jess Hooker. That's her real name. Down some streets and up yours. There you go. Here's Jeff. What do you got? A Florida soccer coach was arrested for headbutting a referee during the game. Hmm. WBBH TV. What do you got? Um, TV that uh, you can turn on anytime you like. Is that right? That makes yeah. no sense. No, yeah. Well, what you can. B- BBH. Big, Big butthole. Big. <laughs> Are you happy with Big butthole? <laughs> How do you feel about that? You should have took the first I, I, one. I, 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 <laughs> that, that will teach you to take the first one. Uh, 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 it's in a butt. Um, anyway, head I'm so yeah. sorry, uh, WBBH. I, I doubt if... Wouldn't that be funny if it was, it was CBS affiliate and the eye turns into a, a cho- chocolate starfish? Just a, just a hint of a brown. A big butt. Uh-huh. Well, Sorry, what happened again? I'm lost. Uh, they report uh, Collier County Sheriff's deputies responded to Eagle Lakes Community Park <laughs> in reference to a battery accusation. Uh, 43-year-old coach Jose Garcia told deputies that the referee, Mr. Juan Mendoza, had made a bad call. Garcia argued with Mendoza, uh, earning himself a yellow card, boom. but he earned a red card when he allegedly began screaming profanities. When Mendoza kicked Garcia out of the game, the 43-year-old reportedly headbutted the referee in the face before oh. leaving the field. Ow. Garcia was arrested on one count of battery. Yeah. Why does that hurt the person you're headbutting and doesn't hurt you that much? Because you're hitting him. I know. Him right it, does, it, does, right. it, it hurts amazing. you, right? Well, yep. but I, mean, I guess you're your bracing. Well, well, first of all, he can't it, hit him because you can't use your hands in soccer. So he... <laughs> You got to headbutt. You, you, yeah. you got to hand it to the you guy for the ball. keeping sure. within the rules while he should be happy assaulting the referee. <laughs> the guy didn't bicycle kick him. Have you ever headbutt someone? I'm trying to. I've I think, had it done to me. No. Yeah, you've I'm, been headbutt. I have. Yeah, the comedy club. Headbutted. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, the show. What happened? I was goofing on Elvis and uh, around Memphis, and it didn't go over well. And a guy uh, <laughs> who owned the sound system came up to me and headbutted me. Whoa! Broke my eye socket, sent me to the hospital. What? Yeah. Holy cow! You're about 95, 1995. This is better than the Big Red story. I've never heard Are this. Are you yeah. sure wow. you just weren't clumsy and fell over and hit a curb? No, that happened the day after. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, oh don't, man. You have an, don't you have an Elvis tribute you were going to play for us? Yeah, I could do that a little bit later. I okay. was all teed up for this one. <laughs> oh, well, got, head butt sto- uh, the headbutt story. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got some? I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. You want to hear it? Ready well, to I mean, I, I, once again, you got to admire the guy for you know doing it soccer style. Mm-hmm. He didn't punch him in the face. You know, you probably talked about doing this song earlier this morning. You know? He got a text. Yeah. I am too busy to look at my text. <laughs> <laughs> hand me a, just walk and hand me a note, and I'll throw it in the boys' basket. <laughs> That's a much better way to get a hold of me. <laughs> I, I was extraordinarily busy. I've had oh. no sleep. What have you got over there? The top heavy. It was a bad call. We all know it. No need to shout about it. <laughs> Ain't no big deal. Soccer coach got mad. Let's try to work around it. Listen. You can hit a ball with your head, but do it to an official and he's going to see red. You see, you don't have to headbutt a referee. Don't have to headbutt a referee. No, man, you don't have to headbutt a referee. Don't have to headbutt a referee. Oh, God, you guys sang. Otherwise, that wouldn't have worked for <laughs> It. That's great. Thank it. you, Pat. I mean, this has become a thing. Of, uh, it's. I was just reading. It's very tough to get referees for events now because the p- parents they're nuts are getting too crazy. And <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you want really bad refereeing, uh, watch the NFL uh, <laughs> <laughs> lately. Gardner Minshew completely robbed. Are I don't you sure? think I have. I've no. got a funny story I can tell about that. I, I got well. swung on one time, but I ducked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mm. Oh. oh. <laughs> What just happened? <laughs> my brother, uh, he had butted me in the mouth. It was, it was oh. yeah, he was my little brother, and I used to just torment him. And then one day, we were teenagers, and finally he just, he popped me and busted Whoa. my lip wide open. I popped him. And I never bothered him again. I just went ahead and popped him. <laughs> you know who's good at headbutting? Babies. 
Oh, oh. Babies, you hold a baby man. all of a sudden. They, whoop -ha! Your teeth rear, are out. They rear back at you. Oh. Yeah, man. They, Good man. Lord. They Not bring the yeah. They bring the heat. They, they do. <laughs> oh, Dumb wow. babies. No. Um, wow. Uh, what's coming up in sports? You ever try to talk to a baby? I think sports Idiots. is done. They just lay there. Yeah. Uh, sports is over, Tom. We covered that. No, we don't. A little baby. That's thing. actually a bit. They, they smile. And they my turn. niece and my uh, one of my nieces just can't get enough. I, I'll be talking to the baby. Mm -hmm. we have, there's babies in the family now, and I'll right. and uh, ask, "Will you? Why aren't you answering? What, 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 what's your problem, you jerk?" And my niece can't stand how funny it is. <laughs> he doesn't know how to talk. What do you mean he doesn't? Know how to talk? <laughs> He's here, isn't he? He's just yeah. being rude. <laughs> she should see me around my dogs. I'll go, "Good boy." She goes, "I'm a girl dog." <laughs> I know you're a girl dog. <laughs> Calm down. Relax. I just I'm used to saying good boy. <laughs> You're always getting it wrong. <laughs> um, got a request here. Veterans Day coming up. This is, uh, uh, oh, this is funny. Good morning, trolls and Miss Hooker. Oh, what hello. did I do? Hello. <laughs> I am a 30-year Air Force veteran. My name is Bob. Sorry, Chick, but I have a special request. Um, he goes, first of all, I'm looking forward to train wreck Oscar coming up later today on the show. Oh, well, what? <laughs> That's what Bob wrote. Can I, can I ask you something? He's a fan. He loves, he loves Jeff Oscar. Well, That's segments coming up today. He wants to hear uh, this, this classic. What is it? It's, uh, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's, our, it's our friend Sean Morey. I know it. Cry me. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the man song. He's the man. He's the man. I don't take no crap from anybody else but you. I wear the pants around here when I finish with your laundry. Because I'm a guy you don't want to fight. When I say jump, you say you're yeah, right. I'm the man of this house until you get home. He's the man. What I say goes around here, right out the window. <laughs> and I don't want to hear a lot of whining, so I'll shut up. <laughs> the sooner you learn who's boss around here, the sooner you can give me my orders, dear. Because I'm head honcho around here, but it's all in my head. He's the man. He's the man. And I can have sex any time that you want. <laughs> Cause I'm a man who has needs, but they're not that important. <laughs> and don't expect any flowers from me, cause if I'm not mistaken, you prefer jewelry. <laughs> I'm the king of my castle when you're not around. He's the man. He's the man. And I'll drink and watch sports whenever I want to get in trouble. <laughs> and I'll come home when I'm good and ready to sleep on the couch. <laughs> Cause a man's got to do what a man's got to do And I'm going to do what you tell me to Because I'm top dog around here But I've been neutered He's the man He's the man You the man Sean Murray a uh, great arrangement by Steve Ali, the Bob and Tom Band and Orchestra with Sean Morey on the vocals and the pen, and that great song, The Man Song. Um, uh, Pat Godwin will not be playing that uh, at his gig Saturday night. He'll be playing <laughs> Pat Godwin music. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's going to be uh, a great show, and it's uh, coming up in Delphus, Ohio. Home of? Saturday night. Home of uh, Delphus uh, Presley. That's right. Uh, the uh, the, the uh, toga-wearing Elvis impersonator. <laughs> okay, that would be hilarious. He's a hummer in the kitchen yeah. making baklava, baby. <laughs> uh, I'm, from, uh, I'm from Memphis, Greece. That's right, baby. Uh, okay. Does that sound like a hair product? Memphis, Memphis Greece, Greece, it does. <laughs> hey, man, that pompadour's really staying there. I'm using Memphis, Greece, baby. That was a Grecian formula for something, yes, wasn't that it? Yes, that was hair dye. Hair, hair dye. dye, okay. All right. Uh, Grecian I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Oh, the Greeks guy. Yeah, why is that associated with hair dye? Um, hmm. But uh, it was a metallic product that uh, went on your hair, but it wasn't a dye. Later on, it would bring the gray down. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I tried that. Would it stain the pillowcase and stuff? No, like? no, okay. At all. Oh, no. when I died, that's what I used, Grecian formula. Oh, yeah. Because you could just yeah put it on your beard and then wash it out. It was yeah. somehow there. You go. And the Gradually. longer oh, the yeah. longer you left it in, the darker it got. Oh. No one really told me that one time. <laughs> Yeah, and you it ever takes have, a while for it to wear off. Yeah, you ever have someone who got, got a little too much of that stuff in there, or suddenly they've got that jet black beard. <laughs> yes, sir. Very embarrassing. Uh, what's coming up? Give me the teaser, please, Jess Hooker. Well, uh, 
We have uh, <laughs> trout flavored brandy, a new, <laughs> a new smartphone app, a guy with the eye transplant. And more crocodile news. Oh, that'd be a good scary movie, the eye transplant. But you see what the killer saw. Oh, you see man. the guy that had the pre, the guy that had the eye. Yeah, and he was a killer, a murderer. Oh, that'd be good. And he, he was on a radio. I show think he just gave away the whole plot. Uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> this is the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rule. Hello? Hey, it's uh, it's Tiger. Oh, hey, Tiger. What's going on, man? I need you to do me a huge favor. Yeah, sure thing, man. What do you need? Um, can you please take your name off your phone? My wife went through my phone and uh, maybe call her. What? <laughs> oh. So if you can, please take your name off that. Are you me? <laughs> she knows about us? Oh, man, this is bad. This is really bad. I just have it as a number. Oh, boy. <laughs> She hasn't seen the photos yet. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger. You still love me, right? Okay, you gotta do this for me. Please tell me you still love me. <laughs> Tiger. 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 Hello. Oh. Hello. Uh. Hey, it's Josh, and of course... Hi, Chick McGee, everybody. Your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg for Bob and Tom and Big Green Egg. Each week, someone will win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. It's the Bob and Tom Show Pig Skin Pick, empowered by the Big Green Egg. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest on the computer. And <laughs> Is that where you go? Are we eligible? You lost. You think you lost money in investing? My whole people lost money in investing. <laughs> Bernie Madoff came along and took. Oh, all, wow. Took, set us back ten thousand years. I hate that guy so much. I hate Bernie Madoff so much. Not and not for what he did, because I don't care about the rich. I uh -huh. hope they lose their money. But no, for how he looked physically. Did he have to look so Jewish while he was doing that? He's already the image of a Jew that's in every redneck's paranoid mind's eye. Just some crook nosed Jew on top of a pile of gold coins, swimming in it like Scrooge McDuck. Like, ah, I'm gonna take the ten thousand money. Ah. <laughs> like, I always trip out when I see somebody that so fully embodies a stereotype like Bernie Madoff did. Like, when you see a nerd who's actually wearing a pocket protector, like, they don't even make pocket protectors anymore. <laughs> Believe me, I know. That guy had to go out and hand mold the plastic <laughs> resin to fit his nerdy little pocket. Or when you're driving in traffic and somebody cuts you off and you look into the car and it is, in fact, an Asian woman, you're like, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you serious? Are you seriously going to be Asian right now? There are people watching you. <laughs> Have a little bit of self-respect and don't be Asian. Like when I'm walking along and I see a quarter on the ground, I don't pick it up. It kills me not to, <laughs> but I don't do it because there's people watching. Me. There are people watching. Me. You don't yeah. want to reinforce the stereotype. No. That's correct. Oh, you got my. Oh, man. Keep it real. Uh, uh, Moshe Kasher is our guest. I live, uh, I live in L.A. now. I live, in, sort of, I live near Hollywood. I live across the street from a 99 cent store because ah. comedy makes dreams come true. Uh, yes. Yeah, they, have a, they, now have a, they now sell a 99 cent pregnancy test. Have you seen that? No. Yeah. How bad does one's life have to be? Like how far down the socioeconomic <laughs> ladder do you need to flop before the 99 cent pregnancy test seems like a viable health option? <laughs> the 99 cent pregnancy test when you kind of have to know. Uh. <laughs> so I bought one. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, why not? Just to see what would happen. I peed on the little stick. And? Turns out... I have hepatitis C. <laughs> <laughs> I caught it from Who the knew? test. <laughs> wow, cool. Nominations today, Vince Gill, Amy Grant, Muni Long, St. Vincent, and Jimmy Jam will read the nominations as well. Grammy nominations will be announced starting at 11 a.m. Eastern today. Grammys are February 4th in Los Angeles. Awards will be given in 94 categories with new ones given for pop dance recording, African music performance, and alternative jazz album. And that's a look at your entertainment news headlines. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. 
Hey, hi, this is Tom. And this is Chick from the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, Christy, what's the best way to get full access to the show? Hey, what? you introduced me. Uh, that would be to become a Bob and Tom VIP. Very good. Now, Josh, what's a feature of Bob and Tom VIP? Wait a minute. Well, the live five-camera video stream of the show, plus a podcast of the show, and comedy from the Bob and Tom archives. Excellent. Chick, what do you have to say for yourself? Become a Bob and Tom VIP now. Just go to bobandtom.com slash VIP. VIP. See, that was worth the wait, wasn't it? Good morning, sunshine. Bob and Tom Radio. Radio. Can you tell us about Hawaii? I get very confused over there. I'm always trying to read signs, you know, because they, they all they have are vowels. You know, you read signs, and they, some signs, you know, they have an arrow that says E I E I O. Yeah, come on, you know, where's that going to go? <laughs> 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 Obviously, to a pineapple farm. Yeah, what is that? And, you know, they, you know I'm, I'm, and I'm always trying to, you know, I'm, I'm trying to impress. I was with this girl, and I'm trying to impress her about how much I know about Hawaii. It's my second time there, you know, and, mm -hmm. and I'm like, you know, uh, I go, oh, now look here. This is the ni i i pu lo o o k a uti, and she said, that's lookout, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I, guess, <laughs> I guess I'm a little used to. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna read these signs around here. <laughs> I see. And they, and they Fascinating. Have, they have two airports on the island of Maui, and one is called like Hilly Willy Pooly, and then they call the other one Willy Willy Polly, and then I go to the wrong one, and I'm the idiot. <laughs> You're supposed to be in Hilly Willy Pooly, not Willy Willy Polly. Well, they're going to be an hour and a half apart. They shouldn't sound exactly the same. <laughs> not Hilly Willy Pooly, Willy Willy Polly. Uh, you know, I, I, well, I have a theory, and uh, I think everything in Hawaii was named by Mel Tillis in a hurry. Is what happened. He just brought Mel over. Mel, what'd you call that? Okay, come on over here. Pie, 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 pie. Mel, what would you call that? Big Beautiful bird. Well, I, 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 yeah, that's good. That's the I, 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 I bird. <laughs> Hi, this is Ross Bennett, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. But I can't stand the endorsements that come after that because everybody's going to have their own shoe and selling shoes and telling these kids to buy shoes because, honestly, I don't care what kind of shoe an athlete wears, mm -hmm. and neither should you. My question is, what kind of shoe does a black surgeon or lawyer wear? Yeah. <laughs> what is Johnny Cochran wearing? That should be the commercial. Mm -hmm. <laughs> When you can get a brother off a double homicide the whole world knows he's guilty of, uh -huh. that's a bad shoe. <laughs> Bob and Tom 24-7. It's not on air. It's online. Bob and Tom. Tom. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Exciting morning, Tom. We have a uh, Bob and Tom comedy legend with us today. Uh, if you could see uh, our comedy legend, it looks like he just um, is uh, has been given a major role in uh, <laughs> the, Charles uh, Dickens. No, the Leon uh, Russell, Russell, the Leon Russell uh, story. I was going to say a Christmas Carol. Yeah, it's got an Ebenezer feel you to know, it. You I've, know, I've, I've looked like uh, Ebenezer or uh, is that Bob my? Cratchit. Or, you know, one of those guys. Is that mic on? Mm -hmm. Why okay. not wear the hat? And I'm going to play some Christmas songs. So it's very, it's it's my festive look. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Good. Thank yeah. You. Okay. Um, um, all righty. Oh, now, uh, once again, Mr. Banks on tour and uh, many, many great videos out there. Uh, if you want to find out what's going on with Haywood, we have a bunch of them at the various Bob and Tom sites. Uh, certainly worth seeing. But now this is a, uh, this is a Christmas song? Yeah. Yeah. Is it a new one? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, pretty okay, new. Okay. But, um, <laughs> are, are, you, are, you, are you familiar? You know, with a lot of people what say. What do you say, uh, boss? Haywood is, uh, you know, comes in, he sings a song, but not, I mean, I like the interviews. That's what I like. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, let, let, give and take. You know, <laughs> the answers. That's what I look forward to. You like, know, I, I gotta say. Yeah. What What's the deal with Tom's shirt? I I don't think I've ever seen Tom's forearms. Oh, short sleeves. He's wearing a you. short sleeve and one pocket. What is going on? Yeah, I know. This is got to get rid of this thing. <laughs> you when can, Tom, um, I, yeah, you can see your chest. It's kind of hot. I didn't actually. have a lot of sleep. I had to dress in a hurry. When, so. when Tom moved from one house to the other, he totally shed his previous skin. Really? And went on to the next place. And I went to his old house with, I think, one of his kids are living in it. And... There was a whole closet full of his his clothes. All of his stuff was it was like Tom Pay. I thought, you know, <laughs> like the, vol the volcano it hit. Where you go back and all the all yep. the evidence is there. You know, I yeah. mean, there were racks of double breath, double double pocket, uh, pe uh, you know, uh, khaki shirts. Mm -hmm. uh, I've given them all to Mr. Godwin. Yeah, I enjoy them. <laughs> <laughs> cool. It's amazing. I, I, I'm missing them. So this is a Christmas song, Mr. Yeah, Godwin? yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. 
I, 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 read, uh, <laughs> I, read, I read an article that, that said that uh, when they were testing the uh, atom bombs back in the uh, 60s, that all the uh, uh, radioactivity went up in the air and it was pulled to the north and south pole. And it got on the, the lichens that the, uh, the, the Reindeer? caribou eat. Oh, okay, caribou. And so the caribou were actually uh, radioactive. And so that, that, uh, that explained a lot. Oh, okay. So I wrote this. And it's kind of a sing-along. So if you, if you want to get sing-along, go ahead. Okay. Oh, Rudy, the real cute caribou who lived up at the cold North Pole. Contracted radioactive bioluminescent rhinitis that oddly made his nostrils glow. He caught her from a fall from the atom bomb testing. Slowly floated down like drifty Christmas snow will do. On to Rudy, the radioactive bioluminescent rhinitis caribou. <laughs> the other reindeer wouldn't let him play the video games like malevolent venison vengeance. <laughs> and his red nose, they would nasal shame as long as he was in attendance. It was really inconvenient during hunting season to have your nose light up. It's true for Rudy, the radioactive bioluminescent rhinitis caribou. One Christmas Eve, the weather got inclement and foggy, I guess. And that night, the northern lights were a messin' with Santa's GPS. Santa said, Rudy, jump in the back of the sleigh while we're ascending through the heavens. If I yell, stop, light your nose up bright so we don't get rear-ended by a 747. <laughs> oh, the syncophanic reindeer all of a sudden loved him as their words bounced back and stuck like glue. All for Rudy, the radioactive bioluminescent, Ryan on his caribou. That's a Rudy, the radioactive bioluminescent, caribou. We love you. <laughs> oh, yay. <laughs> Haywood Banks. So are and we supposed correct to me if I'm wrong. He did not make a mistake. That's great. <laughs> no, are we supposed to sing along the part where it's Rudy the Bioluminescent Caribou? Yeah, can you write it down so I can get her? <laughs> Rudy the Bioluminescent. <laughs> that's, 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 that's that's very complicated. Uh, but uh, radiation can be a good thing. That's the answer to that. <laughs> Is that right? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, you know me. That's the right side of radiation. Good <laughs> <laughs> well, things. Hey, we got to build more nuke plants. I don't, Getting tired of all this other stuff. Uh, now, um, um, Haywood, that was beautiful. And um, at some point this morning, with Thanksgiving just around the corner, I, I'd like to ask you to maybe play a, one of my favorite Thanksgiving songs. So I'll right. give you time to uh, think about that for a I, while. I'm looking, certainly looking forward to that. Whenever you point. Okay. Okay. Well, a, we, <laughs> we have a, thanks for the head up, heads up because. Last time I was here, you asked me to play Dead Guys out of the blue. I asked you during the break, do you want to hear a song? Let me know so I can think about it. But no, only like just boom, there's a song. And then it's broadcast all over the Bob and Tom thing. Haywood can't remember the words to his song. Sorry. What's going on here? Uh, Pat, you know what that's like, don't you? I do. Okay, to spring something. I, I, yes. I, I'm just giving you one. We want to get the turkey bird song up. By the way, there's a great cartoon version of the turkey bird song. Yes, there is. Floating around up there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can all practice going. And that's already dropped, right? Um, uh, yes, it is out there now in the ether. <laughs> Let's uh, switch gears for just a second and uh, just check in with uh, Jess Hooker at the news desk, sitting in for Christy Lee. What's going on over there? An innovative smartphone app may soon be able to, to detect if users are too drunk to drive. Oh. The app works by analyzing the would-be driver's speech. Oh, it doesn't just see if you've texted your ex? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I love you. <laughs> Scientists report that built-in sensors in the smartphone could gauge a person's level of intoxication through vocal changes. No kidding. Wow. What if there's no one there? Oh, I guess you talk to yourself. It's a great thing. <laughs> no, yeah, hey, you're too drunk to drive. Uh, presumably, there would be something you'd have to say into this thing to activate. I think oh. you have to read what it put. It, it, it types something out. You read it into the mic. Oh, there you oh go. okay. Yeah. No kidding. I think that's the one well, I that saw. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. I bet it knows anyway. How so you drunk can't you practice are. what you want to say and then try to get it right. <laughs> mm. Isn't there going to be, uh, they're going to have some sort of tactile through your skin to touch the phone and it can tell all sorts of things. Well, there's, a thing or later. There, uh, there's a thing now where you have to blow into a tube, right? Well, that's to get the car started. That's, that's Stone Age technology. Yeah. 
But I mean, couldn't someone? It was like could, a, could, a breathalyzer. Could, you, someone, could you have else. a designated blower? Yes, yeah. that's what a forty-year-old virgin mm -hmm. has. That uh, isn't that right? Steve Carell blows in. The, the, oh, really? The car started. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that's cool. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Because I mean, you can tell uh, when someone's had too much to drink, but usually if they're completely I'm, plastered and they're slurring I'm their words, really bad at telling if someone's drunk. I have no idea. You can I'm, also have the GPS say if you're at Taco Bell. Yeah. Um, <laughs> or White Castle. At a certain you time know, of day. Yeah. yeah. Or night. He was really good at it. Who? Bill Cosby. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> she's getting sleepy. <laughs> she's out. Here we go. <laughs> I'm feeling romantic. Hey, Josh, you want a pooty pop? <laughs> now, coming up, have you been given enough warning? We've got a couple new Christmas songs from Haywood coming up to celebrate the holiday season. But can we come back with the turkey song? A absolutely. Okay, oh, good. Wow. I'm very excited about that. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. The show is also out there for you on our YouTube channel. Watch and subscribe. Hey, Josh Arnold here from the Bob and Tom Show. Do you know where squeaky, fresh cheese curds come from? Uh, yeah, it comes from a cow's teeth. Everybody knows that. No, they come from Gardner's Wisconsin cheese. Well, well yeah, but before that, it was in a cow's teeth. God, is that you bleeping me? This is why Gardner's Wisconsin cheese is different. Their cheese curds are made fresh in the morning and delivered to your doorstep in about 48 hours nationwide. The freshest curds outside the walls of the creamery, I say. Wow. We've got fresh curds, but we couldn't get them to you for about a month by buggy. You gotta try their oven-baked cheese. It arrives at your doorstep pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it. Grill it, skillet, air fry it. Oh, uh, we're not allowed to have air fryers. We'd burn in hell for that. But you cook the cheese, I guess. But... And their aged super sharp cheddars are amazing. From four to 17 years. My favorite is the eight-year-old super sharp cheddar. It's powerful, but still creamy and melts in your mouth. Just delicious. Hmm. Sounds like that gardener farmer is pretty smart on cheese. Right now, receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at gardenerswisconsincheese.com. I don't have an internet. Their pre-selected package deals make great gifts for coworkers, friends, or anyone hard to shop for. Remember, cheese is always a good idea. You can't argue with that. <laughs> That's gardenerswisconsincheese.com. Hi, Tom here along with uh, comedian Ryan Singer, and we've been talking about Ryan's car, which has got, uh, I believe, uh, 298,000 miles on yeah. it. And uh, this is a beautiful uh, machine. It's obviously taken him all across the country many times. And Ryan would like to sell it, so I'm going to try to help him do that. I have not tried the car yet, but let's give it a quick yeah, let's, uh, review. Let's, let's check it out. Now, um, oh, the, uh, what year is this? 99. Um, oh, the driver's side handle's broken off, so you either can go into the back seat or... Oh, wait a minute. I, I think I can get it. You want me to open it? Wait a minute. Yeah. You have to open it from the inside, okay. I think. So, yeah. But, uh... As long as you have a friend okay. with you most of the time, you no problem. I'm just I'm have them open right the door now. for you. Kind of warm today here. Uh, does this thing have AC? Uh, yeah, AC works. Nice. And uh, nice. maybe I'll take that out so it's not beeping unless okay. you want to crank it up and there's a cb i don't have it hooked up yet but you got a cb nice cb radio this you can see cb the uh the original social network you can see what's your cb there? handle again monster hunter monster so hunter forever in the same three to five mile radius at the exact same time maybe we'll chat on channel 19. yeah okay okay this is a test on uh, monster hunter testing the cb i'm getting a lot of action right now Well, does the CB come with the car? CB comes with the car. Not a lot of drivers around chatting right now. That's the problem. Freeway's only about 300 yards that way. I think there'd be quite a lot of action. Yeah, they're probably just, you know, it's probably a slow day out there, you know? Okay. The radio uh, does work, CD player. As you can see, uh, oh, that's a CD right nice. there. That's nice. Uh, you know, Cap, uh, Captain Beefheart is in there right now. Oh, wow, that's sophisticated. Uh, yeah, so it's got an auxiliary plug for an iPhone or a. Android or something like that. Did you install this radio? This is aftermarket. Yeah. 
I installed the radio and the CB because the uh, factory stopped working. Glove box opens and locks. There's a GPS. Hey, I'll, I'll even throw that GPS in there. It's a Garmin. Nice. nice. Uh, yeah. So now, can we get a shot of the actual dashboard to see the mileage? Oh yeah. Let's see what we're at. That's 297, 297 870 80. miles. So by the end of uh, next week after the tour, I'll be over 280, 298. Wow. So this is about to approach 300,000 miles. Motor sounds great. And yeah. this is a, what, a 90, 99. 99, uh, this is a Camry LE, a Camry LE. Four cylinder. Four cylinder, four door. Four door. Okay, well, let's continue the tour, shall we? Okay. Once again, we're taking a tour of this uh, beautiful 99 Camry, 298,000 miles on it. Let's head back here. Uh, nice, uh, it's got the electric window thing. Yeah. Keep the ice off the back window. Gas door, nope. You Good looking trunk. Yeah, trunk's got a, bit, a lot of trunk space no, in we don't, here. Yeah, oh, we don't need, uh, oh, here, oh, Jesus. We don't need, uh, trunk's got lots of room, lots of room. Everything that comes in the trunk comes with the car. That's the deal. Uh, you know, it's, uh, oh, you know, that's a weird, I, it's a weird tick on the engine. Yeah, okay, you need cut. to that's Ryan Singer's car. Now, if you'd like to make an offer on that, how does this work, Ryan? Uh, they can reach me on my website, ryansingercomedy.com, or email ryansingercomedy at gmail.com. Make me an offer. I'll take the best offer I can get. And this is for real. This car is for sale, and it comes with everything in it, except probably the chick you had locked in the trunk. Yeah, or the luggage. The, the luggage. The luggage in the trunk. brother so. <laughs> yeah. oh my god yeah uh. i don't think her parents like me though because apparently when you uh, meet someone's mother you're not supposed to hug her and go oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> comedian nathan trenholm in the studio with us now nathan where, where are you living now i'm uh, i'm living in los angeles oh. now mm -hmm. and i live with a guy and a girl and uh, actually the last time i was in town i had some cookies and i offered some of the cookies to my roommates and the girl just got all mad at me. She's like, Nathan, I'm an actress. Actresses can't have carbohydrates. <laughs> I was like, you know, you mispronounce that word. Uh -huh. It's pronounced waitress. You're a waitress. Hey, this is Brown. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Jess Hooker at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. Sure. Can I tell you a little something about Steven Singer? I wish you would. Steven Singer Jewelers proving how worthless those lab-grown diamonds are by giving away a free one-carat lab diamond with every engagement ring purchase while supplies last. Purchase is necessary. Visit IHateStevenSinger.com for all the details. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm still Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold with our special guest. Thank you very much. The man in the hat is Haywood Banks. Um, that oh, hat no, no, associated no. with the Victorian England, wouldn't you say, uh, Josh? Yeah, yes. Uh, there's probably a name for that. It's it's sort of... I, it looks like a chimney sweep. Yeah, yeah. But it's 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 it, it, it just, it's very Dickensian. Uh, mm -hmm. It looks like you're you know yes. doing a Christmas carol. Um, uh, however, we have asked you. I know you've got another Christmas song for us coming up. I do. As we get ready for the season. Oh boy, go buy me the <laughs> finest bird you <laughs> they have at the what, butchery. What day is it? <laughs> it's Christmas. The day, plumpest sir. goose. Oh, so great. <laughs> um, now, um, uh, Mr. Haywood Banks uh, is here with us in the studio, and uh, one of my favorite songs from Haywood is a holiday song. It's about uh, it's about uh, the holiday of Thanksgiving. Mm. Now? You want me to play it now? <laughs> when I go like this, start. Okay. This. Okay. Now? Okay, good. I 
am a turkey bird. I live a turkey life. I got me 13 turkey kids, a little turkey wife. I eat a little corn, then wander around the pen. Have a drink of water, then it's corn again. Uh, puffing my feathers out, uh, strutting all around. Come on, check me out. I'm pecking on the ground. Dangly noodle hangy thing growing off my face. I'm looking good. Only thing to say is blah, 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 blah. <laughs> no, 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 no. My big brother Jake, he always was a smarty. He said when November ends, we're going to a party. Going to a party, I'll be the guest of honor. We're the will present to me a red pop-up thermometer. <laughs> I had a little dream, all the good china. You know, like cranberries, uh, any more corn. I ate too much, I'm feeling stuffed. Bloom, bloom, no, 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 no. I am a turkey bird. I live a turkey life. I got me 13 turkey kids and little turkey wife. Yay! Oh. <laughs> and there's a great cartoon video of that floating around out there. I know we've got it on the various Bob and Tom uh, sites, uh, including our YouTube uh, sites. It's animated on uh, YouTube at uh, bobandtom.com. And an interesting thing about the cartoon is that's a female turkey. Oh, really? In the cartoon. Yeah. Oh. oh. Hmm. Well, the right. males are the big puffy ones. Oh. Uh, so, ah, I made a mistake. Uh, well, uh, redo it, fellas. Fix redo it. it. <laughs> fix it. Erase it. Start over. One, two, three. They should look. You know what that was uh, really cool about that song? Hey, Siri, show me a picture of a turkey. Uh, okay, hey, hey, what is uh, when you do the thing, that George Benson thing, where you sing to the uh, guitar line uh, you're playing? Uh, I don't remember that. What is that? Is there a name for that where you sing the notes you're on Broadway or something? Remember that? Yeah, yeah, a big yeah, hit with that, that. That's cool. That's, 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 that's some nice guitar playing. Thank you very much. Haywood Banks, ladies and gentlemen. We'll hear more from Haywood. Looking forward to that. But right now, we're turning to the lady in the Chicago Bears sweatshirt. Uh, over there, they won last evening. Coming up, it's the shoe win of the week. We're going to meet our pigskin winner this week, Rocky White from Charlotte, Michigan. And um, he is going to be uh, picking against you. That's right. In our sports pick show, he won himself the Big Green Egg Mini Max. You can win it, too. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest for more information. What have you got over there, Jess? A Twitch star says she is part of a project to create a beer using her uh -oh. vaginal mm. yeast. Hey. Oh, no. You say vaginal yeast, a duck will come down and give you on a duck. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin Saragusa reports that the Polish brewery called the Order of Yoni will be using her vaginal smear as an ingredient to brew a new flavor. We've had these be guys before. before. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they've done this before, right? With other women, maybe? Yeah, there yeah. was a story a couple of years ago about they. this place does weird Accor beers. According to the brewery, the, vag the vaginal smears are taken to a laboratory where bacteria is isolated, clean, and multiplied in order to, quote, produce a pure lactic acid that goes into the Yoni beer. Wow. Oh, all right. Yeah. This is not the first time Saragusa has made headlines. She previously went viral for selling farts in a jar. Oh, that's her? And her yeah. used bath water. <laughs> Remember we talked about that? Yes. Now there's a song. <laughs> farts in a jar. <laughs> uh, how, so how, how do they I pay me? My so it's a lot of I can save gas in a bottle. <laughs> she, uh, <laughs> Very she's, good. She's gorgeous. Yeah, she's she's, cute. she's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So... I hear That's she fine. Can... I don't need to drink this uh, or smell her farts. Well, uh... would you drink her beer? I don't think so. Well, judging by this picture, it's not bush beer. <laughs> ah, oh, shaving. Right. Uh, oh, well, thank you. For it's like Christmas, Tom. Uh, you know that. <laughs> nice tag. Well, it's... She, there's a picture here. Here's, oh, dear. She's opening a bottle with it. Oh. That's got to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe, maybe not. <laughs> she have the crazy uncle that would go, I'd, I'd drink a gallon of her. Uh, that, that that water just wait a minute. I, a crazy him. uncle. <laughs> what is it? Like, you wouldn't kick her out of bed for Eating crackers. Oh, Eating crackers. there it is. That's the nicer version, right? <laughs> How about a crazy neighbor? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Anybody, uh, oh, I think the last time we had this story was it was this it was other famous models, right? And he was this brewer was taking the 
pap smears and somehow turning it into beer. Yeah, oh. why, why don't why don't we get guy stuff and have guy beer? Why is it always the girls? We did, what? Well, I for one ain't drinking no beer. Come with another guy's crotch. I tell you that. Yeah, I want that one. I, look at that. It's slits. You think I? You think I want a big old glass of ball snot? No, I do no. not. Would that work? I uh, know. I guess I don't. I don't where know. Would you get the, I don't know. Where do you guys about. produce yeast? Yeah. Hmm. Do we? If you have thrush, I guess. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose so. Well, we can have we can have urinary spit in it, I guess. Yeah, I don't we, know. Guys can have UTIs, right? Yeah. Yeah, but can you get yeast infections? That's, I, I don't. Yeah, I, that's I, not the probably. same. Probably, yeah. I don't know. It's not the same thing. I'm more than willing to sell my gas. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, and his gas is lethal. It blows holes in underwear. <laughs> and melt the jar. Yeah. Good luck getting that. <laughs> Holy hell. Uh, uh, well, I tried selling my farts in a jar. Is that right? It never worked because I would punch holes in the lid to make sure they lived. But, uh, <laughs> the people would receive them, and there's no farts in here. In the shelf life. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, very good. Real stupid. Uh, I... <laughs> so I was looking into this yesterday, trying to see if we could actually get. A uh, can of this beer. Come on! I thought. Well, let's start off small. Let's just get a fart in a jar for. <laughs> yeah. See if, well, we, see like if we like that. Yeah. It's brewed in Poland, so it, this may be of tricky. It is. So, but uh, we're going to get on this. I think there's a big we, bowling tournament coming up. We're not going to be able to. <laughs> we we get the the we had the dick chips and we had the whatever the what were the oh, other the girl chips. All of this stuff comes from oh, overseas. Yeah. Because they're all lunatics. <laughs> it's because we have a Food and Drug Administration here that keeps us on the straight and narrow. No, don't, get oh, start, don't get me started on those crooks. So. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. <laughs> what do you think, Skip, about this fart in a jar? <laughs> uh, okay. And I'd walk a mile and drink that bathwater. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, we got to get Uncle uh, Philip out of here, man. <laughs> I thought that was the neighbor. <laughs> Uncle <Philip>. Dirty. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, really disgusting. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, uh, a couple quick things. As I mentioned, we have the shoe of the week coming up. Yes, we do. And I will urge you to go to bobandtom.com slash contest to find out about that. I want to mention also a couple real quick things. Mr. Pat Godwin on the road at the KFC, not the chicken place, but the Knights of Columbus Hall in Delphus, Ohio, Saturday only. Also, Greg Warren, I guess from yesterday, along with Willie G, uh, Louisville. They're going to be at the caravan tonight and tomorrow. While I'm at it, Kostaki. Tonight at the Community Theater in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and tomorrow, Brickhouse Pub, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. So a bunch of uh, cool gigs coming up. And I know, Mr. Godwin, you're being joined by Mr. Oske, is that correct? Indeed, Jeff Oske. Okay, yeah. that'll be a great show uh, in Ohio tomorrow at Delphus, the home of Delphus Presley, of course. Um, now, now, we have a Mr. McGee over there. You know what time of year it is, Tom? I do not. Well, first of all, it's never a bad time to protect your home, but this fall happens to be an especially good time because you can get up to 50% off a brand new Simply Safe Home Security System. Just go to simplysafetom.com. Name the best home security of 2023 by U.S. News and World Report. Simply Safe comprehensive protection for the whole home with advanced sensors that detect break ins, fires, floods, and more. Plus, HD cameras, both inside and out, and powered by 24 7 professional monitoring for less than a dollar a day, half the cost of traditional home security. And the new 24 7 Live Guard protection and the smart alarm wireless indoor camera. Monitoring agents can see and speak to intruders, helping stop crime in real time. A powerful technology exclusively from Simply Safe. And Simply Safe satisfaction is backed by their money back guarantee. Try Simply Safe for 60 days risk free. If you don't love it, return your system for a full refund. And for a limited time, Bob and Tom show listeners get a special 50% off any Simply Safe system with a fast protect plan. Just visit simplysafetom.com. That's simplysafetom.com. Remember, there's no safe like Simply Safe. Read the reviews. Everybody loves Simply Safe. Coming up, some more music from Mr. Haywood Banks. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Comedy. My wife listens to ASMR. I don't know if you guys know what ASMR is or stands for. Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. And I don't know what that is either. <laughs> It means whispering. That's all that is. <laughs> Bob Ross, he's, he's whispering, and he paints on the canvas, and it's all scratchy, and he takes the paintbrush and dips it into the water and hits it on the easel to beat the devil out of it. <laughs> 
and then sometimes Bob would have his squirrel in studio, and the squirrel would be like, <laughs> that's ASMR. <laughs> I'm, I'm home from school, third grade, just being like, I don't know why I'm so relaxed. <laughs> but Bob, you're doing it right today. <laughs> That's what my wife listens to every single night. Her favorite lady, she's got three-inch fingernails, and this Wolverine woman <laughs> is always just click-clacking on things with their fingernails, typing on a keyboard, and out of nowhere, she'll be like, I'm going to eat a big pickle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm about to fall asleep right now. <laughs> Turn this off. I'm driving. You took my breath away from the moment I first saw you. Will you marry me, Dolly? <laughs> she said yes! She said yes! It's not a real person. It's not a real diamond. Real, natural, earthborn diamond. For your real love, from a real jeweler you can trust. Steven Singer Jewelers. Yeah, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just getting old. I hate, I'm not doing this gracefully. I hate technology. I hate any kind of change. I, have you seen this commercial for a car where they say the car can actually anticipate when you're going to have a wreck? The uh -huh. car can predict when you're going to, I guess they got some kind of computer on board. Right. I thought, you know, if that was really true, as soon as I hand the keys to my son, the damn airbags would go off. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but I saw all this technology. Like I, I, I'm, I'm sure you guys probably have this. Uh, I just don't understand if this, like MySpace and Facebook. Oh, yeah. Twitter. Right. I just don't, I don't understand the concept. I don't can you imagine uh, being in a mall and going up to a complete stranger and going, Psst, could I be your friend? <laughs> <laughs> denied. You'd be denied bail. That should be denied. I just, and young people out there, I'm not saying I'm right. I know this is old man cranky talk. I really do. But I, <laughs> I just don't understand. I see all these young college kids getting tattoos with, like, Chinese characters on their arm. Yeah. You think there's college kids in China getting... Geter Dunn tattooed on their arms. I, I find that unlikely, don't you? I, That's very possible. Now, this, this, you don't have to be old or cranky for this to make you mad, but this is making me nuts. Have you noticed how uh, lately when you call these tech support things, in my case, I was calling my credit card, but when these 1 800 things, we know this has been outsourced for a while, but sure. remember in the beginning how they try to pretend like they're American? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They'd say, I Oh, my name is Sean. You go, right. Yeah, how's the weather in Calcutta today, uh, Sean? Uh -huh. But <laughs> now they don't even care. Have you noticed? Seven. I'm serious. I called the day, and the guy just told me his uh, told me his Indian name, and when they put me on hold, they're playing Ravi Shankar. You know, they didn't, <laughs> they didn't bother to hide it at all. And I, I was getting so frustrated because you know I I wasn't getting anything done. I kept saying, "Excuse me, I'm sorry. What was that? Please, excuse me. Could repeat that." Mm -hmm. And here's what I want you guys to do. It was a lot of fun for me. Maybe we'll start a movement. I started mumbling on purpose, like Boom Hour from King of the Hill or Gabby Hayes. I started going, "Yeah, they damn well so make up a thing in there, put someone down on him." He goes, "Excuse me, what?" I said, "Yeah, how do you like it?" <laughs> Uh, boom, huh? yeah. Try that on for size. Mm. It's literally just water. I, uh... Mouth it. Mouth it? <laughs> has, has that been throwing you guys off? Like, I've been told that when I drink out of bottles that I really, like, wrap my whole mouth around them or whatever. And I'll be honest, I have no idea what people are talking about. How we doing, fellas? <laughs> Both traumatic and painful. <laughs> Did you know that you have a choice when it comes to choosing an anesthesia? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Introducing Ed Padural's Anesthesia City! Anesthesia City! Hey, Eddie Padural here. When you need to get gooned on the goofy juice, it really helps to shop around. 
And there's no better time than now, as we're getting giddy at Anesthesia City. Mm -hmm. It's our once a year Malaise Days. Malaise Days! <laughs> Bring in your Zoo Book coupon and we'll knock off an additional 50% on scratch and dent ethers, pentothals, and nitrous. Anesthesia City! And oh yeah, free balloons for the kids. Hey, if they're real young, make sure they don't suck on any of that balloon air. If you know what I'm saying. Anesthesia City! Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. It's a big day. Haywood's here in a real nice hat. We're doing, Haywood's doing something. And I got a, got a bunch of stuff to celebrate. Veterans Day, of course. And uh, today is a, a birthday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Happy birthday to uh, the United States Marine Corps. Oh, oh 248 years old. Uh, special hello to Dan from Savannah. And Jeff uh, Semper Fi, uh, appreciate very much your uh, uh, service. And uh, we have a special treat for you by request from uh, someone who also Semper Fi, a Marine, happens to be named Mr. Greg Hahn. I went to college. I was in the Marine Corps. I was in the Marines for a while. You were? Like a, wow. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, it was great. You get to yell and scream. They're doing an awesome job, aren't they? The Marine Corps? Oh, yeah. The best. My favorite. I loved it because you, you get to march all around everywhere you go. You're a greasy grand. I got a hold of a pan. I got a big behind. I like freaking that. I used to goof off. I used to only call lefts. Left, 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 left. <laughs> I'll get you home early. <laughs> but the drill instructors were the best because they're insane. Marine Corps drill instructors. Ah! They're like, they're tough guys, and they scream and yell at you the whole time, and everything contradicts. You know, it's like, come here, get back. Come here, get back. Get up here, get away from me. Sit down, suck it up. No good. Outstanding. You know? Outstanding. That's their favorite word in the military. Outstanding. Today, we're going to hit you in the head with a pipe. Outstanding. <laughs> I came out of boot camp. I was a little bit wacky. I'm cool now. Thank goodness. You know? <laughs> when I came out, I was nuts. And it takes a while to adjust as a civilian world when you come out of boot camp because you're so fired up. When I came out that same week, my sister got married. She had me seat people at the wedding. I accepted the assignment, you know? <laughs> Outstanding. These people would come walking up to me in front of the church like, oh, you must be Patricia's brother. Sit down! <laughs> I don't want to be your friend. Get your eyes off me. What is your major malfunction? 200 people showed up. I put them all in the same row. <laughs> tighten it up. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. We're not comfortable. Outstanding. It was excellent. It was outstanding. Greg, gone. Uh, 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 I left the Marine Corps. He is uh, a, a, a mar Marine forever, of course. And uh, Semper Fi uh, to uh, the uh, the infantry, 0311, and uh, also we got this from Joshua. He wants to say hello to the fellow, I hope I pronounced this right, Bellew Woodsman, 248th birthday of the United States Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. Now, we are going to hear from Mr. Haywood Banks in a matter of seconds, but first, we travel over to the news desk. Sitting in for Christy Lee, it's Ms. Jess Hooker. What have you got? Since we are still uh, uh, celebrating... Veterans Day, I just wanted to revisit this story real quick. The Las Vegas Strip Club is honoring Veterans Day by offering free lap dances to current and former military members. Cool. Managers at Las Vegas's Crazy Horse 3 announced the bump and grind giveaway on Monday <laughs> with a flyer for the promotion featuring a busty blonde in a skimpy star-spangled bikini. So there you go. Just reminding our veterans that you can go get a free lap dance. All right. Um... Would would they be expected to tip? I mean, I don't know. Maybe they maybe hmm. maybe the girls uh, forego the tip. Say go go ahead and keep it. This one's well, on, this one's on me. Oh, thank you for your <laughs> service. <laughs> and then, and then you go, yeah, the, yeah, this one's on you. <laughs> oh, you got it on both of us. Are yeah. you happy? <laughs> you ever hear that song? The Yanks are coming. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Apparently, that one of the Nevada brothels uh, was uh, oh, one yeah. year. One year they gave away uh, free. Sex to uh, veterans. Yeah. Really? They, they, called, they called it giving it up for the troops. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that right? <laughs> That's right. All right. Okay, thank you. And as we, we established this before, it's uh, uh, vets, veterans, not veterinarians. Right. No, yeah. unfortunately. No, that's, no They're sorry. left out today. Yeah, I know. Just because you took care of my dog, Cinnamon, doesn't mean you get a free. That's no, a okay, different Free lap dance from okay. a, another <laughs> Cinnamon. Yes. Entirely different. It's a different thing. Thing. It's great yeah. stripper name. Uh, now, um, uh, what else you got over there? A plane bound for Orlando, Florida, was forced to return to the U.K. after it took off with two missing window panes. Oh. An incident occurred last month on an Airbus A321 charter flight. This is my favorite story in a long time. 
They <laughs> forgot the windows in the airplane. <laughs> After takeoff, several passengers noticed that the cabin seemed noisier and colder. <laughs> Are you? Is it me? Are you cold? Are you being? You feel like you're being sucked out of the? Yeah. Like I'm, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm being lifted out of my seat. So the, the windows were missing. Yeah, he crew. Did you, did you see the thing where they land and uh, the safe light truck pulls up? <laughs> oh. You heard the song. Yeah. Safe light repair. Safe, safe light replace. replace. I love those guys. Those, those guys, guys are amazing. Up. Absolutely. A crew member then noted that uh, a window seal was flapping in the airflow of the oh, window geez. pane. <laughs> it appeared to slip out. Donnie, yeah, Donnie, come here. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Did I? Uh, did you get the chance to replace those windows? Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was you need. I need to do that later this week. Yeah, right? yeah. I, I, you, remember, you couldn't let the plane take off. The, I, I read to uh, replace the windows. I <laughs> remember read that? More, more of this. <laughs> Apparently, what happened? They were doing some kind of photo shoot. Did you see this? No. And they had what? these. Yeah, they had. Apparently, they were inside the aircraft for some reason doing a big photo shoot, and they had all these lights in there. Huh. And the thought process is these lights. Uh, they were. It's a confined space, and it was so hot in there. Oh. That whatever the glue was that was holding the windows in place, the windows apparently slipped down into the body of the aircraft. That's uh, the theory wow. that's in this one article. So. Hmm. Hmm. But. You, so I guess it may have happened after they all exited the plane. The crew that was doing the filming didn't realize that the windows were falling out. But would you, when you sit down, wouldn't you notice? I guess unless you didn't lift yeah. the 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 whatever. That <laughs> oh, yeah, is. I mean, yeah. If, yeah. The blind, if the blind was down, yeah, then, you wouldn't notice. Yeah, yeah that, the window <laughs> that doesn't give you quite the protection. <laughs> no, the, the sealed plexiglass window would. No. Uh, apparently, the cabin did not lose pressure. Well, that's good. Yeah. Um, uh, they didn't go high enough, though, right? Like 14,000 yeah, feet. Oh, they were yeah. still down. Okay. Yeah, yeah well, that's, that's But can you imagine you're in the chair, you, 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 you click the, the light for the flight attendant. Ding. Yeah, uh, stewardess. Yeah, um, I can stick my <laughs> arm out the window. Is that... Are we Norman? allowed to be able to do this and put your hand yeah. out? I, I, I feel like I'm in Ace's car. I would be terrified. <laughs> would you put your hand out like when you were a little kid and do the up of down course. with your hand? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> little kid, I did it this morning on the way in here. I love doing that. That's fun. Don't you wish you could go into a dog's brain just for a second? Because you know when your dog sticks her head out the window, she's thinking she's flying. This is great. They're so happy. It's, it's so funny. I just love that. Yeah. Uh, now, um, we have Mr. Haywood Banks here with us. And um, Haywood, it's always a pleasure to see you. Love your head. It's always rough segues in here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could, I see, I could have said, to, to anger you, I could have said, hey, speaking of dogs, Haywood, play one of your dog songs. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to spring that on you. Uh, uh, thank you. Have, you. you have thank suggested you, you want to play some uh, new it. stuff. Is that what this is? I do. This is enough of a spring. This is I. Uh, this is another Christmas song. And it, when I wrote these songs, I try to think what family tradition happened in my house that would be a universal thing that would happen at everybody's house, and mm -hmm. just you know something something everybody could relate to, and um, you know be opening presents with the family and stuff like that. So anyway, this is called uh, Crinkle Crinkle. <laughs> Crinkle, crinkle, here comes Grandma. Hooray, it's Christmas Day. All the presents have been opened. Santa Claus gone on his way. Here comes Grandma, crinkle, crinkling. Red and gold glitter, she is sprinkling. The kids all say, hooray, it's Christmas Day. All around the Christmas tree, toys as far as you can see. Shredded bows and paper on the floor. Grandma always makes a fuss. She loves that wrapping paper so much. It's so beautiful, I'm gonna use it to decorate my drawers. Now, crinkle, crinkle, here comes Grandma. Hooray, it's Christmas Day. All the presents have been opened. Santa Claus gone on his way. Here comes Grandma, crinkle, crinkling. Red and gold glitter, she is sprinkling. The kids all say, hooray, it's Christmas Day. The piles of toys all go unused as we fight with wrapping paper tubes. Grandma dances round to Christmas tunes. As the vacuum cleaner fails to pick up Grandma's glitter trail, Mom and Dad whisper one thing's clear. We won't get the glitter wrapping paper next year. <laughs> Here comes Grandma. Hooray, it's Christmas Day. 
All the presents have been opened. Santa Claus gone on his way. Here comes Grandma, crinkle, crinkling, red and gold glitter. She is sprinkling. The kids all say, hooray, it's Christmas Day. Jingle, jingle, hey, that's Santa. Crinkle, crinkle, must be Grandma. Kids all say, hooray, it's Christmas Day. Yay. All right. <laughs> oh, boy. No, I, I, at first, I thought when you said it's going to be relatable, uh, it wouldn't be. But I, my mom, it would be, you'd open the presents, you had to practically take a razor so you could reuse the paper. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. Hmm. That was a thing. She would, you'd collect all the paper and fold it up and reuse it. Yeah. I uh, And then that also reminded me, um, you know those uh, the New Year's Eve, those popper things mm -hmm. that shoot out the glitter? We were in a rented uh, condo one Christmas <laughs> and got the girls those uh, poppers. My sister and I spent more than an hour trying to get that stuff out of the carpet. Yeah, there's an additional cleaning fee, at, like Airbnbs, and if you use any kind of glitter, there's a fee for yeah. cleaning up. Yeah. <laughs> that stuff, you, we, we, it's it awful. Was, it was rough. Yeah. Yeah, so we flagged down the maids and explained to them as, as we handed them a hefty tip. <laughs> yeah, you know, sorry been, about that. We've been trying to get this stuff out of the carpet for a long time. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Now, uh, we have uh, a lot of stuff going on, including coming up, the shoe-in of the week with Chick McGee, the sports pick show. That's right. Uh, often duplicated. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Often, often imitated. imitated. Ne never, never, never duplicated. duplicated. Uh, we're going to speak with Rocky White from Charlotte, Michigan. He won the Big Green Egg Minimax uh, for Week 9. Uh, week 10 is up and running. And be part of it. Go to uh, bobandtom.com slash contest if you would like to be a part of this. Uh, maybe win yourself the Big Green Egg Mini. Max. Now we return to the uh, news desk where we have Jess Hooker sitting in for Christy Lee. A distillery is launching a new brandy and it is trout flavored. Brandy? <laughs> According to Food and Wine magazine, it's awful. Tamworth Distilling. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it, it seems like it would be obvious, but yeah, it tastes awful. Yeah. Tamworth Distilling is an apple brandy made from sustainable farmed smoked brook trout. Hmm. Mm. Remember her, brook trout? Yeah. Pretty, but fishy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't want to get too close. Don't get too close. Each bottle of the limited edition spirit also includes a small scoop of roe. Which is oh, fish eggs. Oh, that's that's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. Boy, so it's a family affair. <laughs> this is awful. The brandy, which costs sixty five dollars per bottle, will be available to buy online starting November seventeenth. Right. I, I don't think I've ever had uh, uh, just a regular brandy. I don't. It, isn't it? I've always heard it's syrupy, kind of cough cough syrupy like. Is it? Yeah, I've never had it. Is either. it sweet? Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I did not care for it at all. Yeah, but that's the my fish. And I wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. The fish thing is. I mean, I can't even drink what that's uh, clamato juice. <laughs> I've never tried it, but just the name makes me sick. Yeah. <laughs> is that stuff any good? Yeah. It's actually what do you mean? Good. The great taste of clams now in a drink. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> Clam and tomato. This yeah. sounds like a way to get alcoholics to quit drinking. Well, we've yeah. got fish flavored brandy. Boop. <laughs> Uh, so it says apple brandy. Is that just like, is that what they ferment to get the alcohol? There's not an apple flavor, right? Well, I think it might have a bit of an apple flavor. Be. Apple and fish? You know, together? you've gone to these nice. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> you've gone to these I, really, I, like, I like herring on my Macintosh. <laughs> <laughs> you've gone to these really nice parties where they have a fish with an apple in its mouth and people are. <laughs> oh, sure. Right. sure yeah, it's lovely. Sure. It's delicious. God, would, that be, would that be funny? <laughs> Remember we were talking about there are certain restaurants where they serve the fish with the head on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And you refused to make something I asked you to make. I don't refuse that. I and, refuse and, the possum. And I, okay, I brought up Mr. Banks because Haywood is a farmer. And um, we had a news story about a, a chicken pot pie yes. that is a delicacy in which the chicken's head... <laughs> is saved and it um, and it's cooked so the chicken's head is emerging from the pie. Nice. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a cool idea? And I, you, you said, where can you get a chicken? I said, get one of Haywood's chickens. You'll chop off the head, right? That's uh, usually the raccoons do it around my house. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice, nice of them. <laughs> Oh, but you know, rac it. raccoons have opposable thumbs. You know that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So they choke the chicken. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what are they opposed to? Teach them a lesson. <laughs> a lesson. Are they protesting right now? Uh huh. Okay. This company that, what's it called? Tamworth Distilling. I looked this up. Yeah. 
And this isn't their only weird thing. This is the trout fr- flavored brandy oh, good. distiller. They previously released something, I think we might have talked about this, called Grave Robber Unholy Rye. Okay. Wow. Now this this gets a, uh, this is a stretch, but they made it with syrup tapped from maple trees in a colonial graveyard. Mm. Oh, all right. Wow. That's so, interesting. Yeah. I mean, so the theory being that as the corpse is rotted, it fed the roots of the tree and wow. you're drinking the essence of someone. Yum. Uh, hence the unholy grave robber name. Yeah. They did this one, O de Musk. M U S C. Anyone want to? Oh, 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 the musk. Want to guess? I think that's my issue with the possum. Yeah, is the that musk, you have. Uh, I have to. Get I'm gonna the get musk. skunk. Yeah. Uh, close. This is a whiskey made with oil extract from the castor gland of the North American beaver. Ah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Then it's in parentheses. Harvested from the beaver's anus. I thought that's where vanilla. That's vanilla, vanilla, yeah. candy, yeah. That's vanilla that extract. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, Huh. Uh, and I, again, I wonder who was the first man, and it had to be a man, that <laughs> had a, 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 a um, beaver in front of them and said, I wonder what that, that creamy like. essence in their anus tastes like. Oh. <laughs> no, oh, no, Frank, I couldn't help but notice you were, you were rimming, rimming that beaver. Uh, <laughs> you're, really, you're really mowing down on that beaver, Can I, can I ask you... Why? <laughs> well, it's surprisingly vanilla. <laughs> what? So this is this is legit. You can look it up. Tamworth Distilling Uh-oh. for the uh, the trout um, trout a uh, uh, brook trout <laughs> brandy. And I don't know if they have any more of the North American beaver eau de musk about there. Pat, Pat, you have a, a tribute to that, don't you? Could we come back with that? Uh, if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, At least he said, can you come back with it? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to give him a chance. I'm take feeling me, a little take uh, me to the chair, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we've got Haywood Banks hanging. We'll get a couple of the classics out there. We're also taking some uh, veterans' requests with Veterans Day coming up, uh, and uh, we certainly appreciate you, and uh, we would love to get these requests up and running for you. Right now, I turn over there, and I look at uh, Mr. Chick McGee. Yes. I say, speaking of great food, Josh, I know that you're part of this. We have uh, some delicious cheese from our friends at Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese. This is something brand new for us. I'm so excited. I see super sharp cheddar, powerful but still creamy and melts in your mouth. That's all you need to know about Gardner's Wisconsin cheese and sausage. It's amazing. I believe Josh has a big box of it, don't you? I mean, man, oh man, I got right? some of the uh, oven, the pre-baked cheese. Yes, and then when you get it, you heat it and eat it. You can grill it, skillet, or air fry it. I had some of the grilled. My goodness, it's I had the bacon cheddar and the chipotle cheddar, and both just mm. phenomenal. Here's the thing about Gardner's Wisconsin cheese and sausage: it's so fresh, the freshest curds you've ever tasted. Their famous squeaky curds come in white cheddar and garlic dill flavor. They're made fresh in the morning and chick most often delivered to your doorstep in only about 48 hours, and that's nationwide. Wow! Yes, so they have to be fresh. They don't have any choice. Uh, check out all the flavors. Just go to GardenersWisconsinCheese.com. Try it out. You'll see the difference and taste the difference. And then you'll know what to get those hard-to-buy-for people in your life this holiday season. GardenersWisconsinCheese.com. Cheese is always a good idea. And right now, receive cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese. Dot com. It is delicious. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese dot com. I uh, think it'd be the perfect gift. You know, get something people are going to like instead of getting something they're never going to use. Well, we got you an oil painting of me. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks if we ever put a bathroom in our basement. <laughs> I'll have a spot for it. Uh, How about some cheese? Gardner's Wisconsin cheese. This is one of those, too, where you give them the gift and then you can go, hey, why don't we break that open? Yeah. Uh, we open the rest of the No, no, you get one for yourself. That's the rule. Okay, sure, yeah. You know that if you buy a gift uh, prior to Thanksgiving, you have to get one for yourself no matter what it is. Yeah, but you leave that at home and you have them open up their gift. You know, they invented the sausage stick Bloody Mary. Oh, I don't. Is that right? Hey, that's a great they, idea. I know they perfected it. That's oh, for sure. oh, that's yeah. what they did. Okay, thank you very much. Coming up, we'll get another song out of Mr. Haywood Banks and a song from uh, Mr. Patty G. All right. Okay, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at.
You took my breath away from the moment I first saw you. Will you marry me, Dolly? She said yes! She said yes! It's not a real person. It's not a real diamond. Real, natural, earthborn diamond. For your real love, from a real jeweler you can trust. Steven Singer Jewelers. I was just kind of curious if you've done any straight sort of. No. And now this from ABC News. Oh, no? I'd like to. Mm -hmm. BBC News in London. I'm Lakshmi Singh. Now <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. a word from Haifa. <laughs> James Pettigrew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, you can do it. I could do it, sure. Sounds a little sarcastic, but... Yes, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, then, uh, to actually get all the words not all jumbly-wumbly, mm -hmm. uh, I think that's the problem. I'd have to have a t constant script. Yeah. Um, I, I think I'd have problems talking of the cuff intelligently about world issues. Yeah. Well, you that's know? why you're here. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and now, mm -hmm. uh, the latest from Greece. Yes. With yes. Maria Bamford. <laughs> In English! <laughs> I'd like to order dessert with milk, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Mm. Uh, I could say, uh, uh, say something in Hindi. Kihale kuta per milangi. Hello, dog. Mm. Goodbye. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I got out of four years of Spanish. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hola. Oh, dog, Fort goodbye. Oh, it's yeah. hi, Frank. Hello. Oh. Uh, hola, Paco. Okay, tall. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> very handy. Very handy. Yeah, yeah. Do you speak a foreign language? Uh, I, well, I, I went to a meetup group where they, uh, you're supposed to learn Spanish, but no one was a fluent speakers. So we ended up speaking sort of pretend Spanish, like, mm -hmm. uh, si, uh, no, no. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> 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 it's like, oh my God, I'm really good at pretend yeah, languages. Yeah, great. I do like porn, uh, but I'm going to ask you guys a favor. We get a lot of emails sent to the show. You can stop sending me porn clips, okay? I, uh, thanks, but no thanks. I, I appreciate it, but I'll be honest, I want to find my own porn, okay? T-Rex doesn't want to be fed, T-Rex wants to hunt. That's... So let's see if we've established a few things. Doug is a single man, but he's living with a woman in... Um, her, in sin. Her, her name is Bingo. Her nickname, yeah. Uh, she, uh, um, <laughs> they live in, is it Bisbee? Christy yes. felt the need to... <laughs> you know, this is how, I, I get a great Bingo story, but I, like, mm -hmm. her, she's got a really... Uh, careful. Conservative side of our family that listens to your show, and I have oh, okay. a great story, and I can't tell it. No, oh, that's oh. too bad. Well, she's very nice. We, we, we have met Bingo. She's very nice. Yes, she's mm -hmm. very nice. Mm -hmm. and we I'm did, not a, we did a charity uh, poker event at in Miami last week. This yeah. is the card game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, with porn stars <laughs> and me. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because you hear poker. Dog's naked yeah. a lot. Did I mention yeah. that? You hear poker. No, not anymore. Not anymore. No, 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 Those days are over. Yeah. I bloated up when I quit smoking. I just, yeah. You got okay. all icky. Yeah, I get all bloated and fat, and mm -hmm. yeah, I try not to be naked as much as possible. <laughs> I'm sure Chick can feel me on this. Oh one. yeah, I feel you, brother. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, the the only point point of my story is, uh, if you're gonna uh, if you're gonna have a uh, a threesome in a sleazy Best Western in Miami with a giant pile of stepped on blow <laughs> with Ginger Lynn, mm -hmm. do it in 1983. That's all, I'm saying. That's all I'm saying about last weekend. Fair enough. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Didn't, didn't, yeah. Work yeah. Out. didn't work yeah. out well. Yeah. I'm nearing 50. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Things I should have done as a kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why did I finally do this now? <laughs> The bar's bouquet. <laughs> With one phone call, you can cover your ass and get some ass. It's a win-win. <laughs> call now, because when Cupid shoots his arrow on February 14th, 
you won't be shooting anything unless you get her some flowers. <laughs> this is Reno Collier, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Comedian Jim Gaffigan joins us in the studio, a family man, a clean liver. Now, when you're on stage, Jim, you don't do a, a blue kind of show, do you? I'm very clean and kind of, uh, you know, I talk about cake for like an hour because, you know, cake's an important cake. topic. Cake, Absolutely. tell me about cake. Well, well there's a lot of different... Cake's a powerful food. Cake can actually bring people together. You know, it's Bill's birthday. Yeah, I hate that guy. There's cake in the conference room. Well, I should say hello. <laughs> you know, Who am I to pass day. judgment on him? It's his big day. There's so many types of cake. There's rum cake, which makes sense because we've all been eating cake and thought, you know, this needs booze. <laughs> booze? Bottle of liquor. I don't have time to eat and drink. There's fruit cake. That's a bit of a disappointment. Oh, yeah. yeah. You'd think that would be better. Fruit, good. Right. Cake, great. Right. Fruit cake, nasty crap. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Have you tried fruit cake? I don't even think that's fruit in there. You're like, when is that a skittle? <laughs> uh, Tom Simmons is our guest. You were, I understand you've been to Afghanistan. I assume on, on one of the uh, USO type tours. The, uh, the comics on duty. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, good, yeah. good for you. Afghanistan is desolate, man. Everything is dirt. Every building, every structure is like dirt. We don't need satellite guided bombs. We just should drop water balloons. <laughs> 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 that, that, uh, that muddy wow. Turn that place into mud and farmland, and it'll be run, great. Have you run this strategic idea by the people at the <laughs> Pentagon? Yeah, yeah it'd save well, us a lot of money. Amen. This is positively we're launching brilliant. a massive a hydro attack. That's uh, what we're going to do. And, uh, all these fire bombs are merely drawing it out. <laughs> all day, all night, all Bob and Tom. This is Bob and Tom 24 7. Event Bright. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Possibly the greatest email ever. Oh, I'm Chick McGee. Here's Tom. Hello, Tom. Well, before we get to that, All a couple right. of quick plugs. Yeah? Uh, Mr. Haywood Banks is here with us. What a handsome man. Is that right? That is a head of hair, my friend. That is a head of hair. It's endless. It is, uh... <laughs> I fill I fill the brush up every day and it's still there. It is uh that is <laughs> it's uh, amazing. It is a really long. Uh when's the last time you got that cut? Pardon me? When's the last time you had a haircut? Um I don't know, about a year ago. Oh, looks oh, good. Yeah, off. Yeah, that's it's bushy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You look like um you look like uh, a Leon Russell. A little bit. Thank you. That's only a little. Uh, uh, you. uh, if you're wondering what Haywood looks what like, it? sliding into Christmas, slipping into Up on New the tie wire. On the tie wire. Why, I love why, this why, yeah. uh, now, um, a couple quick things. Uh, Mr. Banks has played some new uh, Christmas stuff for us, getting ready for the season. And uh, Haywood has a great Christmas album out there. If you don't mind, I have to give it a quick plug. It's in the all the usual places: Spotify, etc., etc., etc. And you can see some great videos of Haywood on the Bob and Tom uh, uh, YouTube pages uh, uh so check that out please and uh, haywood's got a website that has all this stuff on it haywoodbanks.com uh, uh haywood is h-e-y yes mr haywood banks uh and uh we're going to uh switch gears and hear a letter is that hey correct? you bunch of whack jobs this email starts that's us used to live on the big tit river this says is that right or as tom would say the titabawasi river is that in michigan tom titabawasi yep. titabawasi yep. titabawasi now I am in North Carolina. Chick, when are y'all going to come down and do a show here? I will bring the Miller Lite and grapes. Oh. <laughs> classic. Is That's that from a little a guy? inside romantic thing Chick's famous uh, for. It is not. Oh, it's from a girl. And did Chris, is Christy in China adopting a baby? I hope she gets that squared away. Mm, I yes. heard she's married now. Mm -hmm. So congratulations. Yeah, okay. All the way around. See you with the, see you with the kid coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. That's the daycare right here on the show. Um, now, we, you just had the story about the uh, trout-flavored brandy. Yes. And uh, what was the name of the company? I don't have it in front of me. Tamworth Distilling. Okay, well, oh, there, here we go. And do you know, it's from, I just, here's the article, Tamworth, New Hampshire. They also have the bourbon uh, Eau de Musk flavored with the secretion from a beaver's castor sacs, which is a fancy way to say anal secretions. What? Um, yeah, it's called the castorium. It has a history of being used as a flavoring. It's um, on the FDA's list, quote, of things generally recognized as safe. Generally? Yeah. That's... Okay. I think, I think, <laughs> I think yeah. when you see rennet... In in stuff like in cheese, I think the coloring the rennet 
is actually from uh, Cow's uh, rear end, too. Oh, oh really? I didn't yeah. know that. Wow. Um, in any event, that's a thing. And uh, this is the place that uh, created the bourbon with uh, beaver anal secretions. And uh, uh, Pat, uh, that leads to a song. We used to go to a restaurant that served beaver right down the street. You remember? Oh, right? yeah. They had all kinds of stuff there, and that yeah. inspired this song. I went to a place that served exotic dishes like elk and wild boar. I heard it was delicious, but one thing I ate made me sick. It's so sad to see. Good beaver gone bad. Good beaver gone bad. Well, it was tough and dry. I took a whiff and almost fainted. <laughs> the pink had turned brown and it tasted kind of tainted. You take your chances eating out. I should have had the trout. Ooh, yeah. Good beaver gone bad. You want it fresh. Don't let it spoil rotten. Or leave it hanging around where it's forgotten. You better eat it while it's hot, because pretty soon it's not. Oh, good beaver goes bad. <laughs> Sometimes a beaver makes that sound. <laughs> Her love is dried up all at once, was so delicious. She's cruel and she's cold now, vile and vicious. She was up to no good while she gnawed on the wood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good beaver gone bad. A good beaver. Good beaver. Good beaver gone bad. Good beaver gone bad. <laughs> Thank you very much. Patty G. A uh, song about beaver. Have um, you ever uh, prepared... Uh, J Jess Zucker, we should plan it as a very fine cook. Have you ever uh, prepared uh, beaver? No, not beaver. Um, what's this, the, he's, we're not kidding. The place we're talking about, they did have... Oh, yeah. They had exotic meat. They had lo yeah. all kinds of exotic meats. and Yeah. We recently had an article about eating possum, which one of our presidents was a big fan. Taft. Yeah. Believe it Taft right. would, this is true. Would eat possum at Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. He would have a he turkey. He insisted on it. And a 26-pound possum right next to the turkey, right there on the table. Um, but yeah. uh, we, you don't want to make the possum for us, but you will make the, the chicken. I'll do the chicken because that was just, um, that was heart and liver and the internal organs. Uh, Over in chicken. That. In that pie, you didn't yeah. Clean it out first. No, in the pie. That's oh, that like, the the chicken pot pie that he was talking about earlier. Uh -huh. It includes. And that, that but they, it's created with, and the chicken's head is left I, sticking I up. Yeah. And cooked. Oh. It's pretty cool. Have you? You're a funny guy, right, Tom? About, about about what? You like comedy? <laughs> I do. You ever had to go buy a rubber chicken at any point? That seems like the that would be one of the building blocks of comedy. Am I right? I bet you bought a. a I did own a rubber chicken for rubber a while. Chicken. Yeah. Right now Weren't that. you holding one in uh, one of the commercials or promo shots? Oh. Uh, I think probably. With the yeah. tutus. Yeah. Yeah. With the tutus. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, I'm holding a rubber chicken. Yeah. No oh. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I still have a tutu, you know, in my office. I'd like to get a look at that. Oh, that's very nice. Uh, that's just between us. But now, uh, <laughs> I had a tutu, but then I gained some weight. Now it's a 4-4. Four -four. Oh, <laughs> you. Hello. <laughs> I'm 8-8. Eight, eight, now it's a 4-4. Four -four. Uh, <laughs> very nice. That reminds me, uh, of Josh Arnold's new album is out there. Josh Arnold, Half Fat. How do you get that, Josh? Go to bobandtom.com slash half. That's the easiest way. Okay. Right now, Mr. Haywood Banks is here with us. Yeah. And you got uh, this is, is this another new song? Uh, yeah, it's another... Uh, Another new Christmas song off, off my new holiday standards to be oh. heard playing from a gas pump on a snowy Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. This is... Um when he sprang to his sleigh, had places to go. It was 40 below and a chance of snow. It was Christmas Eve as Wayne Reindeer numbered eight. Didn't hesitate. They clacked their horns and gave him a whistle. And just like the down of a thistle, those caribou commenced to levitate. Wow. International Dateline's first destination, wind speed direction, and the Earth's rotation. 196 countries kind of has to budget his time. In 30 hours at Christmas dawn, he'll set his, set his sleigh back down in his North Pole lawn and try to get the creosote out of his beard. Because he's claws, because he's claws. Around the world on Christmas Eve, it's a famous name that draws applause. Messing with the space and time continuum, that ain't no big thing for him. He's Claus. <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> this manufacturing plant is quite a sight. Toys made by elves through the Arctic night. You never forget the place once you smell it. 
The aroma of candy canes, gingerbread, and cans of paint, and the way folks tell it, elf pellets. <laughs> because he's claws, because he's claws. Round the world on Christmas Eve, it's famous name that draws applause. Messing with the space and time continuum, that ain't no big thing to him. He's claws, Santa Claus. He's going to Bombay, Baghdad, Belfast, Brooklyn, Brisbane, Belgium, Botswana, and Birmingham, Birmingham. Beijing, Berlin, Bogota, and Bimini, that's just the bees, but I tell you what impressed me ever tried to squeeze a bicycle through a chimney. You haven't got a chimney, there's no need for discontent. He'll squeeze your bicycle through the dryer vent, or <laughs> air conditioner, you know, unless you, unless you got a door. Now side to side and front to back with piles of toys, his sleigh is packed. The elves have barely left him a seat. He's got three billion homes to visit tonight. Six billion cookies to eat. Because he's claws, because he's claws. Round the world on Christmas Eve, it's famous name that draws applause. Mess with the space and time continuum, that ain't no big thing for him. He's claws, Santa Claus. When he sprang to his sleigh, he had places to go. It was 40 below and a chance of snow. It was Christmas Eve. His waiting reindeer numbered eight. Didn't hesitate. They clacked their horns and he gave them a whistle. And just like the down of a thistle, those caribou commenced to levitate. Very nice. Yeah. Getting a bike down a chimney. Thank you very much, <laughs> Haywood Banks. Coming up in the news, we have uh, moose news. Always love moose. They're always fun. We have a uh, surprise from Mr. Godwin. Oh, I'm for him or from him? From him. He doesn't even know about it yet. <laughs> well, then how? All right. How <laughs> All right. I, I'll, I'm eager to see how this turns well, out. During the break, I'll go and tell him. It's, a, it's okay. a, an anniversary we need to celebrate. We've already celebrated, of course, the United States Marine Corps. Happy birthday, Marines. Uh, this is uh, something a little bit different, but it's another uh, anniversary of import. More music coming up from Mr. Haywood Banks. Also... Uh, I think we should redo our Led Zeppelin story for those that missed it after we plugged it all day yesterday. It's a big story. You're yeah, absolutely okay. right. And try not to ruin it this time. Okay. <clears throat> I'm Ace. looking at you, Ace. And the Ace Cosby joke of the day. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show. This uh, now I know we we're gonna we're gonna try to do the big orchestrated version of Fred at some point. Are we and uh, we doing that now? Okay, so we're getting the uh, we're ready. The official. Uh, oh, Y'all just tell me, I'll go. We got the official uh, Fred. Are the Fred singers out there at this point? We have to, we have to get some singers out here for this one. This is a song. This is actually the first uh, Hello, Wendy. experience that uh, How you doing, that, that Rodney had with the Bob and Tom Band and Orchestra, and uh, we we brought Rodney in and uh, did a recording of this song, which ended up being um, uh, what the deal that got uh, Rodney his record. Yeah, I, I record guess. Deal. I, you know, I can remember the first time I did the show, and I did like two hours of this, and. Mm -hmm. And um, of everything I knew, and then I remember you asking me, "Well, you got anything else?" And then I said, "I got this stupid Fred song." And then that was the thing that kind of stuck. And out of all the things, you know, <laughs> you know, and if I don't sing it, my God, I hear about You're it too. Trouble, at the shows, huh? you sound bitch. I drove 400 miles here. You sing the Fred song. Looks like you're gonna be doing it a cappella in my pickup truck. <laughs> You know, uh -huh. now, do, how many how many of the Fred singers do we have out there? Just do we do we just have Wendy because uh, we have no idea where the Fred singers are. Well, okay. there's the one. Okay. I'm not sure there right. is any. Okay, well, I, I I know I can sing part of the Fred song. I, I can do it from right in here. Okay, yeah. you wanna, yeah, sure. Fred, 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 Fred. Fred. got good it. Fred. Very good. We can all sing. I, just, I think all we all know this one. So everybody sing their Fred part. A man just for snoring Got out of bed and he shot him dead Well his name was I didn't know what his name was So we just called him Fred He was riding across the desert On a horse to another town Looking for a woman The horse's name was I didn't know what his name was So we just called him Fred Oh, oh now Fred's riding Fred 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 Well, he got to a town He met a woman in a nightgown I 
<laughs> I'll stop for a second. I didn't know what her name. You guys want to try that again? <laughs> I didn't know what her name was. So? I, so. <laughs> it's like Haywood meets I think Rodney. I, I think I waited a little too long I to come in did. on the end there. Uh -huh. right, hold on. Well, what didn't we got? Didn't know what her name was. I, I didn't know what her name was. So we just called her Fred. <laughs> there we go. Oh, now Fred's riding Fred. 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 That song was written under the influence of alcohol and a few other things I can't tell you about on the radio. Had you been drinking alcohol at the time of hearing the Fred song, you'd be, well, I should state by saying that uh, alcohol has a tendency to make you think things are actually funnier than what they really are. <laughs> Had you been drinking alcohol at the time of hearing this Fred song, you'd be laying on the floor right now laughing your ass off. <laughs> saying the same thing I'm saying. Why the hell is he singing the Fred song? Fred! <laughs> okay, do the Freddy. Boy, that was just in pieces. Hey, Josh Arnold here from the Bob and Tom Show. Do you know where squeaky, fresh cheese curds come from? Uh, yeah, it comes from a cow's t Everybody knows that. No, they come from Gardner's Wisconsin cheese. Well, well yeah, but before that, it was in a cow's t God, is that you bleeping me? This is why Gardner's Wisconsin cheese is different. Their cheese curds are made fresh in the morning and delivered to your doorstep in about 48 hours nationwide. The freshest curds outside the walls of the creamery, I say. Wow. We've got fresh curds, but we couldn't get them to you for about a month by buggy. You gotta try their oven-baked cheese. It arrives at your doorstep pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it. Grill it, skillet, air fry it. Oh, uh, we're not allowed to have air fryers. We'd burn in hell for that. But you cook the cheese, I guess. But... And their aged super sharp cheddars are amazing. From four to 17 years. My favorite is the eight-year-old super sharp cheddar. It's powerful, but still creamy and melts in your mouth. Just delicious. Hmm. Sounds like that gardener farmer is pretty smart on cheese. Right now, receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at gardenerswisconsincheese.com. I don't have an internet. Their pre-selected package deals make great gifts for co-workers, friends, or anyone hard to shop for. Remember, cheese is always a good idea. Can't argue with that. <laughs> That's GardenersWisconsinCheese.com. See if there are any uh, any seeds in there. <laughs> in that <laughs> album? Probably seeds. not. Marijuana as such is habit forming and fortunately is not an addiction. And I'll explain this to you in a little while. What? Habit forming though it be, it is the first step to addiction. Okay. And it is something that makes a person feel as though he's on quote cloud nine. It makes him <laughs> what's wrong with that? Wait a second. Stop a second. Hold on. Here's what's wrong. What's wrong with that? Cloud Nothing nine is a nice place. Let's you know, go. Nine rocks. If you're trying to do anti-drug stuff, yeah. you don't go. Hey, it makes you feel like you're on cloud nine. The problem with this stuff is it makes you feel really good. <laughs> so whatever you do, don't try it. When grandfather dies. Life will be strange When grandfather dies My whole world will change When grandfather dies I'll scream and I'll yell Cause I'll be rich as hell <laughs> <laughs> And then I, I figured That's I didn't need to write anymore Hi everybody, this is Mark Sweeney and you're Out of the road to be in AAA Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. There's Jess Hooker at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. Josh Arnold's here at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. Hello there. Ace Cosby right there. Howdy. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold with our special guest right here. This is very studio. exciting. Um, we uh, do something every week. It's our pigskin uh, program. And uh, it's all about football in the NFL. Chick McGee famous for the shoe win of the week. That's right. And um, I believe we have uh, joining us on the phone, Mr. Rocky White. Yo, Rock! Of Charlotte, Michigan. Rocky, can you hear me? I can hear you. And am I correct in saying Charlotte? <laughs> yes. 
Okay, okay. I can tell Rocky's a man of few words. Uh, I feel like we're um, starting off irritating you, Rocky. Is that, I don't, we don't want to do that. Uh, are you okay? Everything fine? Yeah, just battling uh, COVID, so I'm just <laughs> oh, goodness. Rocky. Okay, all oh. right. Can't, can't, the, can't give that over the airwaves to us. I, I hope. No, I don't think so. Uh, all right. Well, we're gonna. I'm sorry you're not feeling well, Rocky, but you should be feeling great because you did win yourself the Big Green Egg Mini Max for all your great picks. You got 14 of 14 games last week. You were in a 12-way tie. You picked the Monday Nighter exactly correct, and you are our winner. So uh, congratulations. We're gonna. Uh, Thank you. We're not going to keep you too long um, uh, because I can tell you're not feeling great. But uh, you have to pick against Mr. Chick McGee, which should make you feel good. That's right, Rocky. Here we go. The often imitated, never duplicated. Shoe in of the week. We're a robust 24 games correct and 35 incorrect. Now, here we go. Uh, you're more than welcome to refuse to pick any of these games because I went kind of crazy this morning, couldn't sleep, got lonely, added some... Added some games to my uh, picks on my Instagram at the Chick McGee. So uh, any of these games you don't want to pick, you can always say pass, Rocky. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Indianapolis is traveling to uh, Frankfurt, Germany, where the hot dogs are. <laughs> That's right. Uh, to play the New England Patriots. The Patriots are getting two. Who do you like, the Colts or New England? I'm going to go with the Colts. The Colts. That's uh, I agree with Rocky. Indianapolis minus two. Gardner Minshew four touchdowns. Is that right? Oh yeah, against that defense. Game. All right, sir. Uh, then we have uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars hosting the San Francisco 49ers, and Jacksonville getting two. Who do you like, the Jaguars or them uh, them 49s? Uh, I'm going to go with the 49ers. Okay, I'm going to take Jacksonville plus the two. That's my shock of the week. Oh, not the double shock. It's it's going to be a, a shock. surprise. It's going to be shocking. Okay, okay. I see. That's, that's, <laughs> and that's, that's a new, new twist. <laughs> Just, <laughs> and then uh, bo uh, bo my bonus Instagram picks that uh, aren't really bonus Instagram because I'm sitting right here. Uh, the Minnesota Vikings are uh, playing the New Orleans Saints this week. The Vikings are getting three. Who do you like, Saints or the Vikings? Let's go with um, the Saints. All right, I will take Minnesota plus the, tr the three, oh, Tom. Oh, look at this. Okay. And the uh, Dallas Cowboys hosting the New York Giants. The Giants are getting 17. Who do you like, sir, Dallas or the Giants? Mm, Dallas. Da I, I, too, pick Dallas minus 17. And then real quick, I like Penn State plus the four hosting Michigan tomorrow in a rare college football pick. Uh, you can either pick that one or uh, – or, uh, Turn it down. It's up to you, buddy. Oh, Michigan. Michigan. All right. Michigan minus the four. Okay, there you go. Okay, well, now, our, our goal, Rocky, is for you to feel better, so we're going to let you go. I want you to get rid of this COVID. Uh, thanks so much for playing, and congratulations for getting 14 out of 14, et cetera, et cetera, and enjoy your big green egg Minimax, sir. I will. Thank okay. you. All yeah, right. Feel better. It. Feel better. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's the second person today I've heard of that has the COVID. Yeah. It's still hovering out there. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a thing, guys. Se second one today. It's still out there. Um, now, um, what was your last pick, Dallas? I I can't believe you're picking Dallas. You Dallas well, 17 is. Yeah, Dallas minus 17. It's it, 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 They're going to win 35 nothing. The Giants are uh, kind of a mess, and Dallas, are they're red hot right now. That's my reasoning. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Very good. Very good. I just know that with your love for the Dallas Cowboys, it's got to be painful for you to pick them. Uh, oh, it hurts. There's no doubt about it. Okay. All but right. he's I'm doing in... so bad that he can't let emotions get involved. He's got to. Yeah. Far be it from Chip <laughs> to let emotions get involved in any serious decision. <laughs> thank, thank you for highlighting my mediocre attempt at picking football games. This year. I'd still put your record up against anybody else's. Less than mediocre. It's been a wild. Uh... It's ha everybody's having trouble. Yeah. Now, um, uh, I promised when we came back we would have a surprise for you guys. Okay. And uh, we were talking about the anniversary of the United States Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. Very important. And uh, Veterans Day, of course. Uh, all this is happening now. Uh, but Veterans Day officially tomorrow. But every day you got to uh, thank your lucky stars. There's someone in some far-flung place uh, helping you out. And you don't even think about them. But you got to start thinking about them. Now, uh, another event that happened on this date, uh, rather important, uh, the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. <laughs> 
and Lake is Superior. Is that right? Now, Haywood, Haywood, you're familiar with uh, oh, yeah. the Great Lakes. So. I knew Ed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, the Edmund <laughs> He and Ed went to high school together. Yeah. yeah. Edmund Fitzgerald uh, went, uh, the ship went down. And uh, Gordon Lightfoot uh, wrote, what, to, for my mind, one of the great songs uh, of all time. One of the uh, longest songs. A, sto a story song. Uh, and, uh, uh, Pat, you have, a, you have a tribute to this. Uh, uh, by, by request, by the way. You're going to make me sing it in front of my hero, Haywood Banks. Yes, I am. All right, here we go. This is the first draft of that song. First draft. It sits down below like the ship we all know. The rectum of Ella Fitzgerald. <laughs> She'd scat when she sang and her bottom would bang. A disaster when the winds would come early. The Fitzgerald family emailed me, said stop singing about poor Ella's rectum. <laughs> they complained and they cussed. I threw Tom under the bus and said, I write him. It's Tom who corrects him. <laughs> the doctor, it said, would always turn his head when performing her colon procedure. <laughs> There's polyps and corn and Louis Armstrong's horn, the rectum of Ella Fitzgerald. Thank you very much. A nice tribute to uh, wow. both, nice. both Gordon wow. Lightfoot. <laughs> Haywood with a wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, out of service, uh, November 10th, 1975. Oh. Uh, the Edmund Fitzgerald. I, right. I forget when Ella went out of service. What do you think about that, Haywood? Eh? <laughs> Is that still down there? Is there do they get, yes, bring absolutely. Bring it up? Or? They're, they're, no, it's down no, there. no, no, no. It's still there. <laughs> What is that? Uh, what is that lake? Uh, what, 40, Superior? 50 feet deep? Uh, yeah, I yeah, think it's, yeah. Only, it's only about 45 at most. You yeah, know, yeah, and uh, room temperature all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah it's very nice. Uh, <laughs> delightful. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's out there, sadly. But, uh, very, very deep. The water is deep. So, uh, <laughs> Pat, thank you very much. I certainly enjoy that. Uh, now, we return to the uh, Bob and Tom news desk. <coughs> Before we get another song from Haywood, what have you got over there at the news desk? Um, do you want to talk about Led Zeppelin again? Yes! I want to touch base with this because it was uh, fascinating, problematic. The Amazing story. The image of the man featured on the cover of Led Zeppelin's 1971 album, Led Zeppelin 4, has been identified thanks to a lucky find at an auction. <laughs> now, you, you sound... This is one of the most famous album covers of all time. One of the th interesting things about it is it doesn't say on the cover of the album who it is or what it is. And that was not common back then, right? Or the, the, was that the big deal about it? Yeah, that was part of it. There are yeah. a couple of bands that did it. Aerosmith did it. Th then it, it just, I mean, it's pretty ballsy to put it, if you go to the, in those days, go to the record store. Mm. Yeah. Where's the name on it? Right. Sometimes the they would shrink wrap, they would put a sticker on them. But uh, th it's a famous album cover. It shows the old guy with all the sticks in his back, right? Yeah, the wordless album cover shows the image of a bearded older man with a large bundle of sticks on his back. The New York Times reports that the image was from a Victorian-era photograph of a man who made thatched roofs for cottages in Wiltshire, England. He was a roofer, Ace. I and, told you that. Yeah, we said that. <laughs> he told me that. <laughs> Thank you. He told you that? Uh, he did. No, Ace, you're... I'm not supposed to talk. <laughs> oh, no, I, I, I was. I had uh, mentioned this. I promoted this story yesterday many times. We forgot to get to it. My fault. I thought it was interesting, and then um, I thought it was exciting. I wanted to hear it, and then I you heard the story and thought morning. it was meaningless. And then you heard and it, then I, and then, then I, you said it, it was meaningless. Yes. yes. Well, see, it's not me. <laughs> Researcher Brian Edwards stumbled upon the picture in a photo album up for sale on Duke's auctions. Edwards determined that the man in the photo was named Lot Long, and he was 69 years of age at the time. And immediately, well, interestingly enough, uh, the surviving members of Led Zeppelin are significantly older than that <laughs> now. And actually, if you put some sticks on the back of Robert Plant, he'd look kind of like this guy. Like that guy, yeah. As for how the photo ended up on the album cover, legend has it that Robert Plant and Jimmy Page were in an antique shop in Pangbourne where they spo spotted the colorized version of the photograph. The photograph of Lot Long will be on view in the Wiltshire Museum along with other images included in the photo album. So I 
think it's important to know that, Ace, and then your... your... Man, we'll be talking about it all day. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> he was a roofer? Yes. He was a roofer. He was a roofer. You know, shingles doesn't care, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know you're right. No, 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 no. You know, they'll come after anybody. They do not discriminate. Yeah, by all means, get the shingles vaccines. Oh, I yeah. certainly would recommend that. Uh, uh, Ace, then you pointed out something actually quite interesting. Um, uh, in the realm of uh, Ed Zeppelin. Uh, Ed Zeppelin, that's right. News. What is it now? No, I, I said uh, October 12th at a cancer benefit in London. Robert Plant sang Stairway to Heaven for the first time in 17 years. Wow. There you go. Did he do that thing in the middle of where he goes, Does anyone remember laughter? <laughs> hey, Robert, a little bit less uh, less dope before you go on stage. Okay? Hey, <laughs> he's up on the dope, Bobby. Well, yeah. uh, no, let's, uh, Good God. Stop ad-libbing, okay? Just, uh, just uh, sing it the way you wrote Just it, bustle okay. in the hedgerow. Right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> keep, keep the rest of yourself. You know, with. that couldn't have been easy to do for them, to put an album out with no, nothing printed on the... On the, the record company must have been really upset, right? I mean, it, hmm. those guys wouldn't have won. Imagine if Tom was the producer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Loses his mind. It needs a normal name like this is Led Zeppelin's music, okay? I, That's I, the I name remember of the having album. no problem finding it when I was mm. buying the CDs. You, yeah. you, you would go in the right and look in the L's. L's. And yeah. then you would go, oh, and you'd look on the back and go, oh, okay, this is Led Zeppelin 4. Right. But it wasn't a CD in the beginning. It was vinyl. Yeah. yeah. But they had to that. have been exactly designed the exact same no, way. No, they'd have 600 of them on the wall <laughs> with a huge sign saying Led Zeppelin. Yeah, but you know that the, when they first had the meeting. Uh, exactly. We, here's the cover. We'd like nothing new. Great. Thanks, fellas. You leave the selling the album to us, okay? <laughs> it did all right. Had a couple of hits on it. It's, a, it's certainly a classic. Um, now, well, we have... Uh, a lot to get to because we're going to get another song out of Mr. Banks and Jeff Oske with news we failed to mention is coming up. Right now, I want to talk about seasonality, fresh food, good food. This is also the season for food, but it's also the season to be amazingly busy. A lot of stress out there. Don't get all stressed out for the holidays. Relax a little bit. And one of the things you can do that's a really smart thing to do, get hooked up with HelloFresh. A couple of meals a week, perhaps. And uh, what I'm talking about is uh, the number one meal kit in America. They do the shopping. They do the measuring. They send you the all the food and the recipe card. You just put it together. Sometimes in just a few minutes, pop it in the oven and uh, voila, restaurant quality food, less waste. And um, you didn't have to go to the grocery store hunting around for all those weird ingredients for whatever exotic recipe someone handed you. HelloFresh does 99% of the work. It's a smart way to eat great food, and it's really helpful if you're trying to learn how to cook. Now, I'll tell you this right now. They've got something very special, a uh, offer for a free breakfast as long as you... Uh, Keep your subscription up so it could be free breakfast for life. What you do is use this new code, BTShowFree, HelloFresh.com slash BTShowFree. More than 40 choices every week, and you can swap proteins and make it exactly the way you want it at HelloFresh.com. They've also got that HelloFresh market for all kinds of great desserts. Uh, charcuterie boards, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You got to see it to believe it. That's why you want to check out the website, HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free to grab those free breakfast for life. That's HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. Coming up, Mr. Jeff Oske, Mr. Haywood Banks. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hello. Out at the track, you're hot and thirsty. If you don't get some relief quick, just like those Indy cars, your body's gonna overheat. That's why you need the cool, refreshing blast of body fuel. It's like an overhaul for your body in a 12 ounce can. Just one drink, and you'll be refueled and ready for anything your busy lifestyle demands. Excuse me, sir, you look hot and thirsty. <laughs> Boy, I sure am. I got my two kids with me, and I forgot the cooler in the car. God, it's gotta be 100 degrees out here. I could sure go for a cold drink of water. Water? You don't <laughs> want water. You want something that'll replenish all the fluids you've lost. You need the overhaul for your body in a 12-ounce can. You need body fuel. <laughs> Body fuel? Uh, I never heard of That's it. That's because it's new! <laughs> Jesus! This tastes like motor oil! Well, there is some motor oil in there. And some transmission fluid, and gasoline, and, and even a little engine coolant. Engine coolant? <laughs> hey, I can't see! Well, of course you can't see. That's the power of body fuel. <laughs> 
system, <laughs> making it just like brand new. <laughs> what do you think about it, Fuel? Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> hey, what's that fizzing noise? Ah, that's a little battery <laughs> Sure, it'll keep your body running smooth and efficient. How do you like the sporty racing look of the package? I can't see, I can't see anything. Well, it's very, it's very sporty. Don't worry, preliminary testing shows that the blindness is only a temporary side effect. Anyway, how about that refreshing, cool, clear days? Come here. I'm going to sue you bastards. Come here. Where are you? I can't see body fuel. When you're so thirsty, you could die. Try one of Body Fuel's three delicious flavors. Original lemon lime, iced tea, or diesel. I can't, I can't feel my tongue. My gums are bleeding. My gums are bleeding. Body Fuel from the people who brought you Thirspiration Plus. It's the health drink for those on the run. Go out and pick up some Body Fuel today at a supermarket or auto parts store near you. Come here, you son of a bitch. Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. Hey, it's Josh, and of course... Hi, Chick McGee, everybody. Your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg for Bob and Tom and Big Green Egg. Each week, someone will win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. It's the Bob and Tom Show Big Skin Pick, powered by the Big Green Egg. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest on the computer. <laughs> oh, is that where you go? Are we eligible? Girl, the food was great. The company, even better. Why sit here all night long Going on about the weather I know it's our first date And good girls gotta wait But I just turned 83 And you said you're 78 Let's make love, we're old and we're shrinking, the hour's late, let's just do it on our first date. out he bought me dinner he got me drunk and then i got bald oh <laughs> did you ever it was perfect britney spears recently shocked the world with her latest fashion statement oh. a completely shaved head now to commemorate britney's new look bob and tom labs is proud to introduce their new perfume bald b a l d a fragrance for today's unraveling woman. <laughs> she's kooky, she's crazy, and she's getting bald. <laughs> Tomorrow's my girlfriend's birthday, and she'll definitely be getting bald. <laughs> what woman wouldn't love to get bald? My wife and I are celebrating our 30th anniversary soon. I thought she'd be thrilled when I told her... <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Hello, Tom. You get ready for a big weekend? I know that uh, Saturday and Sundays uh, tend to be brutal, your own <laughs> words. Uh, Got a lot at, going on. I want to thank everybody on. who helped yeah. me with uh, clear ice. Uh, 
You, you got well, that going? I'm, I'm working on it. I got a whole bunch of different aspects. Oh, that's right. You're having a big bourbon party over the weekend, yeah. aren't you? Uh, yeah. Thanksgiving. Uh, this is this is we're having a pre-Thanksgiving Thanksgiving. Uh -oh. I think so. Nice. Friendsgiving. Yeah. Um, yeah. Friendsgiving. As much as I, I I love the idea of it and the and I love doing it. I hate the name. Yeah. Really? Uh, Friendsgiving. <laughs> well, what else would you call it? I don't know, but not Friendsgiving. <laughs> call it dinner I, on I, Friday. I hate the name when you say it like that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I hate it. almost anything. <laughs> Here's a million dollars. No. <laughs> yeah. I don't care for it. I don't care for it. I don't know. It, it sounds like some kind of car, uh, 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 a Hallmark oh, movie yeah. thing. I guess you haven't done the invitation, Gina. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, hey, yeah, oh. Pat, uh, yeah. I, I don't expect to be invited. Top ten certainly. They should call it her friend. I was going to say, it's not. <laughs> Tom, have you told... Accurate. Have you told Haywood your big dilemma that you can't do it without clear ice cubes? And that's... I'm trying to get clear ice cubes. I've got a... Um, I've got a, a, someone in the, my sphere, if you will, um, that uh, is a, a bourbon person, very snotty about bourbon which i know nothing about so i made some phone calls i called our friend the bourbon ambassador from kentucky um yeah well I'm you're in good hands seriously i'm not kidding and um asked him for some suggestions so i've got some unusual uh bourbons to serve but i want to serve them with those uh <laughs> clear ice cubes those fancy ice cubes. it's very nice yeah it's you're a, nice... a very good host yeah then i found this out too the other day you can actually buy special bottled water to go with the bourbon did oh, you know yeah? that? Oh. Huh. No. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, I, I got, I've got, what's the water in my house? Is, what do they call it? Reverse osmosis. I mean, yeah. you know, my water uh, is, uh, is, is American citizen water. It's perfectly quality. <laughs> it's good water. I saw Tom Selleck's pushing reverse osmosis, isn't he? Yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can get a reverse <laughs> yeah. osmosis. Yeah, I think you might be, yeah. <laughs> now, are we ready? Are we ready to shift the satellite? <laughs> there we insurance. go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mr. Jeff Oske. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Good. good. I actually, me and my lady the other day were joking about starting an artisanal ice company. And she's like, no one would buy that. I'm like, there's some pretentious douchebag out there who would buy, pay $4 a cube for clear square ice. So uh, today's uh, Failed to Mention News Desk is brought to you by Oskay's Artisanal Ice. Uh, we give you a lot of the news each week, but we don't give you all the news, so I'm here to give you the news that we... Failed to mention. Now, here's Jeff Oske with what you failed to mention, Noosh. Pew, 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 pew. I don't know if you guys saw this this week, but uh, Patrick Dempsey was named People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive. Oh, yeah? Well, you failed to mention, I came in a close 1,839,384 <laughs> places behind Mr. Dempsey. Right. <laughs> close. <laughs> There's a new Thanksgiving pizza by DiGiorno, which has all the toppings, uh, turkey stuffing, green beans. Uh, what you failed to mention, it's not pathetic. It's DiGiorno. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we learned uh, yesterday, put paper, t uh, put uh, toilet paper in your fridge. Uh, it, it will absorb foul odors. What you failed to mention, use two-ply, it absorbs twice as many. Mm -hmm. No? Okay. <laughs> Wait, can, we, can we put a roll next to that joke? Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. I'll be Whoa. wiping with this joke right here. Whoa. <laughs> oh, the old, oh, the fecality of the joke is, is substantial. To... If you hated that one, you're really going to hate this. There's a uh, news story telling people not to adorn their steering wheels with rhinestones. When the airbag goes off, they come at your face at 200 uh, miles per hour, <laughs> causing major damage. Uh, what you failed to mention, don't be a rhinestone moron. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, coming up December 9th in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, they're trying to set a new ski record for the most people skiing in jeans. Uh, what you failed to mention, I don't know if you guys know this about me, back in the 80s, I competed <laughs> in a world record for the most people running in jeans. It was called the Jordash. <laughs> <laughs> it even had a, a bugle boy there to signal the start of the Jordash. Oh, wow. nice. And of course, the, 
The course was shaped like a Z. Cavarici. Short ash is so tasty. Yeah. Tasty. <laughs> There's a new snake pizza in Japan. The pizza's name is Sir Wong Fun. What you failed to mention, Sir Wong Fun uh, translates in English to, I'll just have the salad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we talked about No Nut November. Uh, what you failed to mention explains my testy attitude of late. Um, I'm trying to hold out till jerk in January. <laughs> no Nut November was not. Uh, no, that was yeah. so Mark, Mark Zuckerberg underwent surgery to replace his torn ACL. What you failed to mention, Dad, insult to injury. He, they stole one of the new... His new ACL from one of the Winklevoss twins. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Those, they stole it. <laughs> yes. Good idea. Uh, <laughs> Australian surfer, uh, some chick's name, uh, broke the record <laughs> for the biggest wave ever surfed this week. Well, you failed to mention, and up in Chicago, uh, Willie Griswold is trying to set a new record for couch surfing. <laughs> 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 Did you guys see this? Uh, three giant pandas got shipped back to China from the Smithsonian National Zoo. What you failed to mention, their exhibit re was replaced by America's national panda, Panda Express. <laughs> <laughs> There's an irony there, isn't there? <laughs> uh, the shoe brand Crocs has partnered with McDonald's to make a new McDonald's-inspired shoe. What you failed to mention, the shoes are perfect for teens. On their third pregnancy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> teens. <laughs> yeah, teens never get knocked up. All right. And finally, two female astronauts completed their first spacewalk the other day. Well, you failed to mention, it sounds like two ladies were late getting dinner on the table that evening. <laughs> <laughs> Said 1952. I'm uh, 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 <laughs> <Jeff>. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff Oske. Jeff Oske is going to be joining Pat Goddard, did you know that? At the Knights of Columbus, Delphus, Ohio, this Saturday night only. That's right. Very special show. Uh, now, joining us in the studio, it's uh, Mr. Haywood Banks. And Haywood's been treating us to some uh, preliminaries uh, for the holiday season. He's got his uh, Dickinsonian, is that the word? Dickensian. Dickensian. Let's do it that way. <laughs> Yeah, Dick and Sonian, that's the cider, Dick and Cider. Richard Kenzie. Uh, uh, there we go. There we go. Um, and uh, for a little bit of a holiday treat. Is this uh, this is a holiday classic? Uh, yes. It's okay. They call me Frosty. I'm made from snow. A pair of shades. Carrot nose. I come alive. You know it's said. When some brat put this hat on my head, I am frosty. I'm full of hail, but I ain't no myth, no fairy tale. Ain't scared of nothing, got ice in my veins. But when the sun come up, I bone a drip, 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 drip down the drain. Fa la la la, fa la la la, fa la la la. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My dad is a glacier, my mama's a lake, my sister's a snow cone, my brother's a flake. <laughs> I'm made out of snow, well, I do as I please. I never stop when the copper hollers freeze. I'm frosty, I'm full of hail, but I ain't no myth, no fairy tale. Ain't scared of nothing, got ice in my veins. But when the sun come up, I'm on a drip, 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 drip down the drain. Fa la la la, la la fa fa, <laughs> la 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 la, fa 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 fa. Now you see that puddle? Now hey, what a bummer! Too bad old Frosty can't make it through summer. Well, please, Mr. Santa. Don't you be a teaser. All I want for Christmas is a great big freezer. Keep me frosty. I'm full of hail. But I ain't no myth. No fairy tale. Ain't scared of nothing. Got ice in my veins. But when the sun come up, I'm on a drip, 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 drip. Drip, 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 drip. Drip, 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 drip down the drain. Fa la la la. Fa la la la, la 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 fa fa, 
Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Haywood Banks, ladies Beautiful. and gentlemen. And uh, the Christmas classics. Haywood has a Christmas album out there right now. You'll find it at all the usual spots. I certainly would recommend it. Right now, I recommend that we uh, switch gears and go that way to the news desk where we have sitting in for Christy Lee. It is Ms. Jess Hooker. Jess, what have we missed? A farmer in Australia is recovering after fending off a crocodile attack. Go. I feel like this has been the theme of the news this a week. A lot of crocodile, <laughs> a lot of animal attacks. Yeah. Yeah. According to the Australian Broadcast Corporation, cattle producer Dr. Er, Mr. Colin Devereaux was attacked near the Finnis River. He said the reptile latched onto his foot, shook him like a rag doll, and pulled him into the water. Oh, jeez. Oh. Devereaux tried kicking the crocodile before he managed to bite the animal back. Well, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's maybe the most Australian thing I've ever <laughs> yeah, heard. Right? Yes. Hey, bite him back, eh? He recalled, whatever by accident, <laughs> by accident, my teeth caught his eyelid. Oh! I jerked back and he let go. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Did the yeah. crocodile lose an eye? Uh, the crocodile chased after Devereaux, but he managed to get to the, his car safely, wrap up his injuries, and drive himself to the hospital. The crocodile did lose an eye. Now it's just a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> crocodile loo. Lost an eye. Or, a, <laughs> al an, eye. or an alligator. <laughs> no? That's right. Okay. Wow. Uh, after, <laughs> after nearly a month of treatment, he is set to be released from the hospital. A month? A, mu a month. He Boy, was that's a long time for an alligator oh. to be, or a crocodile to be in the hospital. <laughs> well, that's, that's now we know the measurement after a while, crocodile, 30 days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, doesn't Australia have something like nine of the 10 most deadly snakes or something? I think so. Yeah. They've got like ducks with venom in them or something. Mm -hmm. some, some it's an island thing. of nightmares. Yes, it is. <laughs> It's God's mistake. Platypie. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Very good. Very I wonder good. how the uh, crocodile news covered <laughs> the crazed man <laughs> bites our mayor. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? I was trying to give him a shake. Yeah, yeah. Welcome him to our. Well, I was giving him the welcoming <laughs> foot lick. <laughs> and he needed, uh, needed to take a swim. <laughs> I just recently learned how to tell the difference between a crocodile and an alligator. Oh, this will be good. Yeah. Um, one you'll see later, and the other you'll see after a while. I love it. <laughs> love it. Ace, your thoughts. I give it a C plus. A C plus. <laughs> well, it's time now to compare combs, as they used to say in the Brill Cream commercials. Rules and Ace Cosby. Joke of the day. See a field full of cows. How do you figure out which one's the best dancer? Hmm. You gotta watch for the one with the best moves. Oh. That was Ace Cosby's <laughs> joke of the day. Oh, hurt. <laughs> Good guy. Speaking of cows, the Omaha Steaks semi-annual sale. Yeah. 50% off at omahasteaks.com. It's the perfect time to grab your fall grilling favorites. Plus, when you use our code BTS at checkout, you'll get an additional $30 off your order. Minimum order may be required. Thank you, Ace, and thank you, omahasteaks.com. That one's a B plus, man. Oh, very nice. Thank you very much, uh, Ace Cosby. Wow. Um, <laughs> so sorry. Um, as, uh, bye -bye. Uh, now, I want to remind everybody a couple quick things. Uh, did I mention that Mr. Godwin and Mr. Oski are in uh, Dolphus, Ohio? Did I get that right? You did, yeah. Saturday night only, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, Willie G tonight, along with um, uh, Greg Warren at uh, the Caravan, Louisville. And uh, you can see some great live stand-up comedy. Mr. Banks on the road. We'll touch, that, touch base with that shortly. Um, right now, I want to touch base with uh, Great Sleep. We need a lot of sleep, and doing a show like this, we get up super early, so when we do hit the sack, it's important that that sack helps us sleep. That particular sack in my house is a sleep number bed. 17 years I've had this sleep number bed, and uh, I'd like to remind you how great they are and how well they work by asking Chick McGee, what is your sleep number setting? 100. I like that firm mattress, Tom, and you know the sleep number stays firm, unlike conventional mattresses that sag after not sleep number. Yeah, and what's your setting, Josh? 65. So if you wanted to switch gears, you wouldn't have to go buy a new mattress, would you? Not at all. What like, would you do? I would put put in a new number. If I wanted to go softer, maybe I'd go to 40. If I wanted to go more firm, maybe I'd go to 80. There you go. It's that simple. They've perfected the ability of your bed to change. It's uh, it's amazing. 
it's like 40 beds in one. And they've also got a bunch of really cool beds that sleep. Remember, the two lots of other things, things that will help you with temperature control. Uh, perhaps you'd like to have your head uh, or your legs up high. They've got it all. Sleep number, find out which bed suits you the best. Here's a good reason to buy this one. Right now, during Sleep Number's Veterans Day sale, save 40% on the Sleep Number Special Edition Smart Bed. This sale ends Monday. So celebrate right now and choose a Sleep Number Smart Bed so you can sleep at your ideal firmness, adjustable with the touch of a button. If you change your mind, you change the setting. It's that easy. And either side of the bed, of course, has its own setting. So everybody is happy with the proper comfort and support of a Sleep Number bed. Once again, to find it, the only place to find it, I should say, is at a Sleep Number store, sleepnumber.com slash BT show. That's sleepnumber.com slash BT show. Coming up, a little bit of history for you. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, thanks for... I tell you, I am single now. This came up. We'll talk about it more later. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. I You're not going to be able to stop me. It's come out. Uh, but I tell you this much right now. I'm trying. I'm trying. I am trying to talk to girls. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm young. I can talk to young girls. You ever? Yeah. You ever looked at a young girl? They're great. They're great. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You ever talk to one? It's no. like torture. <laughs> it's like having a conversation with a baby, except babies don't have dumb ideas yet. <laughs> it's like. It's like if my nephew all of a sudden was misinformed about politics and had dumb dog stories. I was like, it'd be like I was on a date with him. They don't even know what to say, but I'll get to the naked picture in a second. I was talking to a girl. We were at a pool, a place that has pool tables. I go, hey, do you, I go, hey, do you play pool? Uh-huh. And she goes, I had sex on a pool table once. Oh, wow. That's a weird way to say you don't play pool. I don't even, I don't even know how to respond. Was it a league? What is that? How do I go to that? What? I'm glad I didn't ask if she played ping pong. Uh, yeah. Um, but that pictures thing. Yeah, you got to be careful. You send naked pictures. With these you. young chicks, they'll send yeah. naked pictures. Yeah. You can do it. You, very, you don't even have to. I was just texting back and forth with a girl, and she's like, hey, I like you know I like you or whatever and you want to see some good pictures. Hey, sure. yeah, semicolon uh-huh. close parenthesis I do. Uh-huh. And uh, and then she sends a few of them. And I'm like, hey, these are these are these are hot. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then she's got short hair in one and long hair in the other. She's they, they just keep them on file like W twos. From now on, send me your boobs and today's newspaper. Uh, yeah, I want to yeah, feel I wanna special. See them with sure. Yeah. You want to know that they're fresh. <laughs> Hey, Josh Arnold here from the Bob and Tom Show. Do you know where squeaky, fresh cheese curds come from? Uh, Yeah, it comes from a cow's teeth. Everybody knows that. No, they come from Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese. Well, well, yeah, but before that, it was in a cow's teeth. God, is that you bleeping me? This is why Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese is different. Their cheese curds are made fresh in the morning and delivered to your doorstep in about 48 hours nationwide. The freshest curds outside the walls of the creamery, I say. Wow. We've got fresh curds, but we couldn't get them to you for about a month by buggy. You gotta try their oven baked cheese. It arrives at your doorstep pre baked. You just heat it and eat it. Grill it, skill it, air fry it. Oh, uh, we're not allowed to have air fryers. We burn in hell for that. But you cook the cheese, I guess. But And their aged super sharp cheddars are amazing. From 4 to 17 years. My favorite is the 8-year-old super sharp cheddar. It's powerful but still creamy and melts in your mouth. Just delicious. Hmm. Sounds like that gardener farmer is pretty smart on cheese. Right now, receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at gardenerswisconsincheese.com. I don't have an internet. Their pre-selected package deals make great gifts for coworkers, friends, or anyone hard to shop for. Remember, cheese is always a good idea. You can't argue with that. <laughs> That's gardenerswisconsincheese.com. And Tom, 24-7. Essential Morning Radio. All day and all night. Yeah, 
This is Bob and Tom Radio. Coming this Thursday on ABC. He's the luckiest guy alive. It's Invisible Dave and his two stacked roommates. Hello, Cindy. It's this darn brassiere. It keeps pinching. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Feeling fine. Yeah, yeah mine's pinching oh, yeah. a bit, too. Let's just take them off. Okay. <laughs> Hello! He's living rent-free and getting an eyeful. Cindy, what do you think of my new negligee? Do you think it fits? Oh, yeah, it looks great. What do you think of mine? <laughs> She's invisible and insatiable. Gee, Cindy, this bed sure feels lumpy. Boy, that's uncomfortable. Come to Papa. You know you want it. <laughs> invisible Dave and his two stacked roommates. Followed by the fast-paced action of pro basketball with a moral twist. Meet Carl Goodman, Amish power forward. <laughs> we have worked together, my friends. We shared the ball with he who was open and were blessed when two points were bestowed upon us. Now we must pray. Oh, merciful God of our It's Carl Goodman, Amish power forward, right after Invisible Dave and his two stacked roommates. Thursday on ABC. Ye be thar. <laughs> Hi, this is Paul. And this is Storm. And we're Paul, Paul and Storm, Storm, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Rod White is our guest. Do you have any drinking stories? Uh, None that he can remember. <laughs> you know what? I got uh, I got thrown out of a bar <laughs> in uh, New York City. Do you want me to tell the story? I sure. want to hear it. I walk into a bar with a hat on. This guy, real pissy, he goes, trick off the hat! <laughs> and I'm like, what's the deal? He goes, I'll tell you what the deal is. Gay people in this area wear hats. We're trying to keep them out of a club. <laughs> I was like, oh, really? The only way we can tell down in Texas is if they have their hair cut like yours. <laughs> <laughs> and he got all pissed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, he, but he walked away, and I took the hat off, and like an hour later, I'd been drinking, and I forgot. You ever forget? Oh, it happened, yeah. it happened to me. I put the hat back on. The guy comes over to me. He's poking me in the shoulder with two fingers and goes, uh, you're out of here. And I was like, I don't think so, Scooter. <laughs> And I was wrong. <laughs> they hurled me out of the bar. And then they squared off with me in the parking lot, and I backed down from the fight because I don't know how many of them it would have taken to whip my ass, uh -huh. but, but I knew how many they were going to use. <laughs> <laughs> That's a handy little piece of information to have right there. It yes, was overkill. Sir. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. A few minutes. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show, you gonna put the uh, Christmas lights up this weekend? Is that what you said you were gonna do, or you've already done? They're that? already up. You already done that. Did you do it, or did you have a, you have a guy? <laughs> I was part of the procedure. You made a phone call. The and, standing on the ground and the pointing, and the pointing, yeah. and the thing. <laughs> That's too high. That's got fun. time, to, got That's time to lean. Got time to clean, pal. That's right. Good to be the king, Tom. Good yes. for you. You don't need to be doing that. Um, there was an incident. Uh oh, what happened? Well, I guess I could tell the story. I'll be delicate. Okay. It's not the story we just said don't tell. No, no, it? not that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that, that involves a lot of blood. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you look up in the dictionary, Mr. Delicate. And that's your point. Oh, thank you. You're thank welcome. you. You're I welcome. can dance around it. You're darn right you can. So um, I'm out uh, in, the, in my garage, and I've got a couple um, uh, friends of mine helping me move a bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I've been out there all day. And, Poor bastards. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, 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 I'm, I'm living in this new house, as you know, and I, and and I, there's all the construction debris was still there. The stuff you st we still might need some tiles, blah blah blah. The debris. So we're moving it all around, and then this this uh, crew comes to to do the Christmas lights. Yeah. This crew comes to do the Christmas mm -hmm, lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Okay. I mean, because they've got the special stick with of the course. gripper thing on it and sure. ladders and stuff. They have a series of special sticks. <laughs> <laughs> and they're a bunch of they're a bunch of young guys. Sure. And uh, they pull up and... I'm College just... kids. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Did I tell you this? No. Stra <laughs> strapping young men. Yeah. 
Yeah, sinewy uh, muscles. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. and again, when I say I have to be delicate, there's a, there's a language issue in Alabaster. this particular story. Gotcha. Okay. okay. All right. Here we go. Are so, some of the uh, employees uh, not, not. did not speak uh, English? No, not at all. These are uh, uh, young fellows uh, that uh, I'm not sure what language they spoke. I hope they didn't speak English because when I, but I, I was trying to be, I was trying to be relatable. <laughs> I bet you were. Uh, trying to be relatable, and I said, the "Common uh, touch." Kennedy had it. Yep. Yeah, that's right. You mm -hmm. shouted, "Feliz Navidad." Uh, <laughs> no, not no, no. The, the, uh, uh, the, they were. Um, uh, <laughs> no bueno. No, not at all. Oh, Thank you for okay. ruining the story. All right. The uh, but uh, I said they said which trees are we putting these lights on? And I said I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, to be kind of the street relatable guy that I am, I said oh. if I if I if I tell you the wrong trees, I am effed. Right. Sure. Oh. Use the use the right. whole thing. Right. And then I said, so where are you guys? Uh, where are you guys from? And one of them says something. And I've been wearing I've been wearing headphones for. In, the, in this business for 45 yeah. years, and I, I said, uh, oh, I thought he said we go to the, we're at the, we're, we all go to the so and so barber college. Oh, <laughs> then I, I looked at him and said, so now do you guys cut each other's hair? Because it's a barber <laughs> college. So you thought he said we go to a barber college? Yes. Did he say we go to a barber college? No, it turns out. <laughs> you asked him where he was from, and you thought he responded with we go to a barber no, college? No, no, I, I said, are you guys all in school? Oh, in and school. And he said, he said, oh, yeah, we're at no, no, barber college. Oh, okay. And okay. so then I, of course, I said, oh, because they, they, these guys are you guys like, early 20s, full heads of hair and cut each other's various hair. haircuts. So I just naturally said, well, uh, <laughs> so you cut each other's hair. And these guys look at me like I'm insane. Yes. And one of them says, well, no, not really. Oh, I figured it was since it was a barber college. And he goes, no, 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 we go to the so-and-so Bible college. Oh. Ah, okay. Now, I had just ingratiated myself <laughs> with the fellas with a little salty language. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I, I had then to, they hit you with the Bible college. Let me ask you I something. apologize. You sat on that story all morning, huh? <laughs> oh, no, I've sat on it all week. I didn't oh. I could really tell it. it very nice fellas, though. Did an excellent job. Good. Well, barbers are. I got to come back today. <laughs> Time now for today in history. What day is it? November 10, 11 10. Okay, I got to look this up. I have no idea where we are. Um, oh, I, this is the the date of the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. I know that. We already heard that great song from Pat Godwin. That's uh, one of my personal favorites. Um, let's see now. I'm not sure I can find it today. Today in history, is that what we're doing here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, so right. What we learned? <laughs> yeah, I can't seem to find it. Uh, I can't seem to find it. I had it before. Huh. Uh, oh, here we go. Um, on this date, nope, that's not it. Oh, my goodness. I, I can't find it in my computer here today. Okay, we can, uh, we'll have to go without it. Tell me what we learned on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, as you heard, got his Christmas lights up yesterday, and he's very excited about it. It turns out they were... Uh, a bunch of Barber College guys came over. Yeah, they, they are. <laughs> Bible College. Tom is unaware about the uh, Christmas pies already being ordered by the staff, including uh, an, a wonderful flavor, the Chick, which is a peanut butter mousse pie. Uh, Josh asked for two pies. And yes. Tom said... Yes. Wasn't that nice? You may have two pies. Much like my Christmas lights, I'm <laughs> paying for the pies. Uh, I yeah. don't get that. Yeah. I didn't <laughs> well, put the well, lights thank, up myself. Well, thank you very much. Um, I, I do. I found today in history. Here we go. It's on the internet, of course. Oh, okay. And I'm excited because two pies don't bother me. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Happy birthday. <laughs> that was good. Ha oh, these are obscure. Happy birthday. Oh, here, friend of the show, Sinbad. A comedian, very nice guy. I would not oh, not the Voyager, a friend of the show. Well, I, I, I love Sinbad. A half a break, is that right? I think he's very funny. Isn't it? Isn't it real name like Walter Collins or something? I'm like not that? sure. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's Walter <laughs> Collins. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what we'll do if we can't have Sinbad back. <laughs> he's a nice guy. He's great. He's very well, funny. Says you. Okay, here's something for you. <laughs> happy birthday, Mike McCarthy from the world of the NFL. Does that make you happy? Who was that? Always oh, a coach uh, for Cowboys. the uh, uh, Cowboys. Yeah. Here's one for you, Chick. Okay. You'll know this. Oh, that's oh. why I'm going to ask Ms. Hooker. Okay. Uh -oh. Happy birthday to the great Hugh Bonneville. Hugh Bonneville. He's in my favorite movie of the last five years. Oh, so he's not a part of the Chrysler family. <laughs> uh, no, not an automobile. Chrysler Bonneville. Oh. Yeah. He's uh, also in a show you probably watched a lot. You think so? Yeah, probably. Um, Downton Abbey is your hint? No, oh, no, I didn't watch that. Really? No. He's uh, the star of Paddington. Oh, okay. Well, Paddington's the star. Absolutely. No, that's true. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. 
Did you, a, ever drive a, a, did you ever drive a huge Bonneville back in the day? <laughs> I, 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 had, I had a girlfriend who had a Bonneville, so we rode around in it a lot. I hope yeah. one of his friends bought him a Bonneville automobile to drive yeah. around. Yeah, mm-hmm. and my name's on it. Check that out. Okay. Um, <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much it. For Can you get little metal uh, letters and put it on your car? Like, yeah. This is Chick's car yeah. and stuff like that. Can mm-hmm. you do that? Okay. You should definitely do that. Or, or one I for you. just key it in there. One want. for you, Chick. One of your favorite songs. Uptown Funk was released by Bruno Mars at this date nine years ago. That, that Michelle Pfeiffer is got go. What is it? Yeah. Yep. You got it. Love it. Okay. Uh, what else happened today? Um, we talked about the Blind Faith album cover. Let's just <laughs> leave it at that. Yeah. Where's my Tony? I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and the Led Zeppelin um, album cover. We finally co- took care of that. Uh, the Oscar. M- that would have been better on a Sticks album. <laughs> Oscar He's Meyer. A bunch of sticks. The Oscar Meyer mobile is an automatic, but the corn dog mobile is Manual. a stick. That's exactly right. Okay. We're going and, out on that. Huh? And you're not gonna you're not gonna make the possum for us. I'm not making the possum. I'll do the chicken pot pie with sweet, the head. Sweet, Cooking the possum. Did you know there was a there was a possum there was a possum fast food place? Really? There was. Oh, yeah, yeah, it didn't go over because every time you'd pull up it looked closed. Back like it was oh. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> this is the Bob and Tom show. <laughs> Just gotta get a hold of us. Call, fax, mail, or email. Get all the contact information you need at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show.